What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another live stream. My name is Loco. Good to see you. It is currently the Saturday afternoon over here in the Netherlands. It is the 3rd of February, 2024. Good to have you guys once again back on the channel. We already had a couple of subs coming in right here on Twitch as well as on YouTube. Hello, everybody. I've decided to stream for once on both YouTube as well as Twitch at the same time. So that's why there's no chat on the side of the screen, because otherwise... Twitch gets angry. I'm not exactly sure. If you, yeah, if you apparently have the YouTube chat and the Twitch chat in one little box, the YouTube people don't, or sorry, the Twitch people don't really appreciate that all too much. Either way, today we're doing the sixth edition of the viewer tournament. It's been a little while actually since we last, uh, since we last did one. Toby is here as well. He wanted to say hi to you all. You wanna? Hey. There you go. Um, he's been hanging out here, and he loves jumping onto my desk lately. I'm not exactly sure as to why. Now, as you, uh, as you may be aware, over the last week or so, we've had people sign up for the event. I actually did not quite reset my sub goal from yesterday. I'll be just hiding it, I guess. That's probably the easiest thing to do. You want to chill in my lap, buddy? Okay. All right. He apparently really wants to just sit over here. In my lap. That's the plan. As we are about ready to actually get the tournament started. So, just like an airline, we decided to have more people signing up than we can actually seat. So, there is a grand total of 34 players signed up for a 32 tournament or a 32 man tournament. How many people do you actually think decided to check in? I think it's 27 or so. <laughs> no, maybe a little bit more than that. But even though we had 34 people, there are a few people in the first round that got a free buy because not everybody decided to check in in time. Yeah, I do have both YouTube chat as well as Twitch chat open, so I see both of them. Um, so I will try my best to say hello to everybody involved, including my cat. We have somebody over downstairs and it stresses the cats out. So, Toby and uh, Milo seem to be pretty happy to be locked up in a room here. I decided to not put them both in this room, because that would just be a bit of a disaster, but... Yeah, Lorenz's aunt is over. <laughs> it is, uh... a very exciting time downstairs. Toby got very rudely interrupted with his, uh... 90 minutes of bird watching that he does, usually at this hour of the day. I don't know, man. Oh my god. Yeah, no, now we're doing a norm again where we're hunting my headphone cable. Alright, buddy. I'm gonna move you out- <laughs> I'm gonna move you out of this room, man. No, don't bite my cables. Anyways, guys, uh, this is gonna be our tournament run right over here. Now, all of these players are Bronze to Diamond League. So, this is a tournament that is open to everybody between, well, those two leagues. Masters and Grandmasters. I'm sorry, there's already tons of tournaments for you to participate in. Um, not welcome. Yeah, this is... Well, some of these people apparently just installed the game for the first time. If I have to believe their Twitch comments. So I'm not exactly sure what the level of the event is really going to be like. <laughs> but it's gonna be... It's gonna be a lot of fun. Obviously, this is not that serious of an event. Um, I have a trophy, actually. Hold up, I'll move my cat. I have a trophy that I will be shipping out to the winner. Oh, you're gonna start purring. Really? All right. Where'd I put it? Ah. I have a trophy. I got one. Look at this. Look at this. Incredible. High quality. Made out of sturdy plastic. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I understand the excitement. It says over here. Champion of the SC2 Viewer Tournament, February 2024. I've already put my fingerprints on it. Is it silver? Oh wait, yes. Absolutely. Okay, I didn't really clean it very well. Doesn't matter. I'll be shipping that one off to the winner if they want it. 
They can also pick some merch from the store if they want it. I could try and sign it, although... I'm not exactly sure how reasonable that truly is. Did I design it? No, I ordered it on the internet. For about 20 bucks. <laughs> so I really put in a lot of effort. I almost forgot to actually do it, so I had to do rush delivery. But other than that... Yeah, I can, I can bring my Sharpie to the... My god, you're ruining the tournament, Toby! <laughs> Alright, fine, fine, fine. Go ahead. <sighs> yeah, he didn't want to be here with me. I talk too much. Yeah, it is what it is. I didn't even get a... I, I didn't even let him play with the box that the trophy came in. Honestly, I'm a terrible person. Anyways, guys, um, we're about ready, I think, for the first game already. As soon as uh, Mr. Nuke invites me into a game, he's going to be running the tournament together with Drum Rush from behind the scenes. I'm also going to be casting the games, of course. I'll be casting as many as possible together with Mr. Rashi. Who I believe is here as well. Hold up, can I pop Rashi up on the stream? There he is. Good morning. Have you made your Pledge of Allegiance, Rushy? Hmm, every day. Every day, huh? It's every early day. in the morning in Iowa, if I'm not mistaken, but... Yeah, what, 7.15? Something like that? It looks like it's still dark out there. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's really foggy today. Apparently, we got, like, a notice that we're in a dense fog advisory. So, people are supposed to be careful when they drive. Just don't go outside. Just say, yeah. stay inside and play video games all day. I figured it was a perfect occasion for me to sit at my computer and do nothing, like I do every day. No, just keep, keep keep moving. Next topic. Go, go, go. Loco, did you did you guys call a coordinate? Yeah, 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 we did. I was like, Rushy, make sure to get your shirts out and the black t-shirt will do. No. He decided to bring out the v-neck. Where's yours? Yeah. yeah, no, I didn't get the v-neck, but it's all what? right. What? I know, oh. I know. It looks like we have our first game already ready, Rushy. Can you no. believe this? Well, well, I mean, we could jump into the first game, but don't you want me to go grab my duvet and we can just <laughs> settle this right here, right now? <laughs> no, no, no. We don't have to have the duvet conversation <laughs> That's again. That's not true. There's always time. We spent about 30 minutes yesterday, for those of you that weren't here, <laughs> discussing American duvets versus European ones. And it turns out, I thought that after all these years of streaming, and after all these years of making content, that we had figured out basically all differences. <sighs> turns out the, the, the great duvet debacle of 2024 had not happened yet. No, we found out that apparently Europeans and Americans handled their duvets slightly differently. Does the US do it wrong? I think so. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you know what? I do think so, but apparently Russia disagrees. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, why, why do we have to jump straight to who's right and who's wrong? I thought we were just going to have, like, oh, okay, discussion okay, about this. But, yeah, no, the, I was but just now answering. it's a tax. I was just answering the chat. It's all right. Oh, Look, how can I join the tournament? I'm afraid it's already a little too late. If you want to stay in tune or in touch with all of those whenever they happen, make sure to join the Discord server. Discord.gg slash LocoTV. Easiest way to go. Um, now, they made Sally T. Yeah, they made Sally T the host for this game. Uh, we are ready to go if Crown Lore is as well, guys. I'm pretty excited for this, Rushy. It's been so long since we did a viewer event. Dude, it's just been a long time since I, I've sat in front of a StarCraft 2 screen. So yeah. I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, you have not been able to cast that many games lately, I guess, right? Nah, dude. Teaching's been crazy. It's been busy. That's all right. That's but okay. I, Kind of a cool thing. Um, but my j we're right in the middle of jazz band season in Iowa, and my jazz band's doing remarkably well. Sick. Like, I think we have a chance to go to our state championship this year. Nice. Kind of excited about that. Russia band teacher, by the way, for those of you unfamiliar. He doesn't just go to high schools and <laughs> play instruments randomly. Nah, not quite what happens. Hey, thank you, Ryan, for the support. Mr. Smiley, Awok, Niccolo, Maldafros with us. Kenshi, I'm the program. Ray Tracer, Panorama, and then Rainer. Thank you guys very much for the support. Very nice. <laughs> like, Ooh. you're just saying words. <laughs> no, no, I was naming names of people that decided to support the stream. Mm, there you go. Is Rushy wearing the formal V-neck? Absolutely. 
Rushy, since it's been a while, do you want to have the honor of introducing our very oh, first players? I absolutely would. In the bottom left, the Hecate, it's a, the green Zerg player. This is Cranlor. Very nice. And his opponent all the way in the opposite corner. We're looking at none other than Sally T's main hatchery. Guys, first best of three series of the viewer tournament. So there's a whole lot of games happening all at the same time. We're obviously not going to be able to cast every single match that will be taking place. But we're going to try and cover as many as we can. I don't know exactly if you can stay for the whole event, Rushy, because sometimes these, these events can run for a really long time. It's okay if you have to leave early or whatever, but I'm going to be here. I, I'm going to be here for as long as this takes. Nah, man, I'm here the whole day. I got nothing else scheduled for today. You found the one Saturday that I'm busy, or that Sick. I'm not busy. Unless every single game is like that one historical, legendary <laughs> Terran versus Terran that we cast together between Lufsonk and Taco Emissary, where both players forgot they make, could make Liberators. That game... That's, when I think of viewer tournaments, that's the game that comes to mind. If you haven't seen it, that was like a, a Bronze League match. Okay, maybe not Bronze League. I think both players were a little bit higher than that. But they just forgot that Liberators were a thing. And essentially what we had is two lines of Siege tanks and both guys just running Marines at each other. <laughs> it, it was not a very <laughs> optimal way to play StarCraft 2. So, you know, if every game is going to be like that one, this tournament would probably run like 12 plus hours. I'm secretly well, we hoping it'll probably... be a little shorter, but... <laughs> We'd have to install rules. <laughs> like, you can't, like, at 30 minutes, we're, we're doing a point count. Or, like, you have to send everything at each other, and whoever wins, wins. Yeah, you gotta pull the boys at some point. We, we do a fight with unseach <laughs> tanks. We, we solve it with rock, paper, scissors. Like, we gotta do something Ooh, at that point. Ooh, there you go. Anyway, so far, nothing all too crazy, by the way. I know Sally T did play in a bunch of previous viewer events as well. Kralor has been uh, sharing a lot of his replays on the Discord server as well. I know he specifically dislikes playing against Terran at the moment, but I guess we'll see how well it's going to go against Zerg in that case. I was going to say good news. Zerg, least Terran-like units in StarCraft 2. Yeah, fair. Especially since they got rid of the infested Terran. Now, I do think that Sally T is probably a little bit higher in MMR, although I did not quite check their exact MMR counts. Ooh, I can get that for you. You you got it? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um it's Cranlore 3245, Sally T 3307. Okay. Oh sick. Alright, so they're actually very evenly matched. Oh right. yeah, yeah. This is this was a big reason why uh our admin pulled these uh, this as one of our possible first matches. Cause we wanted something. Gotta start out. Sort of strong, right? I mean, if we come out swinging and we got like a platinum league against bronze, all of a sudden it's like, oh, okay, the momentum's kind of shot just a little bit. But, yeah. You know, two two people sitting right in platinum. Yeah. Right. I guess 33 set like super low diamond. Can't even remember. I think it might just barely be. Yeah. I don't know exactly what the current uh, breaking points are for getting into the next league, but so far both of these guys are playing a pretty normal game, actually. Yeah. So, Krenlor, what do you think he's going for? Probably 1-1. One, one. A roach speed. Big roach push. Straight through the center of the map. Win the game. GG. I, I mean, right now, there's no third base. So, yeah. it seems to be the best option. I, I think this is a, the less optimal version of it, right? Because it's got plus one carapace. It, usually, you just do plus one missile. So, that way, it goes a little bit quicker. You have a few more roaches. But, you know, the durability of uh, plus one carapace not going to be terrible, especially since Sally uh, is rolling with just the, what I'll call, stereotypical uh, plus one uh, missile attack. And there goes the lair as well. So, yeah. uh, a little bit a little bit offset, but I'd say rather close. Uh, the biggest determining factor is going to be roach speed. And Cranlor is definitely going to have that one as uh, attack hits. Yeah, if Krenlor actually just makes non-stop roaches here for the next minute or so, until roach speed is done and he pushes, and he has no money in the bank, I think that's going to be a very tough defense for Sally T, who's a little bit behind because of that quicker third base. So they have a third base taken, but they don't actually have a lair done just yet. And yeah, It all depends on when he stops making drones too, but he made a couple units, and then a couple drones, and a couple units, and a couple drones, which is uh, probably the... It, it's, a, it's a good way to play if you know 
very little about what the opponent is doing, right? But against this particular start right here from Krenlor, it really is not optimal. Yeah. I sort I of think, assumed, uh, by the way, that Sally T was a Terran player. Because Sally T? <laughs> Is that did, even did you did you superimpose an extra T in there, salty T? Because that was like <laughs> that would just like fit the whole the whole bill there. Honestly, every Starcraft player is salty. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen some of My the messages that Krellor posts in the chat whenever he loses against Terran again, <laughs> and he's a very nice guy. <laughs> Bro, now, losing to Terran couldn't be me. <laughs> he Dude, is my, playing my from Australia, by the way. So like, oh, uh, he's okay. got like four hundred ping. <laughs> every every action that he does is like. 0.4 seconds delayed or something like that, which yeah, maybe a little a uh, little tricky. But here's that Rocha tech, dude. Okay, we got to see if there's any Aussies in the chat. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Just wait. Don't, don't. Mm -hmm. Just the the call the, the siren call. You gotta wait. They, they're, they're like on a delay. It's like going to the moon and back. It takes a little while. No, no Aussies. No oi oi ois. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it there's took one. a while. <laughs> Oh, is there enough though? Ooh, a little bit of over control right there on those roaches in green. Queens on the right side of the map have already been falling. Sally in a bit of trouble, but he obviously does have the defender's advantage. Two slow zerklings join in as well. This is a pretty good gamble, things considered. Yeah, I was gonna say the the roach count evens out with the reinforcements there. So Crane Lord does still have the advantage, but not all the roaches on that side of the map. But the upgrades are gonna really start kicking in uh, as well. So two two for Crane Lord. I think the third base is now gonna start becoming uh, an actual issue. He's gonna try and get out to his third base expansion to try and catch up with Sally T, who does have a slight drone advantage. Uh, he's gonna go into Spire. Yeah. Okay, I was just about to say, just crank the drone key, man, and just go for it. That was a great defense, but no, nah, he wants to he wants to step it up a match. Yeah. Like Emerald. Bam. It's a little risky, right? Because if he, like, he's droning and he's going Spire, Krenlor is going to be attacking as soon as 2-2 is done again, I'm sure, which is uh, very early, like you pointed out already. I mean, that plus, plus one armor was a little, little early, but now suddenly the plus two, it's... Well, very quick, especially compared to Sally's, who's going to go for a fourth base oh, and a fifth. And a fifth? Oh, no. my God. Sally. This is the okay. millionaire lifestyle, Rushy. This is Sally, too, who <laughs> defended the one attack, and he's, you know, he's going shopping. He won the lottery. He's never going to run out of cash ever again. Look, Sally's just thinking back to all the times that you've casted games, and, and it's like, <laughs> hey, you've got extra floating minerals. Just build more hatcheries. True. But... The, but usually that hatchery count is supplemented with like 70 drones, 80 drones, not 51. And yeah. Grand Lord has held down the Roach Key. So this is this is actually a, a really big moment here. I don't know if Sally's going to have enough to defend. Six Mutas are going to be on the way. And yeah, those are going to be able to pick off Ravagers and, and handle things. But it's not going to like be defense. This is this is a problem. Yeah. One problem as well, though, for Krenlor is that he didn't quite spend his bank. I think if he just had all his money spent here, he would probably be able to straight up, straight up win the game. I mean, he may still just have enough, right? Those Mutas are eventually going to kill it, but these are plus two armored roaches. Yeah. They're, they're going to get tickled. <laughs> this is like flying sentries right now, trying to get something done. Yeah, Sally's got the, the, the best strategy here. You take the Mutas in and you start picking off the Ravagers because they're a high-value unit. But but again, there's just nothing to deal with all of these Roaches. Reinforcements are going to pop out. There's going to be 10 more here. Uh, it's just, it's 30. It's 30 to 10. Yeah. I, I'm not great at math, but uh, that, that math doesn't math out for me. No, that math is not mathing. I love, by the way, I was just looking at the chat. Somebody saying, this is painful. You think this is painful? <laughs> Mate, this is by far the best viewer game that we have started with ever, okay? I have seen yeah, some like, painful games. Good. This is not very painful at all. This is actually pretty <laughs> dang good. Oh, oh man. Do, do you think Sally just like holds on? He's like, hey, I got the secret base <laughs> in the right. Like, he's never gonna find it. Never gonna to be fair, it. I would never expect that base here either. All the way. What is this, like three o'clock? Like that is very early here, all things considered. Oh no, there's two drones going into the natural. Oh, okay, GG. Yeah, all right. It's Krenlor who wins game number one. <laughs> he could have tried to make it a 30 minute game, but I think Krenlor would have found that base eventually. Uh, you think so? You don't hmm. think he just would have gone, like, ah, we'll just go back home. It's easy peasy. Yeah, it would be crazy if he did decide to just let it sit there for a very long time. <laughs> Nicely played though by Kren. Now, obviously, we're yeah. doing series, right? So this is a build that I know Krenlor has been playing, right? I've seen him submit some replays. I had a look at them. 
Now, does he have utter strategies? <laughs> That's my Ooh. question. Because I've got a feeling he's going to do the exact same thing again. Yeah, wait a minute. You you mean we can't just do the exact same build over and over again, and then at the end of game two, look back and just... What? How did he know? How, is How that did possible? he know I was going to go two base? What? I know. It's crazy. Loco, I made my signature fried rice and I'm ready for the tournament. Should I do some Twitch chat predictions? Absolutely, dude. Go ahead, Echo. Ooh. Thank you, Bony Boy, for the resubscription as well. What did you what did you call him? Bony Boy? Is that not okay, his name? That's not what I that's not what I heard. Okay, I did correct myself. That's okay. Oh nope. you nobody noticed. Nobody noticed. Yo. You tried to pull a fast one on me. Meerkaz has got my back though. No, 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 no. <laughs> <sighs> Loco, my Dutch friend said that Noka in the Coca means I love you in Dutch. <laughs> yes. Yes, it Technically. does. Technically. Absolutely, yes. It's uh, loving somebody passionately in the kitchen. It's close enough. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. So, Lotrex has already won 2 to 0. Blue Knight got a free win. Inter also got a free win. It's nice to see the same names popping up again, man. Like, we, we sometimes have quite a bit of a break in between these viewer games and, or viewer tournaments, rather, and there's always, there's always the same name signing up. There's some couple of new names as well, though. Echo Soldier getting wrecked by Glorek. Oh, it's a, ah, oh, it's an official, it's an official tournament. Yeah. Do you think he um, made uh, Observer Speed again? <laughs> God, I hope so. Okay, Loco, how do you know the players are not actually watching the stream? We don't. Um, we, we do tell we people, like, system. hey, this is meant to be fun, and it's meant to be, like, just a good time. Also, there's no money on the line. It's just, you know, it's all good. Yep. So We tried to... So, yeah, uh, so if you're watching the stream, don't do it. Close it. Close yep. it. Okay, good. I'll, I'll call your mom. <laughs> I'm very good at that. I got a teacher voice. <laughs> you don't want to hear it. Sally T, what did you do? <laughs> Hello, is this Sally T's mom? <laughs> Hi, this is Rushy from the Twitch chat. Do you actually you do you actually ever do those calls? Oh, absolutely. Oh no. It's like, re it's like required. Oh, dude. That's the worst feeling as well as a parent, I'm sure. It's like, oh my god, no, what what did they do this time? Oh, see, our school is big on um, flipping the script, so they, they ask us if we ever have to call home for like a negative reason, which does happen. Uh, they also say, hey, can you try and make a phone call later on, like two weeks later for a positive reason? So that way the parent like picks up the phone and is like, oh, again? And it's like, oh no, your, your kid's great. They turned in their homework one time. Wow, <laughs> really proud of them. Good job, so they Jimmy. they hang up the phone and they're like, Sally T, get over here. <laughs> Did you turn in your math homework today? <laughs> yeah. I'm so proud of you. Let's get ice cream. Do you sometimes really have to reach down to come up with something positive? Absolutely. <laughs> like, like, dude, your shirt so cool today. Wow. There you go. The color red. Who would have thought that would go great on a tee? That's incredible. But that twenty dollar trophy. Okay. Okay. Guys, if if like, here's the reality. If someone's gonna cheat for a twenty dollar trophy, like we were, <laughs> we were doomed to begin with. That would not be ideal. No, I think generally speaking, if I ever do a live stream, I'm I'm gonna try to avoid having any delays ever. Like I don't enjoy live streaming with delays. I think the fun part of live streaming is well the chat, right? Like we can see that there's people watching and we can actually have a little bit of communication. Even if it's just like a one minute delay, it already kind of ruins a lot of it for me. So I, I try to not stream That's with great. delays whatever possible, because it's uh just not very fun. So true. Look at these identical openings. Yeah. Like, almost down to the second, too. Yeah, this is a pretty high-level game, actually. I think for the next one, we should go a little bit further down. Oh, yeah. you think so? Yeah, there's probably still a couple Silver League players right now that are playing their very first tournaments <laughs> that are trying to figure out how to host the game. They probably haven't started round one yet, so I think I think we can jump into one of those. That would be okay, reasonable. Okay. Dude, I remember winning like my first like auto tournament as I think it's a platinum. Yeah. Like the the excitement, the it's the sick. adrenaline rush. Yeah. It was it was awesome. No, I agree. I uh 
I used to play like these smaller online cups way back in the day, like go for SC2 and stuff. I don't know if anybody remembers those. That's a long time ago. I never got very far, but I actually remember getting very nervous whenever I would play in them, even though it was like the first round. I remember if you go way back to like the early days on my YouTube channel, I played a game or a series against a Korean pro gamer at the time named Hyun. Some of you may remember that name. And he, um, he destroyed me. <laughs> But I was so nervous, and I was so proud of that game, even though I lost, that I made a dedicated video of me getting absolutely butchered in like six minutes time. So yeah, I know I know the feeling, man. It's, it's nice. How close in time proximity was that to one of the first videos you uploaded? Because like your English impeccable in like the first 50 videos you uploaded to YouTube. So I can just only imagine you, the young, the young Dutch phenom, if you will, like just it it it, it is. This, this was like probably like 2011 or so. If I were to make a guess, it's a while ago, Ooh. bro. What do you want to know? What I was doing in 2011 before we talk about this Nidus Network. I don't know. I'm Let graduating me guess. college. Yeah. <laughs> and you were what? Well, I guess you're not. You're not that young. Much younger. No, than no, I'm 31. So you right? were just you just started college. Um, could be. I don't remember specifically. All I really wanted to do, though, was just make videos and play StarCraft. That's really all I ever wanted to do. Oh, the true gamer. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. Okay, so so this is kind of fun. We've got two... Uh, we can talk about the game now, chat. Don't worry about it. Um, so we've got two, uh, two base versus two base, but Sally with a little Nidus network. We do have uh, positions go. on both sides. Yeah, it's like this... you got to drop it, because every second this goes by, Cranlor runs the opportunity of getting an overlord into the right spot. So Cranlor sees it. I don't think he has the intel that the Nidus network is there, but he is going Sally! to see the first worm go down. That was like 45 seconds. <laughs> hold, hold up, hold up. Did he just... Cranlor has vision he... of it. Cranlor has vision of it. Oh no. No he's, response? He's, he's seen it. He just hasn't seen it. Huh. Well, he doesn't have a lot of supply cap as well, so uh, this is actually going to be really uh, difficult damage to deal with. Tons of zerglings come pouring in, Those and he doesn't have Nidus speed. worm here, man. Ay, 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 ay. He saw it, but he didn't, and it turns out it did exist in the end. Queen's not oh. transfusing. Roaches are coming, but like, yeah, like you said, no link speed, no nothing. There was a quick Hydra then, so Cranlor is seeing two base plays. Like, ooh, this has got to be mute us. Not what we're doing. Also, how do you feel about Zerkling rushing with a Knight as well? Dude, Zerkling's pretty good. It's pretty good <laughs> yeah, unit. Yeah, that's true. I'd, I'd love it if he just like took three of these and made Banelings. But, uh, oh, getting the spawning pool would be huge here. That would actually reduce a lot that Cranlor can do. Because he doesn't want to invest money into spawning pool. No, just get it! Go for it! Nibble it away! Uh, okay. Yeah! He got it. Uh. I actually don't know if I love this position for Sally, though. Because he's going up against 1-1 one, one Roaches. And yeah, he's 10 workers ahead, but this counterattack from Cranlor should hit like a truck. Uh, then again, I mean, Sally really needs to spend his money. Like, the problem that I have here with the Nidus Worm with the Zerklings in it is that he doesn't have a good way of spending it on two base. Like, he's not generating enough larva to actually spend it. So he's all the way up to two, well, 2,000 resources here in total. Getting some gases. These roaches are gonna hit pretty hard. He's even brought a drone for a bat mattered hatchery. <laughs> the ultimate flex. Two spy yeah. crawler rush at six and a half minutes, baby. <laughs> okay, one spy. Uh, yeah, okay, one oh. spine crawler. Dude, that's that's gonna that's gonna tip it. Actually, plus one melee finishing yeah. here would be impactful if there were enough links to help. Finally, uh, we're going to get an engagement here. The queens do back Aww. themselves up. Drums get pulled off of the line here. There is a decent surround, but is there enough DPS to actually shut this down? Because there really isn't that much left from Cranlor if he loses this entire amount of roaches and doesn't have a follow-up plan. And I think that is going to be what happens here. I think Sally is able to stabilize with this and has 1500 in the bank. He saved for college, and now he gets to use it. <laughs> nice. Always save for college, shit. No, I, I recommend you live life like you macro in StarCraft 2, okay? Just spend, spend, spend the entire <laughs> time. If we had credit cards in StarCraft 2, how bad would it be? You can just buy stuff on credit in SC2? Ay, ay, ay. We've had one night, yes. 
What about second nitus? Oh no. <laughs> well, he's unloading them again at home because the roaches in green are moving in. Yeah. Yeah, you oh. almost need to just send oh. in Zerglings what? to go deal what? with that. We're got Oh no, my god, Bunny no. Warren with a 50 no. subscription bomb in the chat. <laughs> Dang, Bunny. That is a lot. He hurt my command of spend, spend, spend. Grelor, can we kill the hatchery, please? <laughs> oh, Sally. Just, oh, just, just walk uh, those uh, uh, Walk him forward. There we go. You know what happened? Grelor, oh, army hotkey, attack moved, and then pulled his roaches accidentally off of the hatch. Oh, no. Um, now uh, we, oh, okay. Oh, I was that, gonna say. Uh, that, that's good. Good yeah. game, Sally. The one one equalizer. Yeah, we did have another base, but Krenler proxied all the way on the bottom left. I, yeah, this was definitely game here in the end, but that was very close. You know, the main thing here is that Krenler had vision, I think, of both Nidus worms, and he just didn't react to it. That is, yeah, not great. Nah, that's pretty well, pretty well done. Well memed. Yeah, well done. Loco, I hope Cyril's watching this and taking notes. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> This is uh, very likely. Serral preparing for Katowice is very likely watching this stream here and he's taking notes of you guys' strategies. There's one time I was doing a coaching session on stream with... I don't remember exactly who this was. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It's like two years ago. And um, <laughs> I was going over a couple of things, right, about beating Skytals. And then Serral says hello in the chat. You know, you were talking about getting nervous when you're playing a StarCraft II tournament, Rushy. Mm -hmm. um, when you're doing a coaching session and Serral says hi in the chat, it does get a little ner- Yeah, it does get a little nerve-wracking. It's... <sighs> Even as a streamer, sometimes these things get a little... A little messy. Yeah. No, dude, I, I remember the first time I cast a, a big <laughs> it was event. With Shren. It was with Shren. Shren says it was like Jesus talked to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. I think I remember that. Sarah can walk on water. Absolutely. Oh. All right. They're Actually, all my mom just texted me. You need to stop calling her. No, I call her for different reasons. So it's okay. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Jeez. Wait, Look, the after hours something. tutor sessions, they're not just for students. <laughs> All right. Do you bring your brass instruments? We work on our fingerings. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> All right. Bro, you can't just D me up and okay, tell me no, not to swing. I'm rushing my family-friendly show ruined. Okay. I have never said such a thing at all, ever. <laughs> Rushy plays the tuba, yeah. Well, actually, you yeah. said last time that you didn't really play the tuba that much anymore. You were more of like uh, a, a... What was it? I play the euphonium most. You, I was gonna say symphonium, but that's not right. Yeah, euphonium. My tube is like right there. I'm just looking at it. Just yep. chilling. Just hanging just out. Chilling. Yeah. Just living his best life. Like 20 pounds of floor. copper, in the corner of a room. 20? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> my tube weighs about 45. Wait, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's heavy. Oh shit. Okay. It's like it's just like a ton of metal. Hmm. He's living its living base, base life. life. Hey. Hey, hey oh, that's a good one. Well done. Well memed. <laughs> you guys can't hear it, but I pressed the applause button on my sound effects board. I can press. Yeah, there you go. I, I'll do a little bit of it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank no you. worries, no worries. Thank you for that. I got your back. Dude, professional streamer right here. As a European pretending to know what a pound is. I was trying to... Yeah, I should have said 20 kilos. It would have been accurate. Hey, thank you, though, Bunny, for the big support just now. I really appreciate that. That was a lot of subs. Oh, Bunny. And thank you also, Bearded Bob. What if Bearded Bob ever shaves? Does he have to change his username? Yeah, he's gonna have to change his username. Absolutely. Or is being Bearded Bob a mindset? Ooh. That's a good point. Think about that one. Hey, we have now seen three ZVZs without Ling Rushes. I feel like this is not very representative of the latter at all. Can you tell us about uh, the latter experience in ZVZ rushing? Uh, for North America? Mm -hmm. uh, the little that I've played, it's been a lot of plus one roach. Hmm. I haven't gotten a whole lot of uh, pulls. Although I did play someone last night. I played for just like three ladder games. Won them all, by the way. Mm. Mm. Um, and somebody too proxy racks me. I was like, I think I even said to him in chat, like, what year is it? <laughs> We build them in our natural as part of the wall of these days. <laughs> we make two to five reapers. 
And it was so funny. My next game, it was another Terran opponent that was like, uh, man, ladder's so cheesy lately. And I said, yeah, the last person I played just two racks to me. And he's like, wait, that still works? And I was like, I assure you, it did not. <laughs> <laughs> and he left. It's one of those builds, though, that's like still strong. Like we see it every once in a while. I know that only Vera did it on Equilibrium, but yeah, it is it is not very popular anymore lately. It is kind of a cool though, uh, kind of a cool one. Like it's not like that build got nerfed, did it? I guess the maps are just a little smaller, so you literally just build them as part of your wall off now. I mean, so many Zergs just run their first two overlords in normal scouting paths, too. So <laughs> yeah, I think it's just one of those. It's been done so much that, like, for me, like, I, I will always first overlord to the natural. Second overlord flies a path over my natural and my third and then darts over to the uh, opponent's third. And that's right. like, like, if you're going to spot a proxy, like, that's the, the simple solution. It takes, oh no, 35 more seconds of scouting time. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's worth it. Every yeah. time. If you don't find it, though, it's scary. But anyways, no proxy <laughs> barracks true. in this matchup. Look, are we playing okay, NA so or EU server? Uh, we're playing all games on EU, unless both players really want to play somewhere else. But um, mostly just to make the tournament a little bit smoother, especially for the later rounds, I guess. Like, if you want to make it a little bit more fair... Um, like say somebody is from Asia and somebody is from North America. We, we can like we can work with that, but in general, all games on EU. Yeah, we're pretty flexible. It's more about the experience. Yeah. Participation okay, so... is more important than winning, is what my mom always said when I was a kid. And I strongly disagreed with her when I was a kid. And she's like, no, when you're older, you'll understand. I was like, mom, I don't think so. Still don't dis... Yeah, I still don't agree. <laughs> I would... I, I don't know. I always wanted to win whenever I... I always want to win whenever I compete in anything, I guess, but... Um, yeah. I'm glad that there's still a lot of people signed up as well that... Know that they probably are gonna struggle winning the viewer event, but they're still participating just for fun. Local, your okay, mom so is wrong. Well. Bro, bro, you here. can't say that. Okay, sorry, Rush. Oh, I was like... I was like... <laughs> we, we can keep bantering. I'm good with banter. But I, I think we have an interesting development here. Because um, mm -hmm. Sally is... It's kind of flipping the script here. For game one, Cranlor went for the really quick 1-1 uh, uh, Roach timing. And now this time, uh, Sally's actually gone for it. And he, and he kind of went in a weird order, too. He, yeah. Oh, maybe. Maybe we'll get that to pop because ah. Lair's done. There it goes. Um, he, he sacrificed his link speed for it. And I, I think that's one of those, that's a high risk, high reward type of situation. Cranlor comes across the map with any amount of Ling aggression. He's just going to get relentlessly bullied. But in this case, both players really not investing into any Ling play whatsoever. So Sally takes a calculated risk and he's going to be able to get his uh, like one, one done faster. And now already able to get plus two missile going on top of it. So I think this is. I mean, Sally, Sally's kind of rallying here. Rough game number one, but looked great in game number two and off to a good start here. Yeah, he's going to go across the map. Now, I don't really love the timing here of Roach Speed, though, because he did get Link Speed in the end, and then he did get a quick Lair as well, but he like, he never got the Roach upgrade, which is like the main thing that you're really aiming for with the quick Lair. Uh, then again, Kronlar is going to have a bit of a tough time here, I think, defending against this. Kronlar does not know about the third, by the way. So he may be thinking that it's going to be that triangle third base instead of the one a little bit further away. So he's going for additional spine crawlers right now as he sees all of those units moving out, running past his overlords. I think Kranlar can easily hold this. Oh god, if Sally runs into the spines, that would be horrible. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, hopefully Sally recognizes this is not worth bashing your head into because there's no... Especially with two more... Uh, spines popping out here. Ravagers are not going to make this fight any better, but if Cranlor comes out to meet him, that, that reduces a little bit of the damage that Sally can take, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, we got some transfusions? That'd be sick. Oh, 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 he wanted to target I think the Ravagers. Oh, move the roaches? Okay, good. Dodging bottles with 400 ping. No, oh, no. <laughs> I think this is just too much. Yeah, that fight went pretty poorly right there for Cranlor. I think he had all the units he really needs, but... Sally getting a nice hit in. Sniping the Roach Warren here would be huge. Luckily for Krenler, he does finish up the Roach Speed upgrade. Oh, he really hates Ravagers. <laughs> that man's the Ravager Hunter. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know if it's worth it to try and target down those Ravagers in that particular scenario. Roach Warren's gonna go down. 
Uh, oh, that'll be a nice bile on a couple of those spine crawlers. So, fun fact, folks, if you if you want to do this kind of defense, put some space in between those uh, spine crawlers so that way Ravager Biles can't get a two for one deal on those biles. Yep. They deal full damage to everything. This is tough. Was there a backup road to one for Krenler? There is not. He's now kind of forced to go into Hydralisk. He's like, oh, I guess I gotta spend my money on something. I am not in love with it. He's still not remade the, the Roach Warren either. Sally in the meantime, I mean, he's only got one drone at the third base. He's also stopped injecting, so he's got a lot of money here in the bank in total. But <laughs> eventually that Overlord dies. Yeah, I think he Dude, may that's... just still have enough army here to just straight up win. Yeah, as I say, he should just push forward here. I mean, he can Ooh. start tapping down on the hatchery. And if the second hatchery goes down for Cranler, I think it's just all but over. He's got the bank, but he wouldn't have any larva, and he barely has larva enough as it is. But Hydras are not going to be enough of a response here. There's a there's a world yeah. where Stally could, could accidentally oopsie his army and, and lose, but there are enough units. Okay, yeah. Cranler did it instead. Oops. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have much of a choice, I guess. <laughs> man, I see that the man hates Ravagers, but... I think ultimately his hate for the Ravager is also why he got beaten by the Ravagers here. GG is cold. It's well Sally done. who wins. Very nice. Yeah, we do have a double elimination bracket. Um, did my did Nuke official call it the losers bracket? I yeah 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 yeah. Wow. We're not allowed to call it losers bracket anymore in tournaments, guys. We're supposed to call it the upper and the lower bracket. But fair enough. We'll, we'll, we'll let it slide this time. It'll be on your report card. Now, um, yeah, we have a double elimination bracket. So if you do end up getting defeated in the first round, you still have a shot of moving on into the next round. But these games are all best of ones. So eh, just a nice little way of, you know, not being eliminated from the tournament right away. So, for example, the players here at the bottom, they're currently not quite down and out yet. Echo Soldier apparently ended up getting defeated indeed. We get a participation trophy bracket. No, most most tournaments actually in SC2 also run. Well, maybe not most, but a lot of tournaments do run double elimination. I think there's something there's something very funny about you immediately going to see how Echo did. I think it's yeah, well, he was trying to invite me into a lobby like 17 times and I completely <laughs> ignored him. So I kind of felt bad. <laughs> Nobody noticed that though. Oh. Okay, that's fine. I got invited into a game already. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, dude. No, they're not messing around today. Who is going to be our next matchup? Ah, yes. From one mirror to the next. Ooh, a do we want to do another mirror? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with another. Okay. One. I think it'd be fun if we um, do some people a little bit lower up on the ladder, because we'll probably see the, the Diamond League players compete however, quite a bit I more moving forward as well. I would like to propose a question. I see a master's border on one of our players. Ooh, that's a very good point. Well, he's got diamond 2 MMR. <laughs> I think he's come plummeting down over the last couple of weeks. Hmm, but I do remember reading the rules that says never master. That's why I didn't sign up to clean this thing up. Ooh, there you go. That is fine. We'll what, we can, we can let it slide, I suppose, but... Um, I'm just, is there I'm just by saying, any chat, chance... Help me be Suspicious. Yeah, is there by any chance another game available with maybe some people a little bit lower up? That would be very handy. Because I think we'll probably see these names pop up a little bit later on into the event as well. Is there another game? <laughs> it's the Master's Border bug. That could also be. <laughs> I, I don't know if that one is still there. I don't know if that's still an issue. No, nah, that's fair. I'm just, I'm just memeing. There's a 2.9 versus 3.1k game. I think we're we're probably gonna go check that one out. Unless it's another ZVZ. I would like to jump into another one of those. Oh, that's this particular match that we are currently in? Ah, okay, I misunderstood. All right, well, I guess we'll have a look at this one then. All right. Oh, I, okay, I see. I got a little confused there. I I see what's happening because uh, uh, Urbis is has 3.6k as his Terran, but for ah. Protoss he's got 3.1. 
Ah, uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. All right. Casters, ready. We'll be jumping in. Oh, I guess case. you're the host. Yep. I got, I got to start we... this match. We have the option to team up on the observer list. We should be on the same team next time. Yeah. Does that just, matter? Just for fun. <laughs> just for the memes. No, no, of course not. <laughs> I was just testing you. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Loco, please stop mirror matchups. Mirror matchups deserve love too, okay? It's actually been a little bit since I've last seen a PvP. What happened in PvP, you guys? Is any is anything changed? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Everybody pretends that they're max packs and then they get destroyed, right? That's the build. Yeah. Spot right here, top right in corner. Game number one. Rolling out Cyane. It's Urbis. And in the bottom left, their opponent in the orange. It's Rebusol. Rebusol again. Nice. Thank you very much, Mr. Ozzy and Kamikaze and JTL for the subs. One of those was on YouTube, rushing. Oh my god. YouTube members coming in hot. Very YouTube. Nice. Let's go. Why did you say that in such a. It sounded like you were. Almost insulting the YouTube viewers there, Rushy. Why would you YouTube? Why would anyone watch on YouTube? Uh, did, did you said those words, sir, not me. Oh, okay, okay. And now I have video evidence to prove it. That's true. All right, so Ooh. what Mexpex does in this matchup <laughs> is what none of the other players really do. He goes for a lot of low ground play and single gateway expense, and it's very dangerous if you are not Mexpex. <laughs> it's one of those builds that's really good if it works out. It's just that you need to, like... You know, if StarCraft 2 is a game of, like, checklist, you have to, like, check off the first 100 or so boxes before you can make that strategy work. And it's really easy to accidentally fill. Now, we do have a single gateway opener here. At Gas least steel. for Urbis. Yeah. Gas steel in the blue base. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is he gonna go for an expo because of it? I guess he will. Loco, when are we gonna see a YouTuber tournament? Oof. A StarCraft 2 YouTuber tournament? There was at some point the Caster's Invitational. This was mm. quite a few mm -hmm. years ago, actually. I think this was organized by Todd, I wanna say? Anyways. Maybe. Yeah. That was quite a lot of fun. But, um... The question is always, right? Where do you draw the line for a Caster's tournament? Like, for example, Harstam has been casting a ton of games. Do we consider Harstam a caster? I can tell you, if there is a casters tournament, Harstam would murder everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you draw the line? I'm yeah, definitely it, it is, down, though. I think it'd be cool to do more, like, I hate to call it, like, casual or informal, but, uh, yep. but yeah, you, you kind of remove some of the elements of, like, yeah, Harstam is always going to be down to win money. Like, yeah, why not? But, uh, but yeah, you look at some of the casters, and it is a wide gap between just probably every single, like, if you if you lined up, like, the top 25 commentators, I say top 25, so my name can maybe make it into that list. Um, it would uh, make it it's easy. Just, it's a vast difference between everybody. Yeah. It is... Um... Yeah, it's kind of tricky. That's always the thing that we run into. Harstam versus Rushy. Rushy would win. Easy. Calling it now. Not yeah, even close. Well, if he just leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if he disconnects. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is going on, uh, Sanguine? Thank you for the 100 bits. He says, I should be resting from my nasal passage surgery. I mean, you can watch. Oh. You can watch the stream and, and rest. Hope you feel better soon. Yo, also, by the way, JTL in the YouTube chat, gifted five memberships. <sighs> very nice. Thank Big you very time. much, JTL. Look at what happens if I win in the lower bracket. Then you move on to the next opponent in the lower bracket. And then ultimately, if you win all the way until the very end, and the final match in the lower bracket, I believe, is best of three, you will go back up. So it really is like a second life. Now, they are best of ones, because otherwise, like, the tournament may accidentally run for, like, 12 plus hours. Um, which I'm honestly fine with, although it would be very late. But <laughs> I, I don't I don't know exactly how many people want to sit here and watch for that amount of time. 
Okay, so so this is going to be a, a pivotal moment here for this PvP. M most times, I'm imagining this is just going to be the end of it because this is just a lot of units, and if you don't micro it carefully, it just kind of ends. But uh, Rebusol is going to come. He's on one base. Urbis is aware of this. Had a scouting probe at that natural. Did not see any bases coming. So dropping additional uh, He's on, shield batteries he here, trying gate? to get this defense. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. This is this is should be just fine. Two immortals here with yeah. overcharge with multiple amounts of uh, shield batteries. Pulling the boys, do? Oh, I mean, he is 15 workers ahead, right? Shield batteries are pretty sick. Still just on a single gateway. I was wondering when that uh, warp gate upgrade was going to finish up, but it finished up right at the start of that fight, pretty much. But yeah, Immortal's pretty good. Ooh, don't walk him too far, though. As you say, you just got to keep tapping them and let the let the stalkers do the remaining damage to take them out. But uh, anytime those barriers pop, you got to hold them back. You can easily get overwhelmed and accidentally just lose your most powerful defensive unit right here because every second that goes by, Urbis is just going to get further and further ahead and Rebisol is going to fall behind. He has no base coming in at the end of it. I, I mean, Rebisol's got to go now. Otherwise, he's just out. How can he lose him if they're called immortal? Ooh. Checkmate, Rushy. Yeah, <laughs> whoops, sorry, it's in my Zerg bias here. <laughs> Jeez, they're called <laughs> Immortals. Oh, How can you so possibly... <laughs> Anyways, it's in the name. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right, though. Urbis is just out mining Rebusol very hard. So that was a nice, nice hold right there. Ultimately, right, his income is just so much bigger. So for every minute that goes by right now, he's getting the equivalent of, like, nine zealots more than his opponent. Which, <laughs> over the course of a couple minutes, adds up very quickly. So, yeah, Rebusol needs to get something done, but he also can't really afford just throwing away units here. So I think what we're going to see is Rebusol die a very slow, but also very painful death. He's got a very long death animation. So what is kind of funny is, like, we can get caught into this trap in the lower levels where the game's effectively over, but neither player wants to either tap out or just move across the map. So we end up sitting for, like, eight to nine minutes while nothing is happening. Everything is done, but we just don't finish the game. And it, it is very possible we encounter yep. that here. <laughs> Second Robo coming up right here for Urbis. I think he could just make a prism and go, but he does not want to take any chances. He wants to make a forge <laughs> and double down and stuff. He's got full energy on his neck side. So yeah, there's a little bit of Optimization that can be done, but I can imagine he doesn't want to. Oh, he's going for a third as well. Yeah, he does yep, not want to risk here, it at all. Here it comes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, I, I think literally, quite literally, I think Urbis could a move and go to the bathroom, and I think he'd win. I think he'd be. It'd just be fine. So I haven't he's published this video yet, Rushy, but have you by any chance seen the Hero versus Serral game on Radu Set Station that they recently played? No, uh-uh. Okay. That video is not going to go up on YouTube for another week, so I don't quite want to spoil it. But it is the most painful game of StarCraft 2 that I have seen in a very long time. <laughs> it's a situation like this where one player is incredibly far ahead, and then they don't attack. And you're sitting there, you're like, just, like, just go. Just, just attack move, please. Just get it done. I'm hoping we're not going to, yeah, we're not going to see that here. Oh, we have a Stargate. Why did we make a second Robo to then not do anything with it? Are we gonna Ooh, observers? Oh, let's go. Sick, dude. It, it, wait, is this Echo in disguise? <laughs> if he gets Prism Speed here, without a Prism, it would be Echo. <laughs> Another legendary viewer game. My favorite part about that game is that Echo still to this day swears that it was on purpose. Like the man <laughs> rushed out. <laughs> A war prison with two disruptors, and then somehow, some way, got the observer speed buff. <laughs> Rather than graphitic drive, he got the observer up. <laughs> it is on purpose, Loco! It was for the A move. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll believe you. I'll believe you, Echo. No. If you oh, A move and ops, no. it stays with your army. Okay. But you played disruptors, though. That is, like, inherently something you can't A move. Bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I did not think big enough. Oh, uh, is okay. Urbis oh, gonna go? The for army's another... going. Oh, he Ooh. doesn't have a prism, and he does not have an observer with this. Oh no, he doesn't have an observer here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
He's got We're making disruptors. I think even though he's trying pretty hard to like slow down this game for really no reason, I think he still has enough. Just, just, just go. Just, Irvis, go. Irvis, go. Just go. Irvis, just murder go. him. Kill him. Yeah, just go. What are you waiting for? Do it! Do it! Do it, just you won't! Do it! You killed the observer. Go! Yes! No! <laughs> no. <laughs> he's waiting, he's waiting, he's waiting, he's waiting. There's a... Oh, we, we gotta get the mean ball in there. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We're gonna bowl a strike. No. Nope, yes! Mind. Okay, all right. This is fair bowling enough. where the pins can move. That's not fair. <laughs> Advanced bowling. Go! I don't think he realized that his opponent was a one base. <laughs> I don't think he realized it was a one gate, a uh, one base, four gate all in. So he's playing oh, this. Oh. oh god, there's a disruptor of Rebus Souls on. right now too. Come on, let's go. Oh, what? What? Oh, Hold up! He just micro his ball back himself. into his own army. <laughs> okay. Yes. 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 Don't you dare back up. You get in there. You fight like your life depends oh, oh, on oh, 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 my God. Urbis tried to throw <laughs> the game. He got himself. Ah! So they do deal friendly fire, just to make sure. This is like siblings <laughs> yes! fighting, you know? Like, why are you hitting yourself? Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> if you don't attack me, I'll attack me. <laughs> They went oh. reverse oh, the Super third? Saiyan, Let's man. Go. I don't even know what that looks like. Oh! All right. <laughs> All right, Urbis. I think you got him, man. Just the nastiest <laughs> shots! Oh! Okay, that was worth the wait. Well done. GG. I think all the Disruptors killed Rebu Souls units, including Rebu Souls <laughs> Disruptor. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oof. <sighs> well, Woo. he balled a strike on a different lane, man. That is... Impressive. Oh. Not something we see very often. Well, well, well. And people were saying that the PvP was not going to be a fun matchup to watch. Well, he played well though. Urbis actually did a now? sick job there. Like he, uh, I think he just had a misread. I think he just assumed his opponent wasn't two bases or something, and he just played it as safely as he could have possibly done it. Because he also knows that we're we're sitting here ready to make fun of him. <laughs> so, so yeah, just do whatever it takes to not be made fun of. Oh. At some point, it's a bit too safe, I guess, and it gives your opponent a chance to get back in, but... So good. Whew. All right, game two? Uh, we should get game two, but or we was may that, actually that have wasn't. another match going. I don't think that was game two, right? No, and, and that wasn't an elimination game, was it? Oh, that was... Ah, it was a lower bracket match. Was it really? Oh. Okay. That I would like sense. to have something that is not a mirror matchup, though, for our next one, if that is an option. Agreed. Bokalex versus Mr. Sharky would be a nice one. Yeah, that would be a nice one for sure. Okay, okay. Bokalex, longtime supporter of the channel. Mr. Sharky. Is this Shardarky, you think? I have no idea. Surely. You would think so. You would think so, right? But people's nicknames in StarCraft 2 are usually wildly different than people's nicknames in the chat. Are you saying we're the weird ones? With the same nickname everywhere? Yeah. I think Surely that's just like a that's like a streamer, like content creator thing, right? I, I spend too much time trying to make sure I'm consistent everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I didn't have to, but I try my best. That's why it boggles my mind whenever I see pro gamers after like 10 years of StarCraft, like pro gaming. They're like, you know what? I'm going to change my username now. This is what I'm going to go ahead and do next. I'm like, no, what are you doing? <sighs> Ragnarok being the most recent example. Oh, yeah, that's right. What, he, what is he now? Shin? Shin, Shin yeah. Because that's his name, right? I think so, yeah. He used to go by the name of Hebum for a little bit, which I think is like his first name, and now he goes by his surname or something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but... It's also like, Ragnarok's really good, so he can like maybe make a name for himself as Shin, but it's one of those things where you like have to be reminded. Kind of what you need to do, the best thing you can do is win the World Championships. Then so suddenly everybody's like, oh yeah, Oliveira. We know that guy. But there's still <laughs> loads of Starcraft fans that have no idea that Time and Oliveira are the same person. Mm -hmm. It's just, yeah. Not a, I don't think it's smart, but. Are you saying that they haven't been around for enough time? 
to know that. Hey. That is true though. Casting time games back in the day was pretty annoying because you start to realize how frequently you use the word time. <laughs> it turns out all the, yes, all the time. <laughs> all the aloe vera. All the, all the aloe vera everywhere. Uh, look, I'll change my name to Uranus. All right. <clears throat> Is it Uranus or Uranus? I'm not sure. It's one of the two. That's I a... think academically it's Uranus. You may be right. Sometimes reading the in-game chat is just incredibly delightful. Here's an exchange that just happened. Is someone friends with this player? I can't reach him. The response was, he might be taking a poo. Yeah. He might be. He might be. There's many things that could have happened. This is one of the things that could have happened. Absolutely. <laughs> <sighs> What's going on, Baltar? Thank you very much. Look how great to see uh, you made a tournament for lower leagues. I'm not the one really doing any of the work here, man. It's <sighs> People always want to do tournaments, and I basically just have to try and... <laughs> Truth be told, Rushy, you can, you can, <laughs> you can tell yeah, about yeah, our great yeah, exchange. Just, just, just say it. <laughs> so Rushy sent me a message about a week and a half ago, I want to say. Where he's like, yeah, I'm really excited to cast some games again. I was like, oh, what tournament are you casting? And Rushy was like, well, <laughs> your tournament. I was like, wait, that's happening? I didn't realize uh, that my own tournament was happening a week and a half ago. In my defense, if I don't write it down and I don't put it in my calendar or my to-do list or I make like a written project of it, it doesn't exist in my mind. I don't really know exactly how this works. But ever since I like have started, like I've been doing this for years and years and years, right? Where I pencil down everything that I need to do. And if I don't write it down, in my mind, it doesn't exist. That was the moment that I thought, oh snap, I needed to go, yeah, I need to go ahead and get a trophy. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and what's funny is it it's never brought up by like me or Nuke or Drone. Like it's kind of the four of us that that put all this together. Nuke and Drone do the the lion's share of the work. But like Loco reaches out and like occasionally he'll just text me and be like, "Hey, we should do this. It'd be fun." And I'm like, "That would be fun. Let's plan it." So, he always starts the process. And then it's even more funny when he forgets. It's true. Yeah. Wait, what is this, Toby? What did you link? Guess the starcraft2pro.com Guess the SC2 Pro out of the top 300 highest earners. This is a Terran player from Korea with $19,000 in earnings, 33 years old. Ooh, ancient. <laughs> that is practically ancient. Um, what Korean is relevant and has only won $18,000? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> that, I, I, I'm, I'm like, the only I, name that makes yeah. sense here in my mind is Ryung, but I think Ryung has more earnings than that. Although I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to fill it in, but I no, that's not even remotely accurate. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, he's 32. Dude, there's a pro gamer older than Ryung. I was going to say, Ryung has earned way more money. Are they active? Oh, you know what? I think the little bet icon means that they're not active. Oh, inactive. Ah, okay. Yeah, this must so, this must be that they're basically they're sleeping right now. <laughs> they're they're yeah. What what sort of coverings are they doing? I don't know, man. Yeah, is it covered duvet? Not covered duvet? I don't Do know. They have a middle sheet. Our next Important opponents, question. by the way, our next players are. Um, doing vetoes right now, apparently. So we'll be getting into the game soon. Yeah, I don't know if I can come up with this. Like Maybe. The thing is, right, the Terran players that I remember from back in the day, like, for example, a Terran player like Dream, right? Dream's really good, but he because of that, because he used to be really good, he also has a lot more earnings, I think, than $19,000. So I'm going to write down Dream, but I have no clue. Nah, he's got way more. Yeah, 130 gray. Yeah. He's also only 27. <laughs> oh, this is tough. This is easy mode? Hold up right now. This is easy mode? Now, 4GG has way more earnings than this, too. 
Hmm, a Korean Terran player with $19,000 in earnings. What about like... What, what it was... <sighs> no, he played Protoss, I was gonna say, yeah. He's a little bit older, I remember, but yeah. Marine King Prime? No, he's got way more. This, this kind of sounds to me like somebody who played in 2010, but then quit after doing decently well in three tournaments. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, how do I... Uh, okay, Rushy, name a name. Any name. Any name? I want to see who um, this is. Now, Polt has got, like, way more earnings. Here, let's just, let's just go with an emotion. Happy. Happy? I'll be happy to get this. What? Are you? <laughs> what? Was it right? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me, Rushy? What? Was it right? Yes! Yo, let's go! So when you say happy, I think of the Warcraft 3 player happy, who used to play StarCraft 2, but he's definitely not from Korea. Did you actually know? That's insane. Okay, reset the game. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This one should be easier. This is a, an active player with $570,000 in earnings who's 27 years old. A Zerk from Korea. That was crazy, Rushy. I don't know how you did that. No, no. Dark has like a million dollars in earnings. This could definitely be Shin. I think Solar? Solar? No. M maybe Solar. Oh, how much money does Solar have? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> I think Solar is more than 570k? No, Sue is like 32. I think Sue is maybe 31? 32? Rogue is currently in the military, so not currently active. I also think Rogue is like 29? I'm gonna go Solar. But I'm... Hey, I got it. Okay, nice. nice I was nice. gonna say, that one, that one seems about right. <sighs> yeah, Roke has got over a million dollars in earnings. Must be nice. All right, sorry, the new the players are ready for a little bit already. That's a really cool website. Thank you very much, Toby. <laughs> is that Toby, by the way, from SC Boy? I'm assuming it is, right? It's spelled Rouge Loco. No, 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 no. That's not true. Did you uh, learn recently that Rouge? also known as Roke, apparently was playing a little bit of ladder. Was he really? Yeah. That's fun. Apparently, uh, he was holding the number two position, unranked, on the Korean server. Ooh. Whilst in the military. Hmm. Alrighty, guys. Our next game. This is another elimination match. Spawning right here in the top left -hand corner of Oceanborn. Playing with the blue protos pieces, we have Mr. Sharky. And in the bottom right, with the orange drones, for Team Loco, it's Pokelex. That is a lovely decal indeed. I I agree, that's a great decal. Remember when you used to have that one, Rashi? I do. I think I have it on EU. Wait, no, no, it's all Alpha X. <laughs> I could go back. All right. All right. I, you know what? Yeah, I now, would go back now to that Alpha X is EU. no longer, now we suddenly come, yeah, we come back. All right, let's okay. see how it is. Okay. I see how it is. Look, you sign with the a new team, guy didn't work out. Paid. Suddenly we're going, but yeah, no, we're not doing it. It didn't work out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> no, they sadly stopped doing events, man. It really is a shame. Maybe yeah. one day it'll come back. I actually like small fun fact. I I want to get back into the the scene. It's somehow, some way. I just don't know like what's gonna be the right time or the right way to go about it, but I definitely wanna look for a team. I'm still down for you to sign me. I'll, I'll wear the loco. Gear. I mean, I don't really host a lot of events, but uh, if there is anybody listening out there and he's like, yo, I wanna go ahead and do some more stuff, hit up Rushy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, guess I've been begging Fortnite player. To make no, 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 no. We're not gonna play guest the Fortnite <laughs> player, guys. <laughs> I don't know anything about Fortnite. <laughs> guys, I've been begging Loco to make me a Loco jersey 
what, since 2015? We should have a jersey in the store, man. I have a t-shirt and mug and we have hoodies. www.loco.shop. Sorry, had to throw it in there. Um, <laughs> you can go pick up some merch is what I'm saying. We could definitely think about adding a jersey. That would be sick. Yeah. What do you guys think, chat? Let us know. Is there a market for it? I don't care. I want to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Jerseys are cringe, Loco. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think they're cool. People still use the word cringe. That's cringe. Well, it was meerkats. You teach oh. high school, Rushy. You know all the cool words. Can you give us a little refresher on like the latest cool kids lingo? Oh, I... You give me a little time to think about it because okay. it's not in my brain. Like I leave school on Fridays and like I leave school brain at school. So I gotta <laughs> give me sure. give me a time. Give all me a little right, bit of time. Right. If it pops up, I'm Yo, know, if you're like, whoa, this play was really <laughs> that's the uh, moment yeah, you gotta yeah, yeah. throw it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'll I'll sprinkle it in. Gonna be a Twilight Council opener for Mr. Sharky. I'm really thinking this is Shardarky, but I don't know if it is. I mean, it's it's the the most passive and standard uh, ZVP that I've I've ever seen in my whole life. Yeah, I I remember oh, okay. watching quite a few of Pokalex's games. Oh, it's Charge, huh? Yeah. Okay. So, never mind. I spoke I spoke three seconds too soon. So, oh, okay. I actually kind of like this. This is gonna just be a nice little uh, Charge Zealot. Maybe not an all-in quite, but it is going to be very aggressive with the robotics facility going down. Yeah. The warp prism's probably going to come out. Oh, no, no. This is... All right. Never mind. I spoke just about five seconds too soon. This is going to be good. Be I fun. don't know if I love it with the second gateway that quickly, but it's all a little bit funky here. Like, I don't think it's a optimally timed zealot all-in, but it is one of those moves that can definitely catch Zerk off guard, right? Like, like every single Zerk player out there has died to an eight gate. Two base all in. <laughs> it's one of those moves where you're trying to figure out. You're like, oh, is it oracles? Is it dark templar? Is it what is it? And then they just hit you in the face with a million zealots. And you're like, ah, oh, dang it, <laughs> that was on the <laughs> list, but all the way at the very bottom of the builds I was trying to cross off. Well, and and there is just an easy solution here for the the zerg player. You just build a baneling nest, but if you don't have the banelings, it's just over. Yeah, he needs to There's make not stuff. Much you can do. Like, he needs to mm. stop droning and make stuff. Spine crawlers mm. even do the trick. Roaches do well, but yeah, banelings would be phenomenal. There's an immortal coming up right now, too. So, we're on two gas. Why are we on two gas, then? I think you can do this easy off of one gas. Because he's got so much gas in the bank still. I think he just made an immortal because he looked at the gas count. He's like, oh. That's it, then. Oh my god, Pokelex is going 56 drones. He's a greedy man. Hmm. Oh, he went Rush Warren. Okay. I, I don't uh, like the Immortal here because he needs a Prism and preferably also an Observer. Like, he just needs stuff ASAP. Yeah, so like this, mm -hmm. these two Immortals are just going to delay all of this. But since Pokelex is still making drones, it may still work out. Because like this attack is so late that as a Zerk, you're thinking, well... It's never hitting anymore, right? Like, this is the moment where you got you, you start scouting around the map to see if there's, like, a proxy base. Like, he sees right now that something's very off. He goes double evolution chamber? Bro, we just saw so many units. Is this... This is this is entering Artosis levels of frustration, where, like, you scout for all the things, and you're like, oh, if it were going to be this, it would have hit by now. And since it hasn't, I'm going to assume it's not. And then you just get irrationally upset because this is so stupid. This was supposed to hit 30 seconds ago, and just, how could you play so bad? <laughs> but then you still lose. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this Which is the model of a strategy right here. This is the type of strategy, if you're a Protoss player out there, this is the kind of strat that, like, greatly upsets Zerx. Bro, don't, don't go for the Evo Chambers. What are you what? doing? Why are, we, why are we warping in over there? Like, that is, like, of all locations to warp in, <laughs> probably the worst, and somehow it worked out. You know why we, uh, we, we, we did that over here? He attack moved exactly to behind the Zerx's mineral line, and that happened to be the final location where the prism showed up. Dude, big brain. Omega brain. Oh, no, this is great. This, this is, is he's super dead. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the builds of all time. GG. <laughs> great, great description.
<laughs> oh my that God. push was like two minutes late, though. That wasn't even 30 seconds. That push was so late. Oh, 38 somewhere probes. Artosis. Look, look, look at this. 38 probes versus 74 drones. Oh, I pressed the wrong <laughs> button there. It looked like for a second I was going to end it, but no. <laughs> yeah, yep, see ya. This was terrible. <laughs> Get out of here. I, I'm done, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Somewhere, somewhere Artosis is feeling super justified in his hatred of Protoss. Just like, that. Gee, that's what I'm talking about. Hmm, 33-year-old French Zerk player who's retired now with $51,000 in earnings. Oh, okay. Stefano uh, was the, at the top the, of my brain, but no, 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 not no, enough winnings. Denver is not that old. Is he? Mm, no, I don't I, think so. Firecake, no. Echo Steel has got a oh, good guess Oh, Firecake is French? Yeah, I think you may be right. That's a good... Oh, guess. that was a sick guess. It is fire. Kid. Nice. Let's go. For some reason, I did not think it was French. Dude, these are names though, that I've not seen in years. Chinese Protoss player who's active, 28 years old, and $48,000 in earnings. Now, there's a whole load of them. <laughs> that are... <laughs> I'm going to say Firefly, but I'm honestly not sure. Yeah, it could be Cyan Firefly. No, Firefly is younger than that. Mech said, I'm assuming Cyan has more earnings? Yeah. Mech said? No. Then who's left over, guys? This is a cool website. Look, I'm not saying that you told me we didn't have enough time to look at my duvet, but yeah, here we are. <laughs> Guess in StarCraft 2 pros. All right, all right. I'm just all saying, right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let me have a look <laughs> at the next game as well. So this is an upper bracket match. Yeah. All right. I don't actually know who the last one is. Uh, what is going to be then, guys? I'm open to a suggestion if you guys have a a final name. <laughs> Chinese Protoss player, 28 <laughs> years old, currently playing, $48,000 in earnings. Trend will be back in a minute. Okay, we'll be starting our game soon. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, mm. I just don't know. I just don't know Chinese. Protoss. That's this is I'm one of those things where, like, I feel like if it shows or when it shows, I'm going to recognize it immediately. Okay, we'll guess. I think it's, uh... No, Jishi is... Korean. Saro. Oh, it wasn't Saro. <laughs> Wait, Gigi? Oh, it is Gigi. Wait, he's obviously Chinese, yeah. Oh my god, it is hey. Gigi. Sick. You guys are on point here. Very nice. Uh, Shren says, how do I get back to the lobby? I'd you say you just start the game. It'll bring him in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we started. If it doesn't bring him in, we'll find out. This shoot bring you in okay very oh, nice shren baby he's back wait shren hasn't hit masters yet he has hit masters a couple times but not at the moment mm. he had to take a break <laughs> who takes breaks from starcraft i know <laughs> apparently life got in the way <laughs> i know crazy he's got a life crazy Alrighty, guys. Um, our next match is a best of three series. Spawning right here in the top left corner of Heart Lead, it's a Blue Knight. Playing in green. And in the bottom right, the purple Zerg. Climbing up the ladder with Loco coaching at his side. It's Shren. You know, one of my favorite things is using Shren's name as a verb. He's gonna Shren Blue Knight. I think that's pretty great. That's what one what of the guys mean? in the chat said at some point. Like, that dude just got shrent when we had somebody, well, get shrent by Shren. And I think Shren really liked that as well, so... <laughs> we'll see how this one ends up going. I am gonna try and not be too biased, guys, but yeah, Rushy is right. I've been coaching Shren for quite a while at this point, so... Um, let's, uh, Could you let's hype see if me up nervous. that much if I was in the bracket? 
Absolutely, Rushy. Yes. I just wanted to hear it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Made me feel better. Yeah, yeah. I may shout at some of your decision making, though. Would that bother you? Oh, absolutely not. Because I do that myself. That's true. I have seen the Rushy ladder stream many times. <laughs> Where, like, at minute six, Rushy does not defend properly against four adepts, and that's the end of the game, but the game goes on for another 22 minutes. Oh, no, that's surely not true. I, I'm the, <laughs> the quickest person to tap out. So many people are like, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Why? true, actually. Yeah, you no, never mind. Fix that. Yeah. I did a lot of coaching with Rushy in the past, too. And one of the moments, or one of the main things that we went over a bunch of times is Rushy leaving games where he probably should not be leaving yet. <laughs> but you do GG, right? So that's that's nice. Oh, absolutely. It's a very absolutely. angry GG. <laughs> but it's angry at myself. It's not angry at yeah. them. Like. Yeah, exactly. Oh. I mean, to be fair, when you're aiming to play the perfect game, it does get very frustrating. You know, when you, I don't know, I hit supply blocks at like 36 out of 36, even after all these years. I'm like, oh my God, I don't want to be hitting supply blocks anymore at 36. It's so <laughs> stupid. Oh, shit. Get out of my head. Yeah. I get stuck <laughs> in my own head with those games, though, where I'm not very yeah. good at putting myself over those mistakes. Anyways. See, there was a point where this would have knocked me out of a game. Like, oh, I don't want to get harassed by the Reaper. I haven't lost anything, but I'm just frustrated. Yeah, you so. had to run the drones. Zerkling goes down. I just lost like 20 minerals worth of mining. Ah, it's over. No, I'm it's not doing not any uh, any new coaching anymore, guys. I've decided maybe with like future RTS games or something if we ever get to that point, but I, I'm i not going to do more coaching after this. I like the coaching that I'm doing right now with Shren and Quigley, but I uh, at some point I was doing too much coaching, you know, and it was just not very fun anymore. Um, but... I probably, I don't think I'm going to be taking on new people. So you're saying I can't turn in the... I would definitely do a coaching or session with you, Rushy. 100%, yes. <laughs> oh. See, what you're not telling me is, like, every time you invite me to coach, you, you just, like, tick off, okay, I, I owe you 10 less now. <laughs> okay. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> I will forgive you for the, the duvet cover situation. Oh, is that, is that another five? That's another five. Easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Some of the people that I coached just got too good at the game for me to properly coach them, you know, but... No, 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 Oh, Good to hear you've been laddering fun. a little bit again, though. Oh, yeah. It's not because I don't want to. It's just time. Mm. It happens. I, I squeeze it in every so often. What am I at? I'm like 36-something. Okay. So you could have NA. easily played. Like, if you weren't casting, you would have played? Oh, absolutely. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, by the way, right. a cheeky little roach bush right here from Shren. That's a lot of roaches. Yeah, I, I was going to say, we saw the Roach Warren go down. Um, I, I just, I don't love it against Terran necessarily. I mean, it's going to come with Ravagers. We're building up the gas bank. So what, we've got about four or five Ravagers worth of gas right now. But pushing across to, uh, into a wall, are there tanks? There's one in production, but we don't have any yet. So it's one tank to try and hold this push. If Shren can get some high ground vision and figure mm. out where to bile, I think... I think this can be okay, I but it's, he needs it needs really to be followed well. up. Yeah, I yeah, I think he's gonna link flood on the back of this, and he's hidden this really quite nicely. At this point, Blue Light has no idea. He may see a lot of units out here that may cause him to turn that medevac around. But this is a uh, scary I mean, amount of zerk. To. Like, there's one, there's one tank. That's it. And those ravagers can hit it from that side of the wall. Okay, we're gonna yep. settle apparently for Biles right now on the bunker. Oh, on the oh, bunker. Oh. Okay, he does get okay, it. Okay, he did get it at least. Yeah, the, the tank has to be priority number one right now if he stays in. And I think Shren backing off is the right choice. He does hold down the drone key, 12 drones, so this is a good response. So he doesn't need to get damage here. This isn't necessarily an all-in. Oh, but there's going to be Hellions in the main base for Shren. Yeah. Ah! Blue Flame Hellbats? Oh, not yet. Wait, he was getting the Blue Flame upgrade, but he must have canceled it. Maybe it was a misclick. Only two drones, though. Not bad at all. Um, the problem is when you guys turn into Hellbat form, there's no more room in the plane for all of you. 
It's one of the <laughs> one of the big questions of the StarCraft world. How does a Hellion suddenly take up even more space? I don't know. Oh, it looks like I have to tab out for just a second to ban somebody from the YouTube Ooh. chat. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. Oh no! Oh, oh, no, oh my no, God! No, I almost missed this. With the drones. What are you fighting with the drones? Uh. For? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, this is this has gone completely crazy. Oh, that was actually kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen the Hellbats fire from the high ground. I guess technically it's range. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh <laughs> the bait over there. Nicely done. You know oh. what? I think he's now regretting that he did not finish up that upgrade. Yeah, that would have been devastating. But, I mean, it's a lot of good micro from Blue Knight. I got to give Blue Knight a lot of credit here. He, mm -hmm. Decent hold. Um, he's got some good harassment. He's coming across the map with a couple of Marines. I don't think he really needs to. He should focus on getting his third. Uh, okay, so third base is mostly... Uh, I guess it's over halfway done. But I think that just needs to be the next focus here, is just establishing more of a macro position. Um, oh, he's going to pick off some Ravagers here. This is really good damage. Uh, Blue Knight can probably feel comfortable picking up and getting out with that. Um, but Shren is not down and out of this just yet. Again, it didn't treat it like an all-in, so didn't overextend. Is going to get his fourth base. Has relatively defended, but now really needs to go on the macro side. Oh, but these Hellbats are just so, so annoying. I had the foresight oh. today, Rashi, oh, to oh. Uh, <laughs> mute my text-to-speech bot, Brian. And I look at my other monitor, and I see a message where it says, Mario and Luigi were finally alone. <laughs> <laughs> Even they were though brothers, they were plumbers, but they were also lovers. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Anti, for the 300-bit donation. I appreciate it. <laughs> That was great. Oh. Yeah, Mario and Luigi were alone. <laughs> but sadly, we did not hear Brian's beautiful voice serenading us. <laughs> hey, I feel like Shren could have done a lot more damage with that first push of his, though. Like, he had such a massive army. I guess the Hellions just really distracted him for quite a bit. Yeah, well, and and you, you want to play a little bit cautiously, right? Because if you're pushing into yeah. a, a sieged up Terran, you can accidentally just throw away your whole army and then you just lose to the ensuing push. But this is actually a really nice spot for Blue Knight to siege up on. Lings are going to get into the third base and deal some really nice damage here. But Blue Knight has the aggression on the other side of the map with a couple of tanks, some liberators. This is actually a really scary push for Blue Knight. But he's got to find a way to deal with these Zerglings. I think the bunker finally getting filled is going to help he's had some good pulls on workers and only lost three so really not a bad exchange and he's gonna get a fourth base brenda no oh man she was only several seconds old blue knight absolute so murderer young. here he does not care at all dude <laughs> ay, ay, ay. yeah this is well played though by blue knight Holding on. He finished up that Stimpake upgrade nice and early as well. That really helped with that base defense. We're gonna do this sneaky little siege tank thing. I don't know if I love that. Hello. Can we save the siege tanks? Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Left him <laughs> We've seen him like too. do some crazy close pickups like four times already. <laughs> Yeah, the, the pickup micro has been practiced. Well done by Blue Knight. Is, is it safe to say that Shren is getting Shrend right now? <clears throat> I think has, it's safe it to say Blue point? Knight is a pickup artist. That's Ooh. what we learned. Good with his words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It bothers me a little that Blue Knight could have picked any color to play with, and he decided to play green. <laughs> what do you got against green? Yeah. Well, I mean, I have nothing against green, but he's the Blue Knight. Oh, so there's this very large okay, Dutch okay, web okay. shop, right? Called Cool Blue. And yeah. their color is orange. It bothers yeah. me more than I'm willing to admit, Rushy. This is a very similar situation. I still have my headset that I got from Google. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Anti, for the 300 bits. Toad, Luigi, Bowser, and Wario were up to no good. <laughs> they were playing a game called Loco Chalice. In the middle of them was a silver cup. Okay, now I think I'm good, man. I don't think I need to read the rest of that. <laughs> but thank you very much. Look, Ooh. I'm not saying if it's 600 bits that I'll read it, but I'm not, I'm not saying that. <laughs> he can't. Well, I guess he can mute me. So <laughs> you've been. I've been warned. <laughs> <laughs> you've you warned yourself. Sick play right here by Blue Knight, by the way. Like this is a super difficult position to break. 
Siege tanks and liberators. Oh, we're gonna funnel no. them in there. Oh, oh but the tanks oh. need to fire to the left. Oh, dude. Oh, oh god. He piled himself. That is some minced zerk going up the ramp. Oh. Zerk oh, did players, kill the tank. Close your eyes. <laughs> My god. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Brilliant play right there from Blue Knight. Really well done. A little bit of a gamble, because he didn't really know exactly what was inside of that main base, but he just committed to it. Oh. Yeah, I, I mean, Terran player's got a great grip on this game. Shren's having to build workers at this point. He's got nothing else in the production tab. There's more damage being dealt. Man, Blue Knight, he yeah. brought, brought his best in game number one. He's playing well. Yeah, he's actually played very well here. So, he defended that all-in at the start quite nicely. Yeah, more or less an all-in, right, with the Roach Link Flood. And then he had some good follow-ups, too. Like, I talked about it when he first saw the move out, but he decided to not bring that Hellion group back either inside of the Metavec. I think that's where a lot of players go wrong, you know? Like, you need to actually commit with the push. Because there's only four Hellions, and they're not going to do much against that Roach push anyways. But usually that's where players are like, Oh no, this is where I have to all army hotkey everything in the natural. But Blue Hair... Or Blue Hair... Blue Knight still committed. <laughs> Blue Hair Critic is another... Another Twitch chatter. I'm getting them all mixed up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Not yeah. every blue person is the same. <laughs> how, how very uh, progressive of you. <laughs> the Smurfs are all very similar, though. <laughs> that is one thing I have learned. I watched a lot of Smurfs that when I was... That was the direction you wanted to take that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. where you went. I watched a lot of Smurfs when I was a kid, okay? <laughs> is Blue Hair Critic Blue Knight? No. No. No, he's just critical. Oh, gosh. That's fine. Crawlers? Oh, okay. There's a nice little surround here. Uh, Shren's going to try and make a good uh, push out of this, but he's just going to walk all of his Roaches and Ravagers into the tanks on the backside. Blue Knight was prepared. He's nice. going to lose a couple of tanks, but just shred through enough of the army that there's nothing to stop the forward tanks. And this is starting to look uh, like game number one wrapped up. Yeah, well played here by Blue Knight, man. Like, genuinely, he played really nicely. Not really making a whole lot of mistakes. I mean, we can nitpick uh, the details, I guess, but strategically, all of this was really well handled by him. Yeah. At this point, Shren's real only option is to... Yeah, he's going chitinous plating together with plus two missile. I mean, that's when you know the game has gone a little bit funky. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> we, semi supply behind. We got lost somewhere along the way. No, I mean, I mean, this is a good fighting effort, though. Shren's not going to tap out. Way, way better than the rushy strat of leaving 12 minutes ago. So. <laughs> you would have lost with the Roach push when the Hellions came? <laughs> this game is so stupid. <laughs> Terran is just so overpowered. Now, I know I'm still 20 supply ahead, but... <laughs> if I don't play literally like Serral, I don't want to play at all. Yeah, why is it even worth it? What's the point? You keep yourself to yourself to very high standards, Rushy, and I do appreciate that. GG is Corp right here in game number one. Now, this is the best of three. Uh, this is the upper bracket. So we are going to be seeing a game number two. But uh, that was well done right there by our Terran. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was, that was just a nice little build order. I, the pickup micro actually did a really good job of keeping Shren uh, off his game. I, I agree with you. I think that derailed his mindset from pushing into the natural. I, I think there's a point where Shren could have just pushed forward and tried to defend with queens and lings back at home. But uh, but yeah, it, it's, it's a mental game as much as it is a tactical game. So Blue Knight got inside of his opponent's brain and wreaked havoc and now comes away with game one victory good stuff yeah very well done all righty game two is going to be on oceanborn i can already ask if the players are ready We're moving fast thank you very much sanguine and thank you also toby for the support just now yeah not really making a lot of mistakes at all it was sick no this is a solid game gotta do another round of guess to starcraft 2 pro Italian Zerg player, 21 years old, $700,000 in earnings. Okay, I think I think we got this one, guys. Hmm. 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 Is it Baby Marine? It could be his brother. <laughs> oh, has anybody heard of him? Lorim. Lorim is <laughs> not even in the list. Oh, oh yeah, the yeah, disrespect. You got roasted, man. <laughs> well, then I'm all out of ideas. Oh, it could be anyone. Could really be anyone. 
Alrighty. Oceanborn, it is going to be. I don't think we need to do player introductions. Nah, we don't have. No, no, no. We haven't been up to this point. Blue Knight's still playing in green. Which. <sighs> that's the only thing I'm really critical of. Yeah, from that previous game. That's really the only thing I can criticize. He did really well. Yeah, we can call him Green Knight. Maybe we can rename him. Ooh. Do we have the power to do that? I mean, it is your tournament. I can. I can definitely add some text. Uh, let's see. Text. <laughs> Green. Oh. There we go. Oh. I mean, this is... Oh, jeez. Okay, I, it's not as clean as I was hoping it was going to be, Rushy. <laughs> oh my god. This has the same energy as one of the Koreans playing on a barcode, and it's like, we don't know who it is! Everyone comes into stream, who's the barcode player? Who's the barcode player? So it's just like, fine, it's... it's Byun! Stop asking! That happened literally this morning. I was watching... My, <laughs> I was watching Warty stream for a little bit, and Hero was once again playing under a barcode ID. And uh, every every two minutes or so, there's somebody like, "Hey, who's the barcode player? <laughs> who's the barcode player, guys? I don't know who the barcode player is." Oh, it's all right. It, you know, I, I have to say that is like the most adjacent teacher experience, like <laughs> answering the exact same question 14 times. When <laughs> like, "Hey, what what are we doing today? Oh, we're gonna read this book. Ah, cool." 30 seconds later, uh, what are we even doing in this class today? We're reading the book. <laughs> or or my favorite for me is like, are we playing? Do, do I need my band instrument today? Like, one of these days I'm just going to black out and I'm not going to be able to be held responsible. But we had this happened. one lesson four years ago where I didn't need my instrument. This is so true. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought maybe like thing. I didn't bring my instrument. So I thought maybe today is one of those days. Yeah, but three and a half weeks ago, you said that we didn't need to bring our instruments. Yeah, because it was the day before winter break. We're not going to play. We're going to do something fun. Uh, do something different. Ooh, hey, look. It's the... Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, I thought that, that middle one was a barracks. It was like, it's the three racks at home. It's, but it's a second barracks. Yeah, it's, be two it's and a one. double racks. Not quite as Ooh. exciting, but still pretty hyped. A 60 marine drop. Now, Rushy, did I do my job well as a coach? What is the defense to a 16 Marine drop, Rushy? Come um, on! I did teach you this! It's just, it's just lots of lings, right? <sighs> All right. See, this, well, is, this is why I don't think I could work at a high school. This would be... Yeah, no. We've been over Bro. the specifics several times. You're right. You taught me this two and a half years ago. How dare I? <laughs> See, I have, I have a completely different build order that just, like, uh, upends this. Fair. So I don't even think about it anymore. What is this? This is actually not what I thought it was going to be at all. What are we doing? This is one of those Terran moments. This is what Terrans have gotten really good at over the last two years or so, okay? In case you guys haven't watched a ton of StarCraft, doesn't matter. This is what Terrans do. They make a combination of whatever structures they feel like, and then they just produce whatever they want. And then they throw it to the other side of the map. Generally, this looked like a 16 Marine drop, but it's without Stimpak. We went for two Medivex, or sorry, two uh, Hellions. Now we're going into an Armory. We started up the Combat Shields upgrades of... Oh. Wait, why? Why Combat Shields? I don't know. What? There's no reason for that. There is like throw Stim stuff is better. at the Stim. Yeah. Stim is better. Well, Combat Shields is for the HP, right? This is like making a new character in like, I don't know. Dark Souls, right? And then specking into armor or sustainability first. That's not what we do. We spec into damage all the time, man. What, what are we doing with the combat shields? <laughs> In before oh, he hits no. us. This is a weird one, though, because he's gonna... Like, he's gonna finish the armory so he can make a couple of hellbats, but now he sees that it's roaches and... Oh, yeah, this is just this is just a bad build. This is, this is not good. This is, this is bad all the way around. And Shren, I think Shren is going to, uh, like... Loco, I spec Relieve into himself ability all the time. What? No! <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 go no, ahead. no, 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 no. <laughs> because, because here's the thing. Like, the, the combat shield, great. If there's Banelings on the field, great. Wonderful. That that means they're not going to just instantly die. But but it's Roaches. And you should not, like, give up your attack potential just because there might be Banelings. Like, and you have the free scout. You just scan. 
Oh, okay. <sighs> All right, right well, done. here go to uh, Hellions once again. I would have liked oh. this way better. Oh, no. So Oopsie. this is basically Oops. a copy-paste of game number one, except worse for the Terran and much better for the Zerk. Unless oh, these no. Hellions are gonna... Are we gonna morph them into Hellbets again? No, I was gonna say, I think that's actually worse. Unless no, these Hellions and kill, like, smart, a He just line. ignores it. He, he he wins if he if he gets this push taken care of. He does not need to... Spiritually, he doesn't need to worry about that. He's killed 15 workers. There's only two drones down on the other side. Yeah, Shren's, Shren's gonna make up for game number one. He's not gonna let it happen again. Ooh. Well, that was still a pretty good funnel right there for the Terran. Imagine if they had Stimpak. Anyways, Hellion's <laughs> going down. <laughs> like, he's got combat shields, Rushy! <laughs> I like how you were very so nice much. about it, and you were like, well, maybe if it's Bane Links, it would... No, it would still be much better to have Stimpak. <laughs> no, 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 I, I'm saying, like, that's the, the only reason. Yeah, yeah, exactly, like, it's but it's reason. still, it's still, yeah. You were very nice to the to the Terran here, to Green Knight, but... It's, uh... So, mm, what do we do now? Okay. 12 well, this SCVs. is what Shren wanted game one. Yeah, this, this is what we started the game with. 12 workers. Oh, no, Shren, don't back off, homie. Don't do it again. <laughs> don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't you do it. Rushy's getting flat. So he, he's assuming there's stim pack. Okay, this could be an artosis moment. Of course there's stim pack. If there's combat shields, of course there's stim pack. So he doesn't want to over engage. But I think Shren is starting to realize he's not stimming for some reason. <laughs> yeah. So now he's going to capitalize on yeah, it. Yeah, it's weird. So he started up stim pack for like a split second and then he canceled it and started up combat. Ooh. <laughs> oh, got him. Headshot. <laughs> He started on combat shield instead. I don't know. It was weird. It's the same cost. I guess Stimpak is slightly slower, but yeah. I don't think okay. there's a Terran built out there where you want to prioritize combat shields over Stimpak. Nope. Nope. Okay. Easy, easy answer for that one. Boom. Oh, he was going. He was good. He, he wanted another one. He's like, <laughs> that first one felt good. Let's get just a second. One more, oh. please. Look at this, the BM oh, drones. drones. <laughs> God, if I had a dollar every time I did that by accident. Oh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. The, that's not BM, Chad. I just want to get there. <laughs> okay, the banter has begun. Let's go. I think both of these guys are honestly just being very frank with one another. I pressed <laughs> the wrong button on door oh, XD. So he forgot stem. How did, uh, homie, how do you forget Wait, he it pressed the wrong minutes. button on the door? There's one button. Which button did he press? <laughs> <laughs> There's lowering or, or not lowering the depot, right? It's the same button, isn't it? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. On, on grit at the oh. very least it is. Hmm. All right. He probably clicked it twice or something, yeah. Or maybe he just pressed an entirely different button. Okay, now this, this is a tough game to lose for Zerk. No. <laughs> And yet, and yet, we've seen and this. And yet, we've seen it happen before. It's like, uh, you said that sentence and it just stabbed me in the heart. It's like, oh, I've been here. It's this like, this is like I the lose? hero, this is like the hero versus Sero game all over again that I was referencing earlier. I'll send you a link to that game later, Rashid. Like, that is... <sighs> oh, no, cast your curse. Please tell a, me you did not just cast your curse. That was a $42,000 tournament, too. Like... <laughs> Oh. oh, Chad, just just keep it in mind. If Shren somehow loses this game, there's no this way. moment, there's the nine minute mark. There's to no help me way. remember. He's going into one one roaches. He's got speed almost done. This is like the original Zerg timing attack. This is like the OG of timing attacks. What? He dropped the mule to repair <laughs> the liberator. He's got a lot of faith in that liberator. I'll tell you that much. Ooh. <sighs> this is, yeah, this is good. Shren, you need to go end this now. You you cannot let this get out of control. There is a moment where Terran suddenly has seven siege tanks, right? And you're like, oh, well, um, <clears throat> <laughs> oops. I guess I need Brute Lords or something. <laughs> and that's when the game goes horrible. <laughs> oh, I mean, he's getting hive tech. I, I just think, like, Shren just needs to max out and go in. Like, more tech here is not necessary. You've got everything you need to fight the current Terran army. It's just it's just tanks. Like, if anything, throw down a Spire. Throw down a Spire, get some Mutas, go pick off some tanks, and then you just brute force with 200 uh, army supply. 
But uh, Trent's making this a game. I yeah, think, I think that him. Liberator is freaking him out a little bit. Yeah. But see, that that's a mind game in of itself, right? There he wow, is. Wow, he's got so much great, um, like, micro on this Liberator because he has literally nothing else. <laughs> like, there's nothing else for Blue Knight to do. Yeah, so he's spending about 200 AP on that Liberator. Him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's got, got no, no high ground vision here. Uh, this is, I don't love this for the Zerk, to be honest. Oh, oh, oh. No. No, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, no. This is that point. 16 drones just fell. Oh. Okay, oh, Liberator no. falls. Push from the Terran with the Medivac also disappeared. Roaches. Oh, I had my camera off them for a little bit. Apparently, they are also gone. Loco. Don't GG, Rushy. Loco, Don't please. do it. Please, please. Please tell me this didn't happen. I mean, he's still Ooh. doubling the opponent's army supply. I Or, or sorry, total supply count. I, I would imagine... He's also doubling his armies, but actually, I think this is still an <laughs> unlosable game, but <laughs> it is you, less you unlosable it. than it used to be. Yeah. You keep saying it. Oh, so, so just uh, hypothesize with me. How, how, how does Blue Knight get out of this? I mean, we need a third base. We don't have a third base yet. I don't think I don't, he I don't can. Think you need to overcommit right here. I think his best bet is hoping that Shred once again runs his roaches into the siege tank line. Like, that is the only way. Well, I mean, There's the third once. command center. 12 minute third CC. 1-1 one, one upgrades lurkers? also at 12 minutes. Yeah, Shred loves lurkers. Yeah. He, he, uh, lurkers that's like terrible. his comfort unit, you know? Sure. This is yeah, his comfort zone. He loves, he loves setting a bunch of lurkers up. Yeah, I, I, I respect that. I think, I think Lurkers actually probably end this game in a big way. There's Because you're right. There's just enough army. You could probably brute force it if you've got... But you got to have vision. And right now, the yeah. vision's not great. And that's just a ton of tanks. Yeah, you can <laughs> oh, end this... Oh, no, he's going to snipe the upgrade. You can end this with, with Vipers. Like, then you can force it. But every other option is kind of tough. So I think what Trent is trying to do is just prevent this Terran from ever taking a third. He's been checking for a third base like 17 times. So now he sees the timing of the third command center. We're 13 minutes in, main and natural are out, basically, right? So like Terran needs to get, I guess he had to rebuild. So he's got a little bit of juice left in the natural, but yeah. This man got down to 12 workers twice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, also, like, wait, you, you said a unit name that I didn't recognize. The, the Viper? What? Yeah, it's, don't worry about Never it. Never heard of it. Nah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a scary unit. It unlocks Ugh. It unlocks when you reach 6k MMR, I think. I've only heard of it. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense why I haven't ever used it then. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of nice, I guess, for abductions and stuff, right? But that liberator, like, player of the game here. No, it's a different one. Maybe oh, it's it reincarnated. Is? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> the spirit lives on. That can only be one liberator at a time. It's like Tassadar, just like bouncing around to different units. Oh, he gets picked off? Cool, I'll come in in a different unit. <laughs> All right, well, the lurkers have arrived. Yeah, that, sh I mean, it should put an end to this, right? Right? Uh, yeah, no, there's no way. But I've been saying that for 14 minutes. Okay, not 14. Eight. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> okay. I got a little Just... concerned there for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Right. What? But hey, we get a game three. Yeah, we got a game three again. Nice. Dude, ZVT, game three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now Shren has done the same opening twice. So yes. my my concern then is, is like if, if Shren runs this down one more time. Like well, I guess we could we could probably say that the first game was maybe a little bit of a fluke. Uh, he got distracted, yeah, got thrown off. But I, like I don't think Shrenshik could do the that. The Stimpak uh, forgetting there was probably also not quite optimal, right? Like the fact that he accidentally yeah. got combat shields rather than Stimpak is a little unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> I don't use vipers or casters that boost me too high. So true, time farmer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's uh, been saying that my whole career. <laughs> Zerk players are very kind. They purposefully don't use spellcasters because they don't want to climb too high. I don't want to make my opponent feel bad. <laughs> We're here at the start of the game to try and have a good time. <laughs> that's why we say GLHF. We're like, we mean it. Good luck and have fun.
And if you make infestors or vipers, guess what? They have fun part, not genuine. Yeah. Gone. Get out. Oh, man. Do you ever encounter people on the ladder that like deliberately tell you to have bad luck and not have fun? Because I encounter <laughs> yeah. that every so often. Are guys that don't GG, but they BG at the end? You're like, okay. <laughs> it's like you went through all that trouble to type something, right? And then you make it bad game rather than good game? <laughs> I don't know, man. I played a Zerg last night that, oh, I, f I forget the one. But it's like, it has the weird forward expand and then you can like unlock the third base, but there's gold bases in the middle. And the, my Zerg opponent uh, went and took one of the gold bases as his third and I saw it. I ran units out there and, and I stop it and basically win. And he types as he goes out, not cool, bro. And just leaves <laughs> the game. We were playing 12 minutes, no rush, rushy. Yeah. It just, I didn't know. I'm so sorry. You didn't tell me. You purposefully do HFHF because luck don't exist. All right. Oh, Why? Well, okay. It's not that deep, though, dude. <laughs> <laughs> R slash I'm 14 and this is deep is calling. They want their insightfulness back. Yeah. It's okay. The established standard is GLHF GG. That's the that's the but some people do GG at the start of a game. You're like GL GG. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Even though it just means good luck, good game. Right? It's kind of polite. It's very polite actually. Hmm. It looks wrong. I don't know if it's very polite. It's it's not rude. <laughs> yeah. But that's like ending the game, and rather than saying GD, you say HF. And you're like, what? I, okay, I don't. Mm -hmm. Ooh, but if you say HF at the end of the game, could it mean had fun? Mm. <laughs> yeah, technically, Think about I guess. It. Nobody would get it, but <laughs> had fun. Bye. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's a phenomenon. Have you heard about this phenomenon in America? It's called the Midwestern goodbye. Have you ever heard of it before? I think you told me this at some point where a Midwestern goodbye takes about 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they, so you, you have to go do something and it's like, ah, oh, yeah, it's getting pretty late. Start another conversation. Ah, oh, you know, I better get out of here. You get up, start another conversation. This goes on for 20, 30 minutes. What if we made the Midwestern goodbye a StarCraft thing where, uh, well, you beat me, GG. God, you know, Zerglings are pretty broken, right? I mean, you can't just be in and you, you just lift your command bit. center to the corner. You're like, well, man, <laughs> sure be nice if it had guns. <laughs> A flying planetary fortress, huh? Yeah, no, that'd be, oh, that'd be great. That, that wouldn't get abused. I feel like Not the Midwestern goodbye is the exact opposite of what we do in the Netherlands. Yeah. In the Netherlands, generally speaking, if you have guests over, right? And you're saying, ah, oh, well, it's almost dinner time. From what I understand, in other countries, people would mean, oh yeah, no, we're gonna have dinner soon. In the Netherlands, that means, get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> it's dinner time soon, we didn't plan for this. <laughs> yeah, you sent me that TikTok like a couple weeks ago, right? Where it's yeah. like, Dutch people are more direct and like, Americans could never. But yeah, I, I, did, I did remember that a couple of times where you when i was visiting you and you made just like a really direct comment and it caught me off guard but i'm like oh no no we're cool <laughs> but like that was you really forward why i don't remember what it was mm. i think oh you know what it was it was um when we went to that uh was it was it a thai restaurant i think it, so. it was yep. that it was that asian place and it, and it took like 80 minutes to get our food mm-hmm and you made you made like some comment. Um, I don't remember exactly what it was, but we were we were both like mutually like complaining about how long it was taking to get our food. And then you just made some like really direct comment at me, and it wasn't gauged at me, but it, it hit me, and I was like, that, "What?" <laughs> I, don't I was like, "No, no, we're cool." He would he would tell me if we're not cool. I don't remember but. specifically. Yeah, Dutch Dutch in general is very direct. It, if you ever it, engage it with a Dutch cool. person and they're being rude in your point of view it's probably not them being rude but just a little too direct there's very little beating around the bush in dutch culture yeah, yeah we had yeah, to yeah. wait for a while yeah 
Oh my gosh, we did, and we just like awkwardly stood outside the restaurant. Do you remember that place had a trap set? It had like a drum kit. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. I think I mostly did takeaway or something. I mean, we should have just cold, but yeah. So then we ended up talking about like StarCraft for thirty minutes. Nerds. I remember that. It's the best of three. Yes. So what exactly do we have here? Well, we've got a different build order, first and foremost. Both players. Well, at the very least, we've got ourselves Stimpak as now the first. Yo, Stimpak! Nice. Let's go. No Hellion drop, but a Marine drop instead, but only a single medevac, which is a little funky. Oh, there's another medevac going on the top section of the map, too. Okay. Ooh. No, I like this. This is It's not quite 16, but I think you add in the complexity by having units on the bottom side of the map dropping up here because Shren already saw the medevac on the south side and now has to try and deal with this little bit of pressure. Does a decent job, doesn't lose the queen, but uh, oh, oh, I thought for sure that it was yeah. going to fly into the main base. It's yeah, yeah, he's looking for a fourth, but this is way too early for a fourth. Yeah, yeah. The only reason why there would be a fourth here is if Zerg really missed macro, but that's not quite the case here. I think this is going to be 1-1 hmm. one, one roach speed, by the way. Yeah, just a good old timing attack. These upgrades will finish up right around the same time for the Zerg. It's going to make those roaches suddenly way more powerful. So Shren just trying to play survival mode until then. Well, a little bit of a push oh. again. Queen is going to go down. Nicely done by Blue Knight. Now the fourth yeah, base and, and is taken. Oh, yeah, that's a a good cancel ah blue knight and in some really good spots here doing some decent damage but uh but trend's not falling behind on anything i mean he's got his roach speed one one uh, uh plus one plus one missile in on route gonna get the infestation pit as well so i don't think that's gonna be i think that's just gonna be for advancing tech yeah like, i don't think like nidus isn't gonna be good for this not right now not in the position that blue knight is in. i think he's gonna go lurkers again I think Shren basically, like, as soon as he gets thrown off of his 1-1 one, one push, he's like, okay, well, that's it. <laughs> We're playing macro. <laughs> Which is fair. Um, but once again, we have a push over here up north. The only unit right there that did not get to use Stimpak is the Reaper. Poor guy. Marines okay. don't share, man. Kind of rude. Dude, this, this is, is one hell of a tech, here. though. Yeah, look at the amount of siege tanks. Imagine if this would have been a 1-1 one, one road speed push, though. Like, he would walk straight into a trap. Oh my god, that position on the oh. tanks is amazing. Yeah, that's 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 actually devastating. Um, and I think Blue Knight's going to be able to see the uh, Ravagers coming up. Oh, he's got to focus the Ravagers. Those are the, the drones are not your enemy right now. It's those Ravagers that can deal with the tanks. Otherwise, this position is just it's a vice grip on Shren. Yep, it's like borrowing lurkers on the intersection. You know, like how in the world do you break it? You kind of just want to overwhelm it, I guess, a Zerk, but he doesn't have the units here. These Marines are even just going to town because the third base is where the reinforcements were popping from. So beautifully done right here by Blue Knight. GG is cold. Yeah. It's going to be our Terran. Yeah. Two to one. Very well done. Very good play. Sick. Yeah, Blue Knight. Really good. Really good. Reapers are straight edge. No drugs for them. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if Reapers could get Stimpak, though. That's the only unit we would ever see. Well, Shren goes down to the bottom side of the bracket, so yes. not not out yet, but uh, Shren's got some work to do. The bottom side of the bracket, it's kind of sick. Is there an exclamation point B in chat? Uh, there is, yes. So real quick, for those of you just not tuning in, this is a tournament open for people between Bronze League all the way up to Diamond League, and... 32 players, we're doing a double elimination, so the players that lose a series are not necessarily eliminated out of the tournament just yet. But if you lose a second time, that'll be it, I'm afraid. We're moving on quite a... Kind of quickly, it feels like. Am I crazy? Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like we're, we're kind of cooking through here. But we, we've got the system figured out now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks so many times along. we... People, people like would. I think. I think the thing that we ran into in the past is people would just like disappear for a brief amount of time, and we don't want to kick them out. But, <laughs> but then it does drag it out, and then unfortunately, like, oh, sorry, I had to go let my dog out for twenty minutes, and then they decide to play a forty-five minute uh, TNT yeah. where nobody moves. And we have no so, idea what's going on either, right? Because not every game has a uh, a referee or whatever inside of uh, it. Yep. 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 
um uh, there was a comment in the chat uh what uh what level all of these are uh, nobody is at or above masters so this is a bronze through diamond tournament there are some diamond players that have dipped into masters at one point but uh, currently sit pretty squarely in diamonds so we feel pretty good about that but uh, there was another comment that was made uh about some of the play inhibiting uh, more basic mechanics and that is like super common at diamond so uh blue knight really really good with his drop micro and uh, lacked back at home uh in terms of like scv production and whatnot but like that's really common at this uh gameplay you're gonna see moments where like like for me i i'm really good at my macro so i feel really confident in macro but then like game decisions that's where i struggle that's why I'm diamond. And you're going to see that in most diamond players. There's one aspect of their their game, incredibly good. It's like, oh, this guy could be grandmaster. You're right. But it takes the whole package to make a grandmaster. So just a thought to throw out there. Absolutely. Now, we are already in the next game, Rushing. This is going by very smoothly so far. This is Yo. Glarek going up against Bear Master, which I think is an upper bracket match, right? No, it's actually a lower bracket match. Okay. So the loser of this best of one is out of the event. Which is kind of nice. Yeah, I was just reminded, last time, somebody, one of the reasons why we had the tournament delayed for a little while, was because somebody decided to take a shower. <laughs> remember that? <laughs> somebody just disappeared, and they decided, oh, I don't remember I'm that. gonna go ahead and take a shower. Oh, Dude, yeah, we, yeah. we stay in a, a clean player. Absolutely. Beating like beatin yes. the stinky allegations, good for them. Alrighty, guys. Ah, oh, blue versus blue. Always convenient, always nice. Top left and corner of heart lit with the red. No, that's red. <laughs> Where's my beep button? I've got it here somewhere. <laughs> Found it. With the <laughs> blue Terran pieces. We have none other. Do you hear it? Why did I hear that? <laughs> wait, you wait, you hear that? Yeah. Oh my god, that's incredible. I had no idea. <laughs> what? Why does it go onto my microphone? <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's Bear Master. By I the was way. not I, expecting that. I, I, yeah, I did not. Uh, I did not actually oh. introduce the player. <laughs> no. Here, I got you. Bottom right. It's the light blue Zerg. This is the blue rock. Beep. Take two. <laughs> I figured you could hear these. <laughs> and those? Yeah. But I didn't oh. realize you could hear the beep. That's amazing. Actually, okay, not a good idea for this one. Great idea for the next one. That could be a, a, a donation incentive. Like, oh, you gift this much, and I'll use the this voice on my system for the next game. <laughs> so you just spend yourself casting one whole game as, like, a pixie. The thing about that <laughs> voice thing, though, is that, like, there's a very slight delay. And, like, the voice I hear in my headphones is obviously my own, but there's, like, just enough <laughs> delay for me to get very tripped up. So, usually, when I activate it, I have to talk very slowly. Because otherwise, it, it confuses me. So, the delay, it, 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 it doesn't really make it possible to do it the whole time. It's very cursed. <laughs> Dude, the chipmunk cast, though, that'd go crazy. <laughs> I could take off my headphones, I guess. <laughs> ah, so true. Reaper man oh. going across the map. So both of these guys are in Diamond League, by the way. I feel like a lot of Diamonds signed up. Oh, yeah. Maybe the lower leagues have already been eliminated. <laughs> They've been murdering them. Dude, yeah. Dutch and Chipmunk's voice. That actually would be pretty good. Maybe it's actually my real voice. And I'm actually tuning it down. Oh, yeah. You think so? Mm -hmm. Could be. We it's, never know. It's true. I mean, I know the answer. I've seen you in person. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, wait. No, no. no, no. <laughs> Do people on Twitch tune their voice down? I think there probably are people that like just a little bit. Because obviously this is on the extreme end of things. But I, I could tune it down just a tad. Do you really think people do that? I would not be surprised. That's fair. I just always assumed that it was like the nature of condenser microphones. They just pick up like a, a more bassy sound in yeah. your voice. Because like for me, like I have a really high pitched voice, and I know that that's no secret to anybody. But you do. I when I hear my voice in in like a microphone, I have a much more like baritone sound. I was gonna say I don't get a very high pitched voice. Do you? Uh, 
said I, I would say for I would say for a guy, I have a higher hmm. pitch voice. It's not like crazy high pitch, but Fair. higher than most. Good old cyclones. I am actually a little surprised we haven't seen the infamous cyclone build yet. There have been a cyclone build that has been making its rounds on the ladder. I don't know if you heard of this, but there's a Terran player who went from about, I think it was 2900 MMR to 4900 MMR in less than a month. Ooh, that's crazy. This guy went from like, I think it's like Diamond League all the way to Grandmasters, playing a one base, two factory, double cyclone opener. <laughs> Supposedly, it's actually quite hard to play properly, but I'm a little surprised we haven't seen even anybody try it. Because it really is just very, very strong, if executed correctly. <laughs> now, Cyclones are much better against Roach Bushes these days. That's true. Somebody tried it versus me. Oh, nice. Did you win? Heike has enough. Oh, yeah, that, that Cyclone was trapped. I don't think you realized it. But yeah, not yeah, much you can really do here there. with that push. Ooh, he's spreading the Overlords quite a lot. Uh, quite a lot here. Got to be careful when those cyclones start roaming the map. You blind hmm. countered it, going double robo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hmm. I don't know how I feel about this position right now for Glue Rock. He he sacrificed a lot of his macro to get these roaches out, and then the roaches effectively did nothing. Yeah. So now he's having to play catch up here. He is going to get Baneling Nest. Fine. But, uh, oh, I guess third base is done. But uh, 30, a, 30, 45 workers, uh, he needs way more. You, mm -hmm. gotta, you gotta pump those numbers up. And that's what he's doing. Third command center starts up right here for Bear Master, who's now gonna go into the reactor, so we will just see a normal game here ultimately. Liberator defended quite nicely. Honestly, not bad. Yeah. Mm, We're getting some pretty, back. like, I feel like compared to like the first viewer submitted or the viewer <laughs> tournaments that we ever did, I feel like the level of gameplay has climbed up a ton, right? Even though like the leagues are not necessarily different, people in those leagues have just gotten much better. Like this is looking like a a remarkably normal game, but with slightly worse execution, obviously, on both ends. Sure. I, I think also, I think our admin have done a really nice job of curating some of these matches for mm. us too. But yeah, but fair. I agree. But I agree with your point as well. Maybe next time we'll do one all the way up to at most platinum league. <laughs> I don't know how many people would be down to play, but I think it'd be a lot of fun. I think we would have plenty of people down to play. I also think we need to have some good rules in place of like, all right, maximum thirty minute game. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me let me say it like this. Is there somebody out there right now who's like, okay, I would have played, but I'm scared of just getting absolute trashed. So if this tournament would have been only open for people in bronze, silver, and gold, I would have played? Is that a thing? Like, is that something that's holding people back from actually playing events? Because I can imagine there's a lot of Diamond League players that are like, okay, I don't want to play in a open event because there's going to be Grandmasters and they're just going to trash mm. me. Me? Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. I was going to say, there's, there's, okay. there's definitely an audience there. Look what I would join if we get to use co-op commanders. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, a 50 minute game today. Ooh. Oh, maybe can you, uh, maybe we can have a look at the replay of that one later, Drone Rush. Yeah, a metal league tournament. That would be kind of fun. Ooh. Platinum is technically a metal, I guess, isn't it? Anyways. Uh, more than technically, it definitely is. <laughs> we'll, we'll do only, yeah, maybe up to gold league or so, yeah. To be fair, it's also Diamond League where like the range of MMR gets kind of absurd. Like the jump from Diamond 3 to Diamond 2 is about as big as from like Gold 1 to Platinum 1. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah, like the jump is massive. Actually, I, I'm, I'm curious. This is a good question to ask. I'm just going to look at chat while we shout cast this, but tell us your actual rank, not your Twitch chat rank. I'm just curious. Where are you at on the, on the ladder? Uh, but we do have a big push here uh, from the Terrans. Three tanks, four tanks, actually. Um, and this is going to be not quite the same chokehold we saw in the previous game. But this is still going to yeah. be an advancing push that's hard to deal with. The creep spread is just very lackluster. Like, if there's one thing here that Glorak is struggling with, it's that creep. Makes it very hard to really get much done. I'm a little mm. confused with all the metal leaks, guys. I thought everybody here was Grandmaster. <laughs> Nah, see, I asked for the truth, and we're, we're getting it here, but... No, oh. it's nice to see. It's a wide variety. Cool. 
Grandmaster? Yeah, sure. Sure, sure. <laughs> Hundreds of Grandmasters. Even though there can only be 200 the... at a time. That's beautiful, man. Some people in the YouTube chat as well chiming in. Love it. Love it. Gold, love it. plat, diamond, unranked. Wood one. Sick. Multiple <laughs> Wood League representatives. Yo. You stuck playing in the StarCraft 2 beta? Yeah, so that's oh, one thing that, that we hear ago. all the time, right? As people are like, oh yeah, StarCraft 2, I used to be masters in that game. If you were masters in 2010, I don't know where you would be in 2023 or 24, I guess is what it is. Like, you'd be, you'd probably be struggling very hard in like Silver League. Yeah, like the skill level is kind of nuts. Obviously, if you have played a lot of RTS games, in the meantime, it's maybe a little different, but like if you haven't touched RTS in a decade and you're like, oh yeah, I used to be really good at this, if you decide to give it a try again. Like that's honestly a very demoralizing thing, right? Because you're just gonna get destroyed. Skill level just keeps scaling up. Yeah, that's true. I think if you're master six years ago, you're probably platinum or so. Yeah, something like that. I was like, that's why I'm proud of myself. Like when I when I pick up the game um, after like breaks, like I'm still able to hang in diamond two. Because everybody keeps getting better around me, but I stay the same. Yeah, sick. Bear Master trying to bait his opponent down that ramp again. I'm liking this position more and more for Glorik as time goes on, though. Now, he ultimately did get to 80 workers. He does have a decent economy. The creep spread is just very bad. No. Uh, yeah. Looks like my creep spread. Come on, Glorik, <laughs> you can do better. You can do more! Thank you, Wardy, for the big rate. Yo! For those of you from Wardy's channel, I know he was casting a professional StarCraft tournament earlier this, uh, well, when I was watching the, this morning. He was live pretty early already. Anyway, uh, for those of you from Wardy's channel, this is a little viewer tournament. So 32 players from the stream, from my YouTube channel. There's about, I don't know, on average, I want to say, uh, the average player remaining at this point is probably like low Diamond League or so. But the only leagues that this was open right. to was all the way up to Diamond League. So no Masters, no Grandmasters. So a little bit different maybe than the skill level you were looking at previously. But thank you to... Oh, oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh well. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, just gun him down at that point. We almost had a perfect explainer of exactly what to expect here. But <laughs> crisis averted there for Bear Master. Oh, he unseized. Oh, that actually would have been really, really good damage for Bear Master, but instead decided he wanted to try and play it safe and came out the, the worst end of that exchange. Right but on cue. They are similar. <laughs> similar on everything. Yeah, you wouldn't see that little exchange right there at the pro level very frequently. No, Dropping the bottom left did kill the, the base over there, by the way. Well, I think Glurak's just kind of flooding right now. There's Ling's coming across the map, but I think Bear Master's got defenses. Yeah, he pulled everything back home, and he's got his reinforcements as well. So, decent amount of tanks. Uh, just, yeah, I, I think you're right. I think Creep Spread does kind of make the difference here because Glurak's got a very mobile army. If he can get some visual on where Bear Master is at, his army is not really that flexible. So, it's scary, but he can just constantly... Uh, zip in at different locations and just deal some decent damage, but instead he counters this moment where he just kind of runs his whole army into everything and oh, no. doesn't do a whole lot. Oh, Banelings? Uh, oh. He's brought a few drones in the mix too. I don't think you want to run into a planetary at this point. That would be suboptimal, to say the least. Okay. <laughs> We've got ourselves a nice little macro game though. Yeah, so we're doing double elimination. This is an elimination uh, the, the elimination <laughs> match, meaning it's just the best of one. So, the players that make it to the lower bracket have already lost a best of three series that they played a little bit earlier today. I, I, I always feel bad when I giggle that at you, like, <laughs> tripping over English words. It's like, ah, I can't make fun of the guy speaking English as a second language. That's just rude. No, I do that in Dutch, too. No worries. That's, that's, oh, okay. that's okay, totally mind. It's that's so totally funny. funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tanks! <laughs> As soon as he gets high ground vision, they're gonna start blasting. Yeah. Bear Master a little afraid right now of the Baneling situation, but I think he has a really stellar army. 2-2 two, two, finishing up after this fight. Oh my god. Oh, that was actually a really good Baneling connection. He got yeah. most of the units, but it's still uh, not Gee. quite enough. Ah, Bear Master, really good positioning uh, throughout the entirety of that game. Oh, it's a pig pan person. All right. Yeah, apparently so. Thank you, Glorak, for participating. But congratulations to Bearmaster for staying alive in the event. 
Terran! Bit of a Terran moment there. <laughs> no, no, no. Bearmaster definitely played a little bit cleaner overall. Which uh, is nice to see. Alrighty, so let's have a look at the bracket. You can hit exclamation point B as well in the chat. In case you want to go ahead and have a link. I'll go ahead and link it over here too. In case you want to follow along with exactly what is happening. So let's have a look. Um, yeah, so here's the lower bracket of things. I don't think I saw a single Quigley game, have I? Oh, Quigley is still in that match. Wait, hold up. Do I have to refresh this still? I think I already have. They've been in that game for ages. All right. Quigley's from Canada? I don't think I knew that. Yeah. How far are you from Canada? Not horribly far. I, I, think if, I think I could drive eight, nine hours. Okay. Well, that's, be there? that's still pretty far. Yeah. I've driven, driven farther in one day. You drove to Atlanta, right? Uh, in yeah. The past. Drove, yeah, in 2017. The, the one that I was a real trek is going to Austin. That was 2018. <laughs> we that drove is... straight to Austin. That was, that was brutal. Texas is big, man. Like I know it's a meme, but I it took it took about as long to go from Iowa because I live like on the northern side of Iowa, Iowa to the top of Texas. It took about the same amount of time from the top of Texas to Austin. Is wild. What is Austin oh, yeah. that far south? Yeah, it's like bottom third. It's not, it's not as far as Houston. Because in my mind, it, it does not like, up line up at all. When I when I picture an American map, that does not line up at all. But that's... Wow, Texas is that big? Yeah, Austin is... Isn't it even like bigger about, like east to west than it is north to south? Uh, I bet it's close. Hmm. I, th I think technically you're right, but that's just because the Mexican border like is jagged. Right. It is bigger east to west. So what if you want to drive across Texas? How <laughs> long would that take? <laughs> Evaluate your choices, number one. All right, here we go. Fort Bliss is the farthest west. And let's let's go right outside of Shreveport. Loco, it stretches as far west as Hawaii? That makes perfect Google Maps sense. Maps says that's about 11 hours and a little more. Hmm, okay. That's... That's a lot. Kybert can do it in eight. Dang, Kybert goes fast. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't speed. <laughs> You'd have to do quite a bit of speeding, I guess, huh? Um, yeah, I don't speed. I'm boring. But fair enough. Texas is kind of big. Hmm. Yeah, yeah I guess you have to dedicate a full day to it at the very least. Even the speed limit is bigger in Texas? Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything's bigger in Texas. <laughs> Everything's <huh? laughs> bigger in Texas. That's the takeaway. 85 miles an hour? Is that the speed limit? Let's see. How fast is that? That's 136 kilometers wrong. an hour. Okay. That's pretty that fast. Seems, that seems wrong. I think 70 speed limit in Texas hmm. is 75. Oh, oh okay. I guess it says there are specified segments of road that can go 85 but urban interstate which would be like the the large roads at 75 mile an hour fair fair all right Speed limits aren't real in the u.s tell that to the cops that pull you over and give you a ticket that's very real let's see which game do we want to have a look at next rushy there's only so many players that remain that's true um I mean, we got a TVP if we stick with Bearmaster. Hmm. I haven't had I, that yeah, I just want to yet. feature as many players as possible. That would be fun. But I think we're getting to the point already where we've basically seen every match. I think the thing that we have to dodge at this point is like mirror matches are, are going to become inevitable. Yeah. So if we can avoid that, I think that would be. Mwah. So, and we haven't had TVP yet today. That's so actually very that could true. Be fun. We can definitely have a look at a TVP. That'd be fun. We haven't had a TVT either. How much do you like Cyclones? That's the question. <laughs> that 50-minute game, Drone Rush. What was it? Was it a TVT? Because <laughs> if it was, then I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to risk it. TVTs are either four minutes long, or 40. I guess that's yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
There's not much in between. We can play a round of guess the SC2 Pro again, guys. What is oh, heart mode? Oh, let's go. What is heart mode compared to? Dude, fifteen thousand dollar Zerg winnings. Oh, goodbye. No, no, no. We're going to this one. Like that could be me. Korean right. Zerg, who's inactive, thirty-four years old, two hundred and twenty-one thousand dollars in earnings. So relatively successful. Nesty. I think Nesty may have more. No, Nesty has got two seventy-nine. Okay, he's also 41. Oh. My God, he's ancient, dude. Ooh. Ancient. Oh, is his EVP? That makes sense. Um. Hmm. Maybe Yun, who I was talking about earlier, who I made a video about. No, he's 36. Oh, that was a good guess. Yeah, that was. That's close. Um. You need to know your StarCraft history for these, man. Uh, fruit dealer, maybe? I was just going to guess fruit dealer. Nope, he's 38. $100,000 in earnings. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking like first couple <laughs> of seasons of GSL players. <laughs> Loco, watch your mouth. I'm 42. All right, all right, sorry, sorry. Look, it's said in, a, in like a loving way. It's just like we just, we just have to understand our place. I'm, I'm a part of the old club. <laughs> I am too at this point, man. 40 mm. is being ancient? For pro gamer terms, absolutely, yes. Now, DRG, DRG is active, so he's not... This this little sleeper icon means that it's not active. I don't know why it shows that, but... So 34, that's Bomber is a Terran. Yeah. Hmm. No, 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 it's a Zerk player from Korea, so not Parney. Mm, 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 mm. Sue? No, Sue is also active, technically. And Sue's probably won way more than that. Second yeah. place still gets you a lot he's, of money. He's like at like 500-ish? Jadong? No, Jadong's not 34. Oh, is Jadong 34? Could be Jadong, actually. That would be sick. Oh, it is Jadong! Let's go! So J this is a bit of a trick one, right? Because uh, he switched from StarCraft 1 back to StarCraft 1 after a while. He still made 221,000 in StarCraft 2. Hmm. Okay, reset the game. SE? Country SE? 85,000? Uh, is that like Southeast Asia? Is that C? Would this be Sweden? I think it's Sweden, right? Yeah. Has to be Sweden, but. Sweden SE? No, otherwise it'd be me or Micah. I don't know. Maybe it's SW? I would guess me on my con that one. I think, I think it's no, supposed no, to be no. C. It has to, yeah, it has to be sort of. It has to be sort of. Yeah. It is Sweden. Oh. I don't know why we did. It's, it's, is that the abbreviation? I guess. Really? Hmm. Finnish that Protoss player. $62,000 in earnings. Not active. Is it Protosser? Yeah, yeah. It no, it's be. not. It's not. What? <laughs> Cyril? Cyril may have played a tournament with Protoss, but he's not 30. Uh, Swedish, or sorry, Finnish Protoss player, $62,000 in earnings. Is it Naniwa? No, Naniwa's Swedish, no? Wait, I thought Cyril's brother played Protoss. I was wrong. He did, yeah, but he, he's not in the top 300 earners, apparently. Elfie? Oh. oh, maybe Elfie. You know who would be really good at this game? Rotterdam. Rotterdam would be insane. Oh, yeah, he'd crush it. Well, he, he'd complain that it was too easy. Yeah, it's Wamu. Man, these are not easy done. E easy ones though. Russian Terran player, sixty-five thousand dollars in earnings, thirty-two years old. I don't know, man. Happy? Oh, it is happy. Yes. Korean Zerk player, thirty-one years old, nineteen thousand dollars in earnings, retired. Um, did I get invited, by the way? No, I did not get invited. As I said, we just got a lot of <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, there we go. <sighs> These are so tough. I have no idea. There are so many Korean Zerk players that are retired that are, like, <laughs> early 30s, you know? Like, how do you decide who this would ever be? Clem is, like, 21? Yeah, Clem is, like, 21. Yeah, Clem is 21. Clemon. 
We're gonna reset the game for something, uh... Japan! What? Japanese Terran player, 34 years old? Really? That's cool. Bro, I can't it, name a single active. Japanese player. He's active? Wait, what? It, that's what it oh, says, right? Um... Oh, I can't come up with the name. There is a Japanese player who lives in Korea these days, I think, but I don't remember exactly the specifics. I think a lot of people confuse him for being Korean. Ooh. Um, <laughs> that doesn't feel good. Is he is he retired? What, is, is that it, what that symbol is, means? Yeah, no. is Han Mono? Active. I'm not. No, he's not even in. No, he's not in the list. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, he is Japanese, but I'm no. It, hmm. These are tough. Like it's funny hmm. because I've watched so much StarCraft, but I don't even recognize it right away. I actually don't know. That's really cool. <sighs> Fun. All right. Someone look up the answer. I I, I really want to know. Yeah, Hamono is is young. He's like twenty twenty two or so. He's he's pretty young. So I don't think that's. Accurate, uh, accurate, anyways. Legoland says that he is ready as water. I don't know what that means. But we'll get a TVP that you're asking for. Yes! Let's go. Some people mistype dry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Han Mono? No, Han Mono is Korean. Oh no, it's the other way around. I was gonna say Han Mono is Korean, but he lives in Japan. There you go. I was gonna say, uh, I got this tripped up somehow. Cross the wires. Alrighty. Back to our regularly scheduled programming here. Another elimination match. That means we have another best of... Bug? Uh, he probably got a, the UI bug. Ah. Nobody saw that? So. Nothing happened. All good. Nothing happened, gamers. It's Cyark. Cyark? It's a name I haven't heard in a long time. All right. GG's? No, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. <laughs> and it's the best of one anyways, so... Is anyone aware of Maxpex's is Danish royalty yet? Absolutely, yes. Fair assumption to make. Yo, Chili Willy in the chat. I'd like to back a tournament with modest cash prizes. Do you have any advice or possibly collaborate? I mean, the best advice is just to, like... Get in contact with uh, people that might want to play or commentate. I mean, if if it's if it's modest, there's a ton of community casters that yep. would just jump at it and have a ton of fun. So I'd say biggest thing is yeah, advertise it. Go on Twitter, advertise it, and have fun. You're like, hey, I've got this money burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> so I really, really want to do a StarCraft tournament. That is an option. Um, I know that, like, for example, the Korean StarCraft League, the KSL, which I've been casting a ton of replays from for my YouTube channel, they have been switching back to twice a month rather than every week, uh, mostly mm -hmm. because of their funding running out a little bit, so you might want to go check them out. They have, like, a Patreon page that they run everything off of, um, but it depends, obviously, on how involved you want to be. Anyways, take two. <clears throat> Are we yeah. gonna? Yeah, are we good? I think we're good. Bottle right in corner. It's Bear Master. And top left, the blue Protoss. Lego Land Man. Lego Land Man. My favorite superhero. Who's cooler, Spider Man or Lego Land Man? Oh, definitely Lego Land Man. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not. A, I'm not a Spider Man fan. No. Yeah, it's just me. Who's your favorite superhero? Ooh, it's a big question. <laughs> Bear Master I taunting his opponent. I like it. Sorry. <clears throat> I'd have to say I'm a big fan of Captain Marvel's storyline. I don't know anything about superheroes. I'll be honest with you. I am like a Bronze League silver hero or silver, <laughs> silver league superhero knower. There you go. Great sentence. One of the best. Well, there you go. Um, is it okay? Whatever. Is is that how we write whatever these days? I thought it was W E. Mm, w E. Homelander is the best. <laughs> um, hold Homelander on. is a bit of a uh, a character. Let's leave it at that. Have, have you seen the boys? I have. Yeah. The boys are pretty good. Very fun. 
It's gone Jordan with a ten dollar donation. He says thanks for the videos. Thank you for watching them, Jordan. Thank you. Yo. What a hero. I did watch the boys. Yeah, I did also watch the uh I don't know what they call it. There was like a like a I don't know, like a separate mini series or so. That was like ten episodes mm. long. I don't remember the name of mm -hmm. it right now, but that came out like a Gen Z? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was also yeah, really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I think they started filming the next season of The Boys. I'm really excited about that. Hmm. I think I may have liked Gen Z better, actually, than The Boys overall. I don't know. I kind of like it whenever, like, a series has, like, a finished storyline and it's, like, 10 episodes long or, like, less than, like, say, 30 episodes or so. And you can kind of just watch the thing rather than it, like, always looping on and on and on and on and you're waiting for the next season. Anyways. Sometimes, I guess, having extra seasons is fun, but... <laughs> Is Arrow a superhero? Maybe. I'm not a huge superhero guy, though. Like, as somebody who doesn't really like superheroes that much, I feel like that's almost blasphemous to admit in the gaming community, but I think The Boys was really good. It's kind of the realistic version of superheroes. Well, I don't want to spoil it, but I do recommend it. It was fun. Adept going across. It's going to be Twilight Council right here for our Protoss. Blink or DTs, Rushy? Mm, I think Blink. Well, I guess there is a robotics facility. I, I still think Blink. I don't think it'll be DTs. Hello? Oh, get it. Get it! <laughs> I was going to say, we do need a little bit of additional firepower there. Hey, it's going to be DTs. Oh, hey, hey, Loco. I just thought of something. What? DTs. He's so fake for that. Hmm. You, he, he did that on purpose? He gave that adept away? Uh, yes, but you, you wanted to know what the, the hip cool lingo was. Oh, right, right, right. What was it? Sorry? He, he's so fake for that. I thought you just said something and I just kind of like, okay, I was like, okay, well maybe. I, he's so fake <laughs> for that? Yeah, he's so fake for that. Is that something that cool kids say in 2024? Well, I, I'm going to say that's something that teenagers say. Hmm. They think they're pretty cool. So again, Rushy works that, at that a high school. That is true. <laughs> if I need to know any meaning of a word, I don't look up the dictionary. I don't even open the Urban Dictionary. I just ask Rushy. I was like, hey, Rushy, what does FRFR mean? For real, for real. <laughs> for real, for real. No cap. No cap. <laughs> oh, facts, they can no still printer. use bussin'. Buzzin is still okay? Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do people still use lit? No. No. I, I've been specifically told that that's not cool anymore. Mm. So that's that's my cue to start using it. Da, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh. that's when we can take it over. Oh, the Dark Templar got warped in right now. That's awkward. Suddenly one of the Jimmies got its head sliced off. Do we have any bomb. defense available, Bear Master? Uh, there's a scan. A we singular have a scan. scan. Oh, don't lose that's the not prison. Gonna help in two places. Hello. Yeah. We're gonna have to scan here. Yeah. Okay. Problem is, there's nothing anymore available to fire. Like there's one Hellion, but believe it or not, two Dark Templar. Easy mode, a Hellion, GG. Lego yeah, land. That's a quick. That's a quick best of one right there. Yeah. You were excited for your Terran versus Protoss, Rushy. Well, there you go. He's so fake for that. He's so fake for that, man. So wait, what does it yeah. mean? Uh, it's like. When somebody, when somebody does something you don't like or you don't agree with, he's so fake for that. <laughs> mm, okay. All right. Fair. So like, so like, kids will come to my office to talk, and then eventually I'll be like, okay, shouldn't you be practicing right now? And they look at me and they go, oh, you're so fake for that. And then they leave. <laughs> Dang, I did not have an attitude with my high school teachers like that at all. Oh God. Let me let me. This tell is you. what it's like to be the nice teacher, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> to be the cool teacher, they're like, ah, we're gonna keep testing him every chance we get. Yeah. Stop spying on me, man. Yeah. No, that's so real. It comes at a cost. One day, Rushy oh. will be a grumpy old teacher. It's like you you like forgot that. your instrument again. Go take it. Go bring it back. Go home right now. Pick it up. <laughs> Like, oh, man, oh that's... that's cute. Uh, they'd have to take it home for them to forget it there. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, got him. <laughs> got him. You went through four layers of problems already before that. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, Alpha Channel, for the three months. 
I appreciate you. That was a quick one, guys. Cheeky yeah. little Dark Templar all in. A Diamond League classic. <laughs> what? You disagree? No, no, no. It's just <laughs> every so often, oh, kids will share won? like terrible rap oh, no, music with me, and it starts off with like the same automated voice. This is a hood classic. <laughs> and it just made me think of that. <laughs> this is a certified hood classic. Do we want to do another ZVZ of Rushy? Hmm. Hmm. I think we just cast whatever is available at this point. Yeah, I think we're at that point. Mm -hmm. I mean, it should be pretty good. Like at, at this point in the tournament, we, we're not going to encounter anything too crazy. A certified a Loco classic. Oh, sorry. Am I missing my invite? Sorry, Drone Rush is shouting at me. Wow. Drone Rush, you can do it again. Wow. Whoopsie daisies. A grumpy rushy? Oh, no. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a real thing. How can you not always be in a good mood? <laughs> Working with teenagers? <laughs> sounds that sounds implausible. horrible, Rushy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> No, I have I have pretty good kids. I have pretty good students, but they're still teenagers. I don't I don't get grumpy too often, no. But also, I start streaming usually at two p.m. Right? I've been up for a while at this point. I do get oh. I do wake up and then I yeah I don't sometimes have the greatest of days. Believe it or not. It must be nice. Do not have a good day. But, what? Huh? Oh no! Like to start at two. Well, I start, start my stream at, at two. I, I don't I don't wake up at two, Rushy. Uh, what? I also don't go to bed at 8. What? You're telling me that you have a life outside of streaming? No, I make YouTube videos in the morning. What do you mean? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Sorry. You're, you're, still, you're still slugging away just like the rest of us. Hey, we have another superhero. Is it Legoland, man? Is it Superman? Is it Batman? It's Heyman! <laughs> Sorry. Most epic introduction I'll have today. Oh, and in the bottom right. It's Shren again. Shren again? That Shren rhymes. Heyman. What is Heyman's superpower? I was going to discuss that about Legoland Man, but I guess Legoland Man's superpower is to make invisible units. Fair. Ooh. What is Heyman's Heyman? power is the power to make you sneeze. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking of. So, you know, for years, I thought I had hay fever until I got a blood test, and it turns out I don't have hay fever at all. I'm allergic to cats, of which I have two, which is not a great build order. Anyways, I thought I had hay fever, and it turns out I, I do not. No, I actually don't. So, still, whenever I read the word hay, I feel like my nose gets itchy, but... <laughs> no, you mentioned your cats, and my nose gets itchy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Both times I've visited... You, both you and, and Loren are just very sensitive. It's like, oh, you're allergic? And it's like, nah, it's fine. I'll deal with it. I'm a guest in your house. What is this, but Rushy? I, but I am slightly Hold up right now. For I, I was not even paying attention, and I assumed that everything is normal because it's a Protoss versus Zerg. But there's a... Please. <laughs> is this the Sex Panther build? I think the, Sorry, what? The Sex Panther build. This is a famous pig build. It's where you proxy a hatchery, you build spine crawlers off to the side, and then you creep with queens and you walk them forward. This is the Sex Panther build. Sex I have never pig. heard anybody refer to that build as that. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this is oh, I love this. This is just Shren's, an Australian classic, huh? This is this is Shren's villain arc right here. We're it gonna lean now. into the superheroes. Oh, it's already happening. Oh, hey man's got to be like, uh-oh. This is not good. We go from cheese into a little bit more cheese. Spine crawler's coming. Oh, he even gets the, well, just to rub a little bit of salt in the wound, that probe. I know that Shran has been cheesing a little bit. I don't specifically know exactly what cheese he's been doing, but I guess this is the one, huh? I love this. This is this is something that you are going to have a difficult time defending as the Protoss player because you just don't have units. Like you need units and you need them now. That's that shield battery is insanely no? late. The creeps already going to start pushing forward here. This is over. Shren's one. Yeah, he is one. I, I'll call it now. I have filled as a coach, but Shren did win the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
No, I mean, this is still somewhat... The problem is, right, without a cyber core, you can only make zealots. So there's a stalker right now on the production tab, and the spines are soon going to be in range. I mean, battery overcharge is nice and all, but the zerklings are still going to be able to just kill this stalker eventually. Only just now is when the cyber core restarts. Problem here for Heyman is that he needs a cyber core to go for any sort of tech. He needs it for a Twilight yeah. Council, Stargate, Robo, whatever he wants to do. He needs this, so... Zerklings into the main base. I think he needed to make a forge basically right away. Yeah. Uh, had he had he started a Stargate right away when this happened, maybe, maybe you can save this. Fion did this now there's no Harston. gateways. Yeah. Yeah. This is at home. This story is though. over. I think so. Well, well memed by Shren. He's shredding his opponent, man. He is shredding. Yeah, he hasn't won yet, but this is uh, it's still kind of scary. Problem is here for the Protoss, there's no units, and he has no unit producing structures either. So really all he can do is just rely on the stuff he's got right now, which isn't a whole lot. That's yeah. it. Two stalkers in a dream. And now it's... Oh! Two stalkers in a dream. <laughs> Still two! Come on! Oh, for the stalker! There you One go. stalker in a dream. <laughs> you did it. You called it. So, there are seven probes remaining. This is... I think this is starting to become the Protoss equivalent of flying your command center to the corner of the map. I mean, oh, he's, he's trying to go for out. one Stargate unit. The shield battery overcharged, though. It's going crazy. Yeah, apparently you ignore it, huh? You just completely ignore the shield battery overcharge. <laughs> <laughs> you can't afford There's the a Stargate unit. probe in Shren's base right now. Like, Just he can soon make a phoenix, but... Not ideal. Uh, the super battery never fails us. Well, we've seen two of them. Uh, <laughs> right as he could finally start up a Void Ray. GG is cold. Shren stays alive. Well done. What a build. Was there actually a probe there at the end? Oh, maybe not. There may have still been a probe. A probe. I went and looked. It was gone. So maybe it got killed. He was at zero workers? I don't know. Mm. How long does it take to for a phoenix? A single phoenix? To kill a queen? Uh, one, one phoenix takes a long while. Yeah. It's gonna be tough to really do anything. <laughs> so wait, what did you call My that new build nickname. again? My new nickname cannot be Sex Panther. This is not a thing I can allow. <laughs> Veto. X. No, thank you. No, I don't think that's... No, no, no. Yeah, here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find it. Surely, Pig. Sex. No, I know Pig Panther. has got I'm, his I'm... names for strategies and build orders. I just didn't know this particular one, but... He made a new video about it seven months ago. That's crazy. Because that's such an old build for him. Hmm. Here, I'll post it. I'll post it in the Twitch chat so you guys can see it. But uh, and also, like, if you're not following Pig, like, go go follow Pig. P Pig's awesome. He quietly just grinds away in the Australian scene, but he's a hilarious. Should be seeing Piggy again in a couple days. Over in Poland, he's probably already on a plane. <laughs> whenever, uh, whenever there's a StarCraft tournament coming up, and Piggy is one of the commentators. Uh, usually he seems to leave what seems to be a weekend earlier. Yeah, he's probably already gone. He's <laughs> he's been traveling for a little while already. If I've I've learned right, so we just talked about Texas being big. I've basically learned that if you want to leave the continent of Australia, it takes you 24 hours. It doesn't really matter where you want to go. It's a minimum of 24 hours. Now there may be a few places where you can get to with less time than that. But generally, anywhere in Europe, anywhere in the US, it's just a 24-hour distance, man. Yeah. Yeah, he's been on a boat for two months. <laughs> when they first asked him back in December, <laughs> Big went on his way to Poland. He took the boat. Is this the low Rimbo build? Surely. Look at what kind of water do you have? What kind of water do I have? Whatever comes out of the tap. I'm a tap water guy. Also, in the Netherlands, um, tap water is very good. 
And I'll tap water, man. It is pretty nice. <sighs> Two cheeses back to back, though. We went from a Dark Templar all in <laughs> into a proxy hatchery. Hey, at least they're entertaining. Yeah, that's very true. Gotta love the creativity. See, that is. Uh, maybe that's the next evolution of the viewer tournament. Is you oh, have what? the trophy for the winner, but then a trophy for the most creative game. He didn't say water, he said watch. I miss I misread it. I glanced at the chat, that's all I saw. There is a little bit more delay on the YouTube stream there is on the, than there is on the Twitch stream, yeah. I think Biggest it's like throw a... of the tournament. That would just go to Josh every time. So we'll just like name it after. Him. <laughs> the Josh Awards? That's kind of mean, man. The <laughs> Echo Soldier woke up at like five in the morning to play in this tournament, and you're just gonna do him like that? Wow. Yes. You you be fake like that or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fake like that. I tried, I so tried. Fake for that. that wasn't a oh oh wait, did I miss another invitation rush or wow. wait, rush? Did I miss another one or was this the wow. previous one? Wow, SMH my head. SMH my head indeed. <laughs> Can I read Danish? No, no, I cannot. Although maybe if it's written, I can actually kind of decipher it. I'm not sure. Thort linked me a laptop earlier this morning and I had to fill out a Romanian CAPTCHA to make sure that I was not a robot. And <laughs> how'd that go? <laughs> we learned that I was a robot. Yeah, I filled the CAPTCHA. <laughs> I had to apparently select the fire hydrants, but believe it or not, I did not know the Romanian word for fire hydrant. So this <laughs> this was the day that I learned that I am actually a robot all this time. Uh. Yeah. I tried to decipher it. I thought I figured it out, but apparently I selected the entirely wrong pictures. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I've been an AI all this time, guys. I'm sorry that you had to find out this way. Logobot? Actually him. <laughs> it's actually his original account. Mr. Destructoid. <laughs> I think I have a That's robot button here somewhere. Where's my robot button? Uh, what's this? Ooh, I can't find it. Large, large robot. Every girl has this. <laughs> I have no idea what it sounds like. Nuclear launch detected. Can I be AFK for 15 minutes? Oh no. Oh no, one of our competitors just requested a break. Nuke said, yep. Okay. Well, Nuke is from wow. Germany. When he says 15 minutes, Nuke is watching the clock. He's thinking he's back in 15 minutes. <laughs> the, the stopwatch has already been clicked. <laughs> it's been clicked as soon as he gave the go-ahead. Oh, I follow right. a TikTok uh, content creator that's from Germany, and he makes the funniest German TikToks. <laughs> and it's just like jokes about German culture in general. And one of them recently was, oh, we're going to meet for coffee at 830. And the American, because it's always a German and an American, and the American shows up at 843. And he's like, oh, sorry, I'm so running, I'm running behind. And the German like rips open his coat and it has like a full size wall clock that says, what does this say? <laughs> 841, you said 830, where have you been? Yeah. I love him. I think like Dutch Liam culture is Anderson very similar to that too, yeah. Oh God, it's so good. Yeah, it's it's a bit weird. I like, the, the thing is a lot of Dutch people and I guess German people don't realize that that is maybe a little bit funky at all. It's like, no, 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 we made an appointment and you weren't there. What do you mean? Yeah, Dutch is basically <laughs> like low-budget German. Yeah, you're not entirely wrong. Uh, anyways, guys, top right-hand corner of El Cyane. It is Quiggly. And his opponent in the bottom left, the Blue Terran. It's Captain Fish. Ooh, that's a recurring name for the Loco. Yeah, both tournament. of them. Both of them are. Fish. That's how they spell <laughs> fish in German, by the way. Did you know that? Oh. <laughs> with just, SCH. With extra letters? <laughs> yeah. What yeah. is this, Sweden? Yeah, you just recognize it that way. <laughs> it's 5.30, time for dinner. Get out. Germany got cars. The Netherlands has bicycles. Sounds like low budget to me. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> we don't have cars over here at all. 
Actually, Dude, yeah, I you're right. Extra letters is not very efficient at all. I guess it's not German. That's either. so mm. true. But creating your own words for specific situations, very efficient. <laughs> German does have some of the greatest words. Yeah. Dude, Krankenwagen? The Dutch word for that is Ziekenauto or Ziekenwagen, which is basically the same thing. So for those of you un unfamiliar, if you don't speak either German or Dutch, I know, crazy idea. Krankenwagen would be sick people's car or sick people's wagon, which is a, an ambulance. I mean, it's accurate. It's descriptive. Dutch word for Schmetterling. vacuum cleaner. Stofzuiger, a.k.a. dust sucker. <laughs> Dust sucker. Dust sucker. Yeah, <laughs> very nice. I'm sure there's, um, I'm sure there's English words that are like that too, where you're basically Dude, just you describing the act rather than like having a, a magical word for it. Yeah. But there's a lot of those in German and in Dutch. Gloves. The Dutch word for gloves is handschoenen. The Dutch word for shoes is schoenen. It's literally hand shoes. The Dutch word for gloves is hand <laughs> shoes. Yes. Blinker. Uh, Blinker is a, yeah. Blinker is, I guess, an English version of that. Where it's like, well, it, it's a light and it blinks. <laughs> so for the BMW drivers in the chat, those are like, there's like indicator lights on the side of your car and you can use them to em. indicate what direction to other people around you where you're intending on going next. Anyways. Uh, Overlord speed here from Quigley. I know he's a fan of that. We actually, so Quigley actually did a bit of a cheeky thing. He was like, Loco, I can't do the coaching because my internet is unstable right now. That was early, early January, actually. Apparently he had to hmm. replace his magical internet box, right? Fair enough. We rescheduled okay. the coaching to yesterday. Right oh. before the tournament. So I've got high hopes How here for Quigley. Convenient. Yeah, very convenient, huh? And he had to come up with this elaborate story about the internet box. <laughs> oh, my internet's broken. Yeah. Please, please reschedule. Yeah, please, yeah. That's, no, no, okay. Well, we ended up rescheduling it to yesterday. And we did go over this matchup. So the one thing that we analyzed is that Quigley is really good early on. But as soon as Terran gets to like three, four, five bases, he stops scouting for the most part. And that's a bit of a recurring theme in... All the replays that we saw. So I'm going to be paying very special attention. If we're going to get to a point in this particular match where, you know, we will <sighs> see a lot of bases. I'm going to be paying special attention to that. So, so you're telling me I have to be the unbiased caster here? Yes. I am absolutely okay. biased. Okay. All right. Wow, the Zerg player is doing terrible. Why would <laughs> That's not what it means this? to be oh, unbiased, no, Rushy. That oh. is not what that means at all. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I had to counterbalance it. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Uh, that, that, that's on me. That's on me. I take it back. I take it all that's back. That's okay. That's okay. You know, but also, like, you have a, you have a habit of uh, picking up players who don't like to scout past three bases on Terran. That <laughs> that's sounds every awful diamond zerg. <laughs> <laughs> Either they all army hotkey, they're scouting zerglings away, or they just stop, stop scouting altogether. That's the theme. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, is, it, is it an us problem or a you problem? <laughs> That's a conversation for another day. Let's not. Ooh, not aliens going in. There are Zerklings, but they're chilling in the natural. Bunch of drones are yeah. going to go down. Oh, this is, this is brutal. You get a good position with those Hellions, and suddenly they can get really good, efficient damage on the Zerglings. Six drones end up going down. It's not yeah. crucial, but they do scout the fourth. For four Hellions and a Reaper? Oh. Six Hellions and a Reaper? Eh, I don't mind it that much, to be honest. Hmm. So we got Banshee uh, coming up. I mean, this is going to be a pretty stock standard uh, ZVT, I think, from the Terran player. Double, uh, Why double is second engineering so bay. Late? What happened to that second Banshee? Uh, it's, it's there. It's moving out. It's like middle of the map. Yeah, that's the first one, right? There's yes. a second one, but like the cloaking upgrade is already done. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what ended up going down there, but you'd imagine the second one should be available at this point in the game. But sometimes those benchies, when they come in late, they actually like deal a lot more damage somehow. I'm gonna start calling it the artosis effect. <laughs> I'm gonna see if it catches on. Thank you, by the way, Playgirl and Ira Blazer. Playgirl resubbing for three years in a row, and Ira Blazer for four years. 
That's a round of clapping. <laughs> we already heard you clapping, Russia, but yeah, somehow you had magical, magical applause. Woohoo! I had extra applause. You can't see my my extra hands. You have oh, like Metchamp? Are you a Pokemon? I mean a pal. Sorry, Sorry. it's a pal. Yeah. <laughs> have you played Pal World? No, no, I've not. Oh, you should. Maybe I should. A Pokemon. Pokemon. One, one stream. Heck, I think I probably enjoy I'd it. It seems pretty that. fun. Oh. Uh. Yeah, so this is one of those moments where the Benchy showed up late and they deal more damage than they would have if they showed up efficiently. Which is a a recurring phenomenon in StarCraft 2, where like you just don't really expect it anymore at a certain point. So quickly, only at 40 drones at this point in the game. On five hatchery, sure. Tons of units, sure, but just not enough workers. Hmm. <laughs> Loco will probably play Pal World in two years when nobody cares. That's my no. track record, yeah. Got him. You mean when the the scene is ripe for viewers? Ah, oh, I wish Maybe. people still played Pal World. Loco's playing Pal World? Yeah. It is true. I tried to not follow trends too much. It's, uh... I don't know, man. There's a lot of streamers that jump from hype to hype to hype to hype, and I I kind of just want to play what I enjoy playing. So maybe at some point I will go ahead and have a look. Gotta ride the wave. Yeah. I probably should <laughs> Man. Yeah, I probably should be. <laughs> or I could do another RimWorld playthrough. Ooh. Well, nice so little this, tech is, this here. is kind of a... Yeah. Yeah, this is, a, this is an interesting position for both players as well. It's a, it's a rather low eco game for eight minutes in, um, but it should get a decent enough defense here, putting a little bit of damage onto the forward base, but this is going to be a nice drop that can pull some of those units back. But what does Captain Fish have? He doesn't really have any follow-ups. So yeah. army is going to be pulled back, but not for any major uh, detriment either. But it's a lot of production coming out for the Terran player. 2-2 two, two starts up, or at least he was trying it. Now he starts up a bunch of supply depots too, because we did hit a supply block. He already did drop a magical supply depot out of the high heaven. I was just raising my eyebrows over that scan in the main base to kill that one creep tumor. Like, I have no idea what the, why did we scan for that one random tumor in the main base. <laughs> it's all right. Speaking of upgrades though, maybe the 2-2 two, two is a bit late for the Terran, but the 1-1 one, one for the Zerk is super duper duper late. It's... Um, yeah. Yeah, only just now, while well, one of the upgrades is starting, right? He does have the Baneling Speed upgrade, and the Creep Spread here is decent. So it's actually doable for the Zerk here to defend, because Banelings are so powerful on Creep. That's exactly why Captain Fish, I guess, is trying to get rid of some of it. Ooh, but I like this. Going to position the tanks uh, just outside of the collapsible rocks. But meanwhile, on the left-hand side, a nice attack with these two Medivacs. Going to be able to get the base. Probably gonna no oh, get the base. Okay. <laughs> True. Um, I was gonna say probably gonna be able to get some workers, but now we're gonna start setting things up where we attack on both sides. Tanks are gonna be able to siege oh. up. Here come the banes. Oh, great tank shots onto those banes. Gonna eliminate pretty much all of them here, so they're not gonna get a ton of efficient damage here. But I think we'll still push this off. But after a huge oh. losing the base, losing the workers. That is another choke point oh, right there, man. That's a lot of dead Zerklings piled up. He actually sees where the Banelings are being morphed in. Insta Stimpak being used. These Marines are just one little nibble away from being dead. But that's exactly where those upgrades kick in so much. Wow. Now he really wanted to get the Banelings. Oh, that was a painful set of losses right there for Quigley. But he does have 82 workers now, but no minerals to mine. Yeah, this is this is rough, and, and the lack of those upgrades oh, no, the is really starting to impact oh. the queens off creep. Oh, yeah, <laughs> this is starting to fall apart really fast here. Quigley just doesn't have any good footing to try and resecure. He's going to get 22 banes, but I think too much damage is going to be done by then. Absolutely, Captain Fish hitting his opponent exactly where it hurts. Grabs another base. Jimmy over oh. here has started working. Now it's a big job. Have a heart, Quigley. Come on. Okay. Quigley has a heart. Good, good, good. Decided to re-rally those. Jimmy is hard at work. This is like somebody's, uh, I don't know, cousin. Their cousin <laughs> was in charge of hiring, you know? They were like, yeah, no, I've got a job for you, Jimmy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, just oh. wear this armor. Get it done. Dude, reunites with the team as well. <laughs> Guys, I did it. I'll keep him as my selection, okay? So we can see if Jimmy makes it. 
<laughs> Does Jimmy survive the game? Yeah, I, I think it. that's the bigger question at this point because I don't think Quigley is going to be able to make it. Captain Fish has been doing a really lovely job. Going into the 3-3 research, expanding to watch a base all the way at the bottom. Oh, losing this base is not a, not allowed. He can't afford to lose it. Oh, okay, he'll Jimmy. be able to clean it up, but nine workers dead. More workers going down. Oh, there go all the Bane lanes. GG. And there goes his plan. Jimmy survived. Jimmy did survive. Oh, well, Let's he's go. gone in the game right now, but he did make it. He got teleported away. That's beautiful. Way to go, Jimmy. <sighs> I think it's due to Jimmy. Hey, hold on. Let me make a make, let me make a parent phone call home to talk about how great Jimmy did. Hi, is this Jimmy's mom? <laughs> Hi, this is Rushy. Wow, Jimmy in the last battle, so good. He was he was there, he was present. He showcased really good determination and learning. I'm so proud of Jimmy. Can't wait to see what he does next. Oh. Yeah, I don't think that happens in Dutch schools all too much. I don't think no. they have a rule where like we, you know, we called them once. No, we only called them when it's something shitty to say. I think that's probably the Dutch <laughs> rules. <laughs> I don't remember my parents getting called a single time for my performance in school. I feel like I would be wow. mortified if, if they did get a phone call, though. Yeah. <sighs> you don't think it happened much in Loco's household? No? Do you think I, I did well in school, Bugilis, or I did poorly? Well, you did say all you wanted to do was play StarCraft 2, so that's a, that's a big tell. No, no, no. Back, back in high school, it was all about RuneScape. Mmm. That's Thank right. you, Rillar, for the eight months. So, I like my entire teenage life was all about min-maxing the amount of time I could play RuneScape for. That was really the main goal, right? <laughs> and I learned pretty quickly that as long as I had good grades, my parents would mostly leave me alone. <laughs> so I actually did get pretty good grades. <laughs> yeah. I, I wasn't, go. yeah, I wasn't a really, I wasn't too big into doing homework and stuff, but nobody really cared as long as you got good grades. So it was, you know, as long, that was kind of what the main goal was, I guess. But I also did the terrible thing where I would study for a test like the night before. And that was the only time I would really study for the test. And then I would review yeah. it in the morning. And then you fill out the test and you can do the test really quite well, but you forget everything the next day. Yeah, that, that, that's me. Yeah. That's the way I would study for stuff too. Dude, we're cruising. We are making some we quick progress, yeah. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, only eight left, and five of those are best of one. I think we can hide it, right? Yeah, hide the completed rounds. So this is what we have left over at this point, guys. It's not even really that much. Wow. Out of 32 players, Ooh. the majority already have been eliminated. Legoland Man and Shren may be playing right now, or maybe they're waiting for us. I'm not exactly sure. We can have a... Excuse me, a little peek. Um, no, they're in game right now. Uh, maybe Togo Star and Lutrex. Those are players we haven't seen yet. Although I think they're both playing at the moment. It's a lot of Germans left over. German, 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 German. Shren is also from Germany. We might get an all-out German top four. Hmm. Hmm. Did I miss an invite? No, I didn't. Not this not time, yet. not this time. <laughs> <sighs> a lot of Germans, man. What's B-A? B-A? Yeah. Uh, maybe Bulgaria? No, See, I, I thought think Bulgaria B is B-G. Yeah, that's what I would think, too. B-A. Isn't that the guy from uh, the A-Team? <laughs> B-A? I don't know. B-A. What's B-A? Apparently, know. Sweden is S-E, which is, I guess, fair enough. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Really? Okay. Oh, he's I from Bosnia? Him. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so, we, so, yeah, we got Germans, we got one Italian, and one Bosnian. That's cool. Wait, Italian? I've been playing a lot of... Uh, I-L? Is that not Italy? I would imagine IT is Italy. This is maybe Iceland? Illinois. <laughs> maybe no, it's, it's not. No, no, no. Okay, Iceland is okay. not. Mm -hmm. IL is Israel? Could be. Yeah. I don't think it's. Israel. I... Okay. That's hmm. cool. 
that is a country that's not often represented in cool. StarCraft. Legoland, man. Oh, snap. Dude, I did miss a lobby invite depth time around. Oh, then I missed it too. Oops. Well, I think Nuke quickly canceled it just to make me look bad. Yeah, I think he just <laughs> made Yeah, he just did that for the fans. Oh, IT is Italy. Whoops. Could be Ireland? No, apparently it's it's uh that would be IR. Yeah. No, I've been playing uh there's a fun daily like game that I play that I think you would enjoy. It's called Traveler. Your phone? No, no, no. It's like, are you familiar with the dolls, like Wordle, stuff like that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is this is a dull game, a daily game, uh, but it's it's called Travel, T R A V L E, where you get two countries and you have to navigate from one to the other by guessing the countries in between. And you try to pick the most efficient route. That is a today's very is game. you go from Portugal to North Macedonia. <laughs> See, I thought we started off pretty strong there. I'm like, yeah, I know exactly what Portugal is. North Macedonia gets a lot trickier. No, it's just north of Greece. I don't no, really I, know. I bet I could do it. Yeah? Yeah, I bet I could do it. Okay. Here, pull it up on your screen. If you. If oh, you yeah, it says it over here. Okay, so where do we go? We go okay. We go through Spain first. Yep. How do I do this? Then I just hit, would be next. I had guess. Ah. Oh, yep. it builds the map for you? That's cool. Yeah. Then we go to no, France. Super fun. I would imagine, right? Yeah, that's what I would do. We can go. Oh, you can choose how you want to do this. Yeah. There is an optimal route, and ah. you want to get it in the least amount of guesses possible. But it will, like, if you go the long way, I guess fine. I don't know. That's possible. Maybe we should have gone Italy or something. No, we're going a long way around. This, <laughs> this is getting very inefficient. Yeah, I was going to say, I would have done Italy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Can we go? Is Switzerland bordered to Croatia? Is that possible? Can we can we go around? No, no, we can't. We no. have to go through. Austria. We should have gone Italy. Austria is its eastern border. Yeah. We can go Germany. But we're going, we're going all the way around, guys. We're going the wrong way now. This is bad. Yeah, I was going to say, you need to go south. Yeah. Spain, France, Italy, Greece, North Macedonia. That would have been the play, I think. No, Greece is south of North Macedonia. Well, like, we should have gone to Italy. Yeah, I should have, I guess, just accepted my failure and gone to Italy. We went a little <laughs> bit to Germany, through Switzerland, and back to Italy. Do Wait, do Italy and Croatia not border each other? Is there like a little bit of space? There must be. They don't? I was going to say, is Slovenia in there? Uh, not Slovenia? Quite as efficient. Hmm. It's to the east of Austria. Ah. Then we can go Croatia. Oh, I've already... Oh, that's already... Okay. What is over here? Yeah, what is over here? Is that Bosnia? Okay, no, we need one more. Hmm. Now it gets tough. Yeah, now all of these are very difficult. This section of Europe is not easy. Albania? I was thinking Albania was in there. Nope. No. It's, well, that's... There's one north. more. <laughs> there's one more. Which one oh, is, is between... Serbia? What, sorry? Is it Serbia? Yeah, Serbia's in there. It is Serbia? Hmm. That it must be. Ah, we could have gone str No, we didn't have to go through. That was good, man. I nailed it. I'm the top 94. Hell yeah, guys. Very good. <laughs> hey, this is fun. I'm gonna go check this out a little bit more frequently. Yeah, Let's this one. Th so this one, you can only, like it does a daily. I think you can practice where you wanna, if you wanna do like a bunch of them over and over, mm -hmm. but they do a new one each day. Some of them are really like, like close like this. Uh, there are also, if you click in the top left, you can pick like different countries. Like you could do just Italy. You could do Japan. You could do the United States. That one would be fun for you. Mm. That one's easy for me. As long as I don't get New Hampshire. So I was never that great at geography, but I feel like I'm not terrible at it. But there's like a bunch of sections of the world map where I'm kind of like, 
I know it's there somewhere, but I don't know specifically where. Yeah, it's it's. No, for the U.S. that'd be really bad. What's wrong with New Hampshire? I forget it exists. Big sad. Oof. Yikes. Anyways, top left of the corner over our next elimination match. We have none other than Kep. No, it's Intercenum. I have my scoreboard messed up. All right, you get to do the correct one, Rushy. Ooh, bottom right in the red. This is Captain Fish. How would you go from Mexico to Canada? I would take a plane. <laughs> United States of America. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> no, no, just take the plane, dude. You don't have to. Uh... Oh, hey. Vermont. So there's a bunch of countries, or a bunch of states, I guess, in the U.S. in particular, in, like, the northeastern part, mm -hmm. where it's just, like, it feels like there's, like, three dozen of them that are all very small, and I have no idea where everything is at. And then there's a bunch yeah, in the like middle, here. too, where, like, it gets very confusing. Oh, that's where, that's where the fun states are. Like Iowa. <laughs> Do you think I could point that Iowa on a map? I think you Ooh. could get a good guess in. Thanks. I think you'd get close. Huh? Nee? Oh, I'm not. 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 I'm <laughs> Is that yeah, where you got trapped? Yeah, that's where I got trapped. <laughs> all right, all right. No, we're not going to make more fun of Rushy, guys. He was just experiencing the great Dutch culture. No, you... That's German culture, by the way. Well, it was a, a store... Wait, was it... Well, it was our little, right? The, the one closed yeah. by here? Yeah, 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 okay. I guess it's the German but, store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I know. You can't trick me. <laughs> what did we learn that day, Rushy? Uh, scan your receipt on the way out. <laughs> I did so good. You did I was so, so good, proud man. of myself. I thought when you told me you got stuck at the little, that you, what are we doing? Don't kill your own Nexus. Bad idea with the probes. I thought you tried to like pay with a credit card or something, and that just didn't ex accept like American Express or whatever, right? I thought that maybe was that was time. the issue, but that wasn't a problem. Nope. nope. I got all my stuff, get get checked out. I, I I knew to buy the bag. Like, that's easy <laughs> enough. I can remember that stuff. But then <laughs> there's a gate, and it's closed, and nobody's standing there. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. Somebody walked over and said something to me in German, or in Dutch, and I went, ah. And they just pointed at the little scanner. But I had to scan my receipt, so I, it opened the door. It's okay. It's all right. So close. So you did so close. well. I'm very proud of you, Rushy. Yeah, it, it's not as bad as your your front door, though. <laughs> yeah. That one. That I did one give Rushy a key, down. and he got stuck outside my front door because he couldn't figure out how the lock worked. <laughs> Look, it was the tough. key just kept turning. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know how to express my deep like sense of. Rushy Just phoned lost, me. Like, he like called me. He's like, I'm outside the door. I was like, don't you have a key? He's like, yeah, I do, but it's not working. <laughs> so I opened the door and Rushy is just standing there with the key in his hand. I was like, okay, I don't know. This is, uh... yeah, you have to put the, you do have to put the key in the, in the, in the lock first. I did, you jerk. <laughs> Apparently you had to turn it one more time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did Turn it 17 times. I only turned it 16. <laughs> How foolish of me. Ooh. We got one adept. Almost spoiling the uh, Widow oh, Mine surprise. This is worth. This is worth. Oh, oh please. Please, Widow Mine. Burrow. Burrow it. It's going to kill the. Yeah. Okay. Didn't... okay. That, that would have been funny. Ooh, the re rally is good, though. So, that's fun. So, how much damage will these two Widow Mines deal? We see them coming from a mile away. I think they're going to kill nine probes. Mm, I was going to say double digits. I was going to guess. Really? Three. Yeah. 
100 percent but he sees them coming from a mile away they were so late you literally we we did this we did this in the last tournament it became a, a TikTok clip for you mm -hmm. where like oh yeah these are there's no chance that these mines get any kills no he knows it's coming and then it's like 20. some gross number so i'm gonna guess high for the memes here we go oh perfect oh good paul what a gamer epic oh. gamers gaming don't Ooh. send them back yet uh-huh did yep. we warp this and stalk us in the next no, oh, oh, no, 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 He could have had them all. Could have had them all. He just moved them a little out of range. He could have had them all. I think we were both right. Yeah, it was basically double digits. I mean, it was only two, but like it could have easily been double digits. Oh. I, my, my ego would have just gone through the roof had they been just. You would have closer. recovered from the receipt and the key situation. Yeah, right I did. Then it there. would have been over. Yeah. Every time you brought you bring it up in the future, it's like, yeah, but remember when I guessed <laughs> right on the widow mine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think you were right. Oh, we're gonna give the medevac away. Oh. Goodbye. Oh. No, there's nothing. Soik. Never mind. Very nice. Oh, and now blink. Now blinks. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so we have a four gate all in. Now this widow mine push was late. You know what's even later? The four gate. But luckily here for our protos, there's still no siege tank. Yeah, he's actually given up on it because he thinks that the opponent. Oh, he really wants the medevac. Okay. <laughs> Psych. Psych. Um, you know what? This is still a moment where the stalkers can just straight up win the game. Because if he, oh, he's on the wrong side. Where are we? He sees it now. Mm. Mm. Inter. Oh. Yeah. Do something. Respond. Hello. Okay, I think Heartbeat. it was AFK for a little bit. Yeah. This is Losing still really prism, annoying actually. for the Terran, though. But don't yeah. worry, we have a tank at the third base. I wish he could just, like, reinforce this now, but Prism is gone. Mm. Yeah, as I say, getting the... the Warp Prism taken care of is actually really great for Captain Fish because it stops any momentum that Intersinon might have been able to get out of that. So all the stalkers end up dying and there's just nothing to reinforce. So it, it, good pick off of the Terran. Both of these players apparently, according to the bracket from Germany, we have an all out German match over here. Okay, easy siege tank. <laughs> Boop. Easy command center at this rate. Okay. Oh, no, 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 I do no, love no, the, no, no, the no, no, choice enter, to, enter, to repair. Enter, wake up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. That was great, great repair call here because now we can get some decent damage if we choose to fight. Okay, there we go. Um, what do we have going on in the base though? Nice little drop. Jimmy uh, cleans out one base. Sorry, but he only lost eight, so I think it was just a, a runaway. But but still, decent amount of damage there. This is a very messy game. This makes you realize that not all of us are beyond at max packs, right? Like, I've seen a lot of those high-level TVPs lately. And there are so many moments where this game could have been over already, but ultimately, even though, yeah, both players have escaped death multiple times, now we're kind of just playing a little macro game. Uh, it seems cathartic, though, Loco, because these players play just like me. I make those mistakes. This is very relatable. Not for you, though. You're in, you're in a different league. <laughs> I have not played Terran or Protals in a while. <laughs> Every time I do, I uh, I feel very clumsy. That's fair. Uh, 16, 16 drop. Oh, he's going to split it up right there at the very end, just in case the stalkers were just all chilling. But they're all at the third right now. Just once again, just stay in there. The response time is a little bit on the slow side for the Protoss. And he's going to just walk him in. He's not going to blink him up over the ridge. So that actually extends the amount of damage that Captain Fish is able to get here. We're at 13 workers dead. I mean, even if he loses the medevac and the, the units, like this is a great trade. 15, that's a, a make that trade every day. Absolutely. Not a bad situation right here at all. Inter getting uh, the short end of a bunch of those trades. And now it's that tricky part, right? As Protos, like, what exactly do you do? Finally, you get your triple command center. He's got the extended thermal lens upgrade. He's got a decent set of units. But can you really push into this army here from the Terran? Well, if the siege tanks are unsieged, yes. If Captain does not spend his money, yeah, sure. He was flooding a little bit earlier. He's going into plus two, plus one. I mean, unless he meets this army head on in the middle of the map. Oh, God. Oh, Oh God. Careful. 
Yeah, this this could go from awful to worse in, in just a brief amount of time. Tanks need to get sieged up. They are going to stay put. Good force the stim pack actually gets clogged up in the middle, then makes it for an easy force field target. Now the tanks, the tanks They're are just off. out in the middle of nowhere. What are they doing? Oh, no. We had the Zealots charge over here, though, at the, the supply depots for some reason. No, no, no. They needed to be charging right here at that bio army. Okay, well, that leaves the Colossi completely exposed. This game has got flipped upside down, man. Terran was so far ahead just now, but suddenly he's finding himself in a really bad situation. I think it's still just fine for Inter, despite the fact that he just lost the three Colossi that he spent 10 minutes building. I mean, honestly, if he takes the warp prism and just warps in eight zealots in the main base, I think this game just ends up being done. But I think it's done. Keeping the warp prism back and away for reinforcements is not a terrible idea either. Uh, another Colossi on the tab. 18 workers have gone down. It just continues. It, I think it's all over for Captain Fish, unless he can kind of turn this around here. He's got a decent position. Yeah, the problem is he doesn't have any workers anymore. He does have triple command center, so that's something. But two robos, both producing Colossi at this point, is going to be basically unstoppable here. Captain yeah. Fish does indeed stabilize in the end. Oh, those siege tanks! Oh, God. I thought they actually drove back with the main fight. Look at this guy, suddenly thinking he's got a stutter step. Okay, well, he just died. <laughs> that guy was just swinging right there. He's like, oh, guys, oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Just taking my little afternoon siesta, but... All right, well, this is the army. Will this army win the game, Rashi? Uh, no. <laughs> Will they kill a Colossus? Absolutely uh, also, not. Also not. Oh, he got nope. sliced in two. Uh, and the fourth base being up, that's, that's deadly for Captain Fish. He's barely on two base right now. The third base is down, but they're just, they're just nothing. Oh, thank goodness. Clear up the rocks. That was the issue. That Ooh. was an unfortunate... Uh, Mistake right there for Captain, though. So if he literally would have not done anything, if he just would have set, I don't think Protoss could have broken him there. But because he kind of fought half the Terran army and then, you know, the other half was not even participating at all and the siege tanks were off on their, on their own doing a whole lot of nothing, that fight went as, as bad as it could have been. Although he did catch all of those Colossi. I think if Captain Fish would have micro those Colossi and had the Zealot to charge at the bio army rather than the supply depots, it would have also looked very different. But ultimately... Yeah. I think that's basically it here for Captain Fish. He's fighting. Oh, but... traps the workers. Insult to injury. No, I... It, there's just a couple of, of goofy parts to that encounter here, but we, we got the Colossus count replenished here. Intersonom's got the the bank to be able to remake. He's got 131 to 72. Yeah, this is this is going to be all over but the, the crying at this point, and I think Intersonom is going to be able to clean this one up. Bzz. Stop hitting him. He's already dead. Gets one more Colossus. <laughs> Col uh, command Center itself falls. We have another Command Center blocking vision here. Or I guess sacrificing itself. Kind of depends on how you view this. All right. I guess that all, all that's left to do right now for Captain Fish is to fly his Command Centers to the corner. Yeah. yeah. GG is GG. cold. And it's Inter who obtains the victory. What a game. That's pretty good. Yeah, that got very messy, though. I was actually expecting the army value graph to be a lot more swingy, and it wasn't. No? It kind of built up. So oh, yeah. About, about the same. That fight really did not look that bad overall, though, for uh, for Captain. Like, that game was going pretty smoothly, actually. I think he had the upper hand, but then he just... He moved. <laughs> Sometimes people <laughs> ask, like, why, why is Terran turtling quite a bit in a lot of these games? It's like, well, as soon as you move your siege tanks, life becomes very hard. It's very easy to accidentally lose. And we didn't even see, like, uh, I don't know, a bunch of zealots warped in in the main base or something like that, right? Like, you were pointing that out a little bit earlier. That was uh, something that we didn't have, but... I joined all nuke this time around. Oh, we have a upper bracket match. This particular one, the winner of this one, actually, determines who moves on to the grand finals. Very nice. We're down to the last four? Are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. That's, that's crazy. We just had about 80% of our uh, Germans still remaining, but now the <laughs> German representation has gone to 50% only. Ooh. Hey. So this is, this is our top 
Top bracket four? finals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Terran, Terran. Uh-oh. This is the best of three, Loco. This is the best of Have three? It's okay. It's a Terran versus Terran. It's going to be Cyclones. Uh, okay. I hope so. The, the Terran versus Terran meta, if you haven't followed it all too much lately, basically what you do is you make Cyclones, and then as a commentator, you do not make any calls on who ends up winning any fight whatsoever <laughs> because it's impossible to say. <laughs> that's that's that's, the, that's the current thing. You have like 10 Cyclones, and then the other guy also has 10 Cyclones, and somehow one guy wins with like seven Cyclones remaining. And you're like, what? how did that happen? Huh? That doesn't make any sense. That's that's the yeah, that's the T V T in a nutshell at the moment. But we do sometimes get to the mid game where it's a bunch of uh bio units. But yeah, T V T is is feels very strange to me, but they've given me the power to start the game again. Oh yeah. I mean, well, again, it is your show. Yeah, what do I do with so much power? Do you want to stay here? I'll give you the power, Rushy. There you go. Yo! Sick. All right, go, go. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go. All right, so our first TVT of the tournament, and this is now our, our can we call this winner's bracket? Our winner's final? Yeah, yeah, we can. Because they're winners. And winners is very positive. Absolutely. So we're going to Oceanborn for map number one. This will be a best of three. And, ooh, purple and yellow. I <laughs> no, love it. It's still the wrong color. I said, but I still love it. Then the top left, it's the yellow Terran player playing off color. This is the blue knight. The blue knight. Maybe blue is like he's feeling blue. Like sad. Oh, he's just always hey, sad. Man, that's tough. These are apparently also the two players with the highest signups as far as MMR goes. Okay. Both of them apparently a little over 4K. Not bad at all. His opponent now in the opposite corner, playing in purple, it's Togo Star. With little stars on the command center. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. I have no idea what a Togo is, though. I Google Togo. Apparently, this is a German web shop. Or something. I don't really know exactly what's going on. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna it's say, isn't like Togo. Togo like yeah. an island nation? No, no, it's Togo. It's double G. No, oh, double G. GG. Oh, two GGO star? No, that makes no sense. All the Germans know what Togo is, Loco. To yeah, to go yeah. is the opposite of dining in. It's to go. No, no, no. It is. That is true. <laughs> it's a German children's television channel. Ah. Oh. What do you think the German Dora the Explorer sounds like? <laughs> I that that's Sage a hate du I'm schweiber not... die Swiper. <laughs> <laughs> Wo ich die Swiper die Swiper. <laughs> Just the German kids pointing at the screen aggressively. <laughs> That's I'm what glad I you said that, because if I said that, I'd be getting reported. What? I you saying that would be fine. That didn't sound German or Loloco? That's what the guy <laughs> is called, no? Swiper to Swiper or something? Yeah, dude. Swiper no swiping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sounded exactly German. Right? That's what I thought. <laughs> I had German in school for many years, guys, but... My German's not very good. Whew. I'm thinking of Tonga. Uh, okay. My bad. Mm. Tonga is an island nation in the Pacific. If you think German sounds angry, you guys haven't heard Dutch. Dutch sounds I don't think much angrier Dutch than sounds German. Angry. Yeah, but German no. also doesn't sound very angry. Yeah, it, yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Oh, absolutely. I feel like people. I don't know. You think so? I mean, I mean, not always, but there, there is, there is an aggressiveness to the German language. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like it's even stronger in Dutch, but maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. German has a reputation for sounding angry. I know, but I feel like that's mostly people true. that have only watched like Der Untergang. You know, like that's the only movie they've seen, and then they're like, "Well, that's what German sounds like in my mind." I, I, I yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm And mistaken. then they go and listen to Rammstein. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
we are all living in America. And you're like, okay, well, that's, <laughs> geez. Whoa, look at Fidget Spinner SCV over here. He's still going. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, we haven't had really any Cyclones in this game. No. No, that, that, that does not look like Cyclones at all, but that does look like boys that have been pulled. The boys, yeah. Only boys, five boys season three on Amazon Prime. Sorry, no. not an ad. Prime Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rushy actually works at Amazon, guys. <laughs> he's got this whole like teacher thing going on, but like he actually just works at Amazon. Yeah, teaching's my hobby. <laughs> You're like the Dutch Prime Minister. Did I tell you the story of the Dutch Prime Minister? Okay, maybe I'll tell you this afterwards. Yes, please. Um. Oh. This is actually kind of a crazy little attack. Yeah, but how in the world do you properly attack that? Okay, there you go. Liberator is essential, but Blue Knight shows up right now with a Viking. Two Vikings is bigger than one Viking. SCVs trying their very best to out-repair this. Okay, well, still not bad right here for Blue Knight, though. He's going to be able to repel this. Yeah. Yeah, it pushes this back. Uh, the the worker's doing a nice job of repairing the Liberator. So the the, the push can continue, but it's it's a little goofy right now. Uh, tanks Second are going to be able to get into tank, position, yeah. though, and two is greater oh. than one. I did the math. That's sick. That's sick. Oh. But they got SCV's a fire in the right direction. Each other. Jimmy right there runs into the siege tank line of fire. Not scared at all, but he's going to be following that SCV from earlier. Oh, man. When you watch the pro gamers do these sort of things, they make it look so smooth, right? <laughs> and then you look at how it goes when you don't have 7,000 APM, and everything just looks so clumsy. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, though, Blue Knight manages to hold on here, which is, uh, yeah, really his only goal, right? He just wanted to survive there. He's got a second command center. His opponent doesn't. Oh. Togo here decides to pull the boys a second time. Yeah, I mean, you have to. No second base. You're going to just continue to fall behind in the mirror matchup. But, like, what are they? Are they going to repair the Viking? The Oh, oh, oh no, 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 not again. Not like in the previous game. You need to... Don't don't move out. No. Oh, he go, decides to go, siege up over go. there. I don't know Jump if I love that, to tank. be honest. Just go. Just go. Yes. He yes, needs there to you go. He needs to hold on. Yeah, he decides to give up on the yellow tank, but I wonder if he needs that. Probably should pull so the boys guess. from the main base as well. Purple siege tanks are sieging up. Yes, Vikings I'm... are landed. Yeah, this actually ended up going really well. All of the SCVs towards the front oh. just bought time for those tanks to get sieged. So now the oh. tanks just need to survive. And if they can make that they happen, don't. this ends oh, up working. He's but it's not maybe. Oh it my work. god, that's actually such a sick fight. Togo has got five SCVs though. Ultimately, he's got five SCVs. And, and Blue Knight has got two command centers. So like even the mules alone don't matter. He should have pulled the boys from the main base. But he just needs to clear out the siege tanks now. I mean, the tanks need to come f further forward. He needs to get onto the ramp. If he can hold the ramp, he might have a chance at this. But if Blue Knight's able to secure uh, the top of the ramp, it's, it's all over. Yeah. And There's I no don't see how Togo is going to be able to break through this. He should probably consider making a Liberator. No, oh, he's gonna go home. going to go home? Yeah, no. we, we can't do anything by going home. Maybe he's feeling nostalgic of where it all began seven go. minutes ago. Go. <laughs> Nostalgia yep. hits early for Togo. Yeah, he needs to go. Yeah. Yeah, park park one on the ramp. Oh, but this is actually really clean micro here. Togo's going to make a game out of this. Oh. Well, the Viking control right here is ultimately going to be good enough. And that was yeah. super painful and about as sloppy as that cleanup could have been. But Blue Knight ultimately does win game number one. My god. Let's go. Good thing he finished up infantry weapons level one in eight seconds. <laughs> That's... Whew, that was okay, actually a okay. very tight game there at the end. Yeah. Cool. Dude, I'll take... I'll take... I'll take sloppy if it's interesting. This is Diamond don't, League, yes. Don't... Don't... No. I saw that look. Sorry, sorry. No, I've been that. streaming for too long, Rushy. You can't just say these things. <laughs> is this a quarterfinals? No, this is the upper bracket finals. So the winner of this particular game goes to the grand finals. Oh, yeah, bro. Uh, what a hold right bruh there. Bro is still popular. Forgot, what? Sorry? I forgot to tell you about that one. Bruh. Bruh? Bruh is You still... could have hit me with a bruh in bruh? that spot, and that would have. <laughs> that was a bruh moment. All right.
That was a bro moment. Or sheesh. That sheesh. one's still popular. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> All right. This is a certified bruh moment. Both players ready. Oh, we're going to Raduset? They're doing a best of three and game two is on Raduset? Well, I guess that gives me a little bit of time to tell the Prime Minister story. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do it! Because this game could take a little while. Okay, so the Dutch Prime Minister, right, he recently announced that he has decided, okay, I don't want to be Prime Minister anymore. He's been doing it for about 13 years, I think. Since 2010? I guess it's 2024 right now. He's been doing this for a very long time. And one thing that he's apparently always done, I don't really know exactly how true this is, but supposedly it's the case, is teach a high school. So apparently he teaches a couple hours a week. Um, I don't know what the English equivalent of the class that he gives, but anyways, apparently he teaches a high school. And one of the questions that reporters have always asked him whenever, you know, they're talking about him possibly retiring or doing something else, is like, hey, what would you do if you weren't the prime minister? And he would always answer by saying, I would probably go into teaching full time. <laughs> Turns out he has decided, okay, I'm gonna retire right now from being a prime minister. And the most recent times, whenever they've asked him that question, what his aspirations are moving forward. Apparently it's either full time high school teacher or president at NATO. <laughs> <laughs> Those are different, just a little. I was like, well, that's not the same thing. Yeah, apparently we're, eh, we're aspiring to either you know, being head of NATO or, or, or being a high school teacher. Yeah. What's the difference, some really? Some people saying being a teacher to teenagers would probably properly prepare you for politics, but <laughs> I, I won't get too far into that. <laughs> I think that's so funny. Like, for all these years, that's what he's saying. And then, you know, when push comes to shove. <laughs> Apparently, we're also applying for a bit of a different job. Yeah. Hey, thank you very much, Trent. Appreciate that. Yo. Hope you had a good time playing. <laughs> that was so much fun, Loco. No worries. Glad you enjoyed it. So, uh, guys, you were all saying, all right? I saw some people at least saying that the games are going by pretty quick. Um, Radu said, Taren versus Taren. Loran brought me a sandwich a little bit ago. Um, this one could take a little bit. I don't have anyone to bring me a sandwich. I would bring you a sandwich, Rushy. Just imagine you, it. You would. I mm -hmm. mean, the number of times when I was streaming and you'd just swing by like, oh, here's the thing. Here, you want you want a Fanta? Here, you want some candy? <laughs> so you absolutely would. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, I have to door dash. If I'm Loco, my girlfriend just said Loco has friends. Wait, what? No, no, I pay Rushy to be here. <laughs> I was like, Rushy, can do? you please? And Rushy was like, ah. <sighs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> how much did he uh. say? I, I, yeah, that's the first thing he said. How much? I was like, Rushy, <sighs> on God. On God, on, <laughs> on God. God. For real, for real? No printer? All facts? <laughs> no cap. <laughs> Dude, this stream be busting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm paying Rushy an exposure. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. <laughs> On God, for real, for real, dude. No okay. uh, God. Speaking of real, getting paid in, a, in, in in exposure, guys, you should head on over to twitchtv slash SC. <laughs> Hit that follow button. Make sure, man. It's been a month since you last streamed, Rushy. It's true. It's true. That is. Oh, you're hosting me right now. That's amazing. That's what we want to see. Yeah. Why am I not streaming right now? Because Loco has my camera here. And if my camera is on his screen, I can't have my camera on my screen. Sheesh. When am I going to stream again? I I actually might stream right after this. Nice. Right after we get done. Very good. Imagine if we get done early, we might just play some 2v2s or something. I don't know what you have planned. Rushy should give up on high school teaching and become a full-time streamer. Yeah, or maybe become head at NATO. That's also quite yeah, the backup the, plan. those are my options. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny to me, man. All these years, like, yeah, you know, I want to become a full-time teacher. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> Just stream right, Loco's Twitch live screen. 
So um, this, in case you're unfamiliar, is a very, very, very large map. It's also a weird map in the sense that you have to go into like this really large formation. I can't even make it in one swipe with my mouse pad. Like I run out of space. So you have to go all the way around. Now, obviously you can send in flying units and stuff, but generally this is a super passive map. And also generally this is a map that gets vetoed really quick. Yeah, this is kind of cute, It's no? just a goofy map. Yeah. This is this is the one that I was telling you about earlier that where the Zerg player took like the gold base to the left of this base. Mm -hmm. He was like, that is not cool, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot I forgot the name of this map. This map is like I can't wait for it to not be in the map pool. It's so weird. <laughs> Ratuset. Apparently this is the uh, central train station in Stockholm. Oh. The Ratuset Perfect. station. Yeah. That's cool. I don't know if it's the same thing, but the Dutch word for town hall, like an old Dutch word would be Rathuis. I'm assuming mm. Ratuset is the same thing. It's probably the, the town hall station. I don't know, though. No. Maybe any Swedish people can confirm. I don't know. Mm. It's not the rat house. No, I don't know. <laughs> Although maybe that's where it comes from. No, a rat in Dutch would be like a council, I guess. The council house. Oh my God. Ooh. That makes sense. Do we have like a, I say, a doll for like a words? <laughs> Word origins, Rushy? <laughs> yeah. How many steps oh, to go? Oh, word origins? I was like, yeah, they've got a doll for words. It's called Wordle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> this is the sit in the corner of the map and make mass tier three air units map. Hey, yeah, a lot of it is. At the pro level, it's this weird thing too, though, because everybody plays so greedy that some guys actually purposefully play aggressive because everybody's cutting corners left, right, and center. That's true, but oh, but this is this could be a, a, a meaty drop. Twenty scans. Oh yeah, um, he wants to know exactly where to drop these units because if he's just going to drop on top of the tank, like that's that's silly. But yeah, coming up to the top side. Though. Why is he? I kind of like this. Yeah, why is he just sitting there? Oh, Blue Knight finally wakes up. Oh no, this is actually GG. Ooh, maybe not. This is a lot of good damage. Yeah. The tanks are left exposed. Well, I think we needed to do a little bit of targeting. Ultimately, though, that's going to be a lot of SCVs that end up going down here. No, I think we're getting a bit, yeah, a little overzealous here, but still. Hey, I mean, that was a decent amount of damage in my opinion. Not bad. But not enough either to call it GG. That's true. It's still a TVT too, right? It's so tough to actually close it out. Is it stuttery for you? No. Like, are you are you feeling lag? No. Oh shoot, it's me. Oh no. Okay. We had a lag spike. Oh no. Time to get well, no, a new I just, computer. I just keep stuttering. Oh. Iowa internet moment. Could be. Could be. No, I hear so you fine. True. Okay. Like it doesn't bother me. If it's not impacting anybody else, like I'll be fine. I just was noticing it. Ratuset. I don't know how to do a little circle on the O. I think there's supposed to be a little, like, circle on the O. Yeah. It is like Town Hall in Swedish? Let's go. Oh, circle on the A. Yeah. Okay. I, I heard O and I was like, on station? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't need a, a weird O. Station? <laughs> Station? I just assume that Rushy speaks without moving his lips. Oh no, the camera not working. Come on, internet. Don't give up on me now. No, it's working. It's working. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Rushy's from Iowa. He's actually so one true. of the members of Slipknot, one of the previous members of Slipknot. <laughs> but then he decided, I am more into brass instruments rather than guitars, so. Do you still have that whiskey that I gave you? That was I have a little bit of it Slipknot themed? I have a little bit of it left, I believe, yeah. Nice. Actually, nice. We have another big meta effect drop over here in the natural. Ooh, that's a great siege location. It's going to get a lot of those workers. Ten workers go down, additional to fall. But Togostar, he's got, he's got dreams on the other side of the field. Yeah, this is... Hmm. We're already flying one of the command centers towards the bottom right-hand corner. 
Does Blue Knight have enough here to hold on? He's got nothing. He's got one siege tank and a dream at home. Well, and a couple dudes in the in 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 the, in the, in the bunker. Okay, doesn't matter. Is there enough room in the plane? Not for everybody. <laughs> could have had more marines. But that's yeah, okay. we could have probably fit the siege <laughs> tank if we shoveled it a little bit, but it's all right. We're kind of in the middle of something. Togo really needs to siege up his tanks at home, though. Yeah, maybe reposition some of his infrastructure. But anyways, the main base of our player in yellow also in a lot of trouble. This is actually turning out to be a very close game once again. These two are actually playing some nice StarCraft too. On Siege Tank, better than Siege Tank, confirmed. Oof. Hello. Togo, we really need to like defend, yes. Uh oh, what do we uh, No, what no, no, we no, 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 that's right into it. Oh that's god. Fine. Oh god oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, this is ugly. This is just straight up ugly. So the drop gets completely picked up in Blue Knight's base. Togo Star is floating. What is he floating? Is he floating command centers on both sides of the map? <laughs> oh, I thought you meant resources. I was looking at the no. map. I was like, well, the macro is actually pretty good, but no, we're flo yeah, we're just flying command centers around. <laughs> okay. A couple right, of I legendary mean, that's, that's Vikings. They deal bonus against mechanical. They don't actually mess around. Look at that Viking micro. Well, we could have... No, I think we should have stuck to the ground a little bit longer there. Jimmy! Oh, that's two. Oh. Okay. So where are we at ultimately? Yeah, Blue Knight is... Oh, he's scanning every base at the bottom, but not the one where... Oh no, Togo happens to be <laughs> mining from right now. Oh, oh here comes a mass amount of Marines though, coming down the ramp as well. Siege tank on Siege, not really in a position. Medivac gets cleaned up as well, it looks like, although apparently Togo is a merciful god. Did he... Wait, was that his own Medivac? No, he killed Yellow. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought he just gunned down one of his own Medivacs there. I, I don't think so. Anyways, doesn't matter all too much. This is crazy now, though. So where are we at? So Blue Knight, he knows that the command center's left. Yeah, he's looking because he knows that he hasn't found them. Oh. This is a very strange situation for Togo, too, though, because his strategy is to cross his fingers and hope he doesn't get spotted. Well, he is going to yep. get spotted. Yeah, it didn't last long. <laughs> Yeah, that was that. That might have been like a saving grace moment where if Togo goes unscouted, he did get the most value out of his mules. So I mean, that's the best case scenario. But he's gonna lose the the command center, and I think that falls down. It's all over. I love the repair. The energy with that is so good. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, a man inside it. of that SUV, dude, focused on repairing it up. Oh. Incredible work. Okay. Well, we're gonna intercept it, it looks like. Or we could have taken the Watchtower and just seen it, but fair enough. Ooh. Hmm. Still, though, difficult to actually decide where you're at in this game, right? Like, this is definitely one of those games where a lot of players would not feel comfortable attacking anymore. But Blue Knight seems to have none of those issues. I was gonna say, he shouldn't, because... Well, you know, that 16 Marine drop that's going to push up top, that could be scary. But I think, yeah, he just needs to go. He just needs to gun it. He needs to go forward. He's got the tanks. Yeah, there's one tank sitting there, but you've got more than enough units to dash on in. I don't even think you you worry about your base at this point. But here's kind of the pivotal moment here. Tanks are going to be seized up on the ramp. The Marines run forward. They're going to be able to soak up just enough damage to let the rest of the Marines do the bulk of the lifting. GG. Togo's got to tap out. and Blue Knight is heading to the grand finals. In Good the, luck in the finals is what he said as well there. After the GG, that is very nice. Blue Knight indeed, our first finalist. Nicely done. Well played. <sighs> Do you think he's gonna ever be playing in blue? That's my question. What a game, dude. That was actually really nice. They did well. Okay. So now our next one is a best of one. Yes. Because it's Inner Sinam and Lego Man. The winner of this goes on to play um, Togo. Mm -hmm. And then the winner of that goes back up to meet Blue Knight in the Grand Finals. Exactly. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. 
<laughs> time to watch the VOD. He's got time. He does have a little bit of time, yeah. Blue hair, or blue hair. Dude, I keep calling him blue hair. Blue knight, <laughs> getting a bit of an ego boost there. That's very nice. He I'll got me really well, nervous. Yeah, that was a close, uh, very close game. Uh, all these players left over at this point are, yeah, they're like high diamond. Thank you, by the way, life for the 91 month resub. I appreciate that. Uh, what tournament is this? So there's a little viewer tournament going on today. So we started today and we're doing the whole thing in one day. 32 players, all from either the stream or from my YouTube channel or from the Discord, whatever. Long story short, this is all players that are below Master League. So if you're Masters or Grandmasters, you sadly were not allowed to sign up for this event. Uh, mostly just because, generally speaking, it's quite difficult to find tournaments that you can actually play in. If you are a ladder hero, right? Which is like what 99% of players are. Probably more than that. Um, you can sign up for the weekly cups and get absolutely trashed by one of the pro gamers, which is maybe kind of fun, but the odds of you winning a weekly are really low. So I think, um, yeah, having some more community driven tournaments is a lot of fun too. So this is going really smoothly. What do you think? Should we introduce our players? Ah, right, sure. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> Perfect. Got a chance to, to catch up on that. Apparently needing a little bit of a break. My wife needed something. Wife flex, hello. Yeah. Wow. Protos players are married now? Now I've seen it all. <laughs> a little bit of wife aggro. It happens, guys. He accidentally pulled aggro. Yeah, he just wanted to flex there for a moment. Did you clean the dishwasher already? Like, no, not now, I'm playing a tournament. <laughs> Loco, I got one of those. <laughs> You're a Protoss player with a wife too? That's amazing. All right, top left and corner. It's Legoland, man. Sorry, I think I stole your introduction, Rushy. Nah, it's all good. The bottom right, the red Protoss. This is interesting now. All right. Okay, I I sometimes will play Protoss on ladder, and <gasps> I have borrowed from my former teammate, Arog Fire, the most fun proxy robo build for PvP. Yeah. And it is so much fun, and I would just love if we got a chance to see it, but uh, we shouldn't because this is the last PvP of the event. Maybe and this is the best of one. Yeah, we'd have to see the second pylon proxy, I assume, right? Or like, how quick is that proxy robo? Yeah, it would be out there by now. Yeah, it, it'd be across the way. But it's so good, a double, double immortal with a warp prism, five or six stalkers. Whoo! It hits it's like a truck. Fun. Inter, oh, by yeah. the way, managed to sneak that probe in there. Does uh, Legoland man realize it? So he wants to see what the tech choice is, but he's coming in before the tech choice is made. So. Um, sup optimal? <laughs> yeah, now it probably is just gonna die. You had a wife once upon a time, now you just have child support? Oh. Ooh. Oof. Do you play Protoss too, or...? <clears throat> <laughs> Oof. Oof. Get him! Yeah, sentries don't do a lot of damage, man. I hope the, the stalker's not gonna kill Steel, is he? Oh, no, absolutely. Uh, no! Oh, no! Nice! Let's Sick. Go. The support got a kill. Kill steal. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Dude. Give the gold. <laughs> Dude, if this were League of Legends, there'd be an all out fight happening in the chat right now. G G yeah, G kill steal? Just, just call GG right away. <laughs> I go AFK now. <laughs> You're just AFKing in the fountain. Uh. Very toxic behavior, yeah. <sighs> Look how I started playing Terran after my divorce. Now I've got a girlfriend again. Hmm. Hmm. Are you saying that Terran players get older girls? Well, they have to get something. They're not getting wins. <laughs> they get mules. That's. I think that's enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh. For those of you. Uh, 
single and maybe the dating apps are not working for you, consider installing StarCraft 2. Play a little bit of Terran. I heard right, the Cyclone build is all the rage these days. Oh, uh, maybe Protoss players are married because the Templar merged together? That's a very good point. That's beautiful, man. Do you think that's what a Protoss marriage is like? Two High Templar become one? I was just gonna say, it's, it's the ultimate Archon, right? Mm. Or a Dark Templar and a, and a High Templar, they can become one as well. It's really beautiful. It's not something we very frequently see, but... I was gonna say, like, yeah, I guess that is technically allowed. <laughs> every app is a dating app, Loco? I don't think every app is a dating app. <laughs> Oh, I didn't love that. <laughs> it felt icky. That is very cursed. Uh, hi, I'd like to access my medical records, please. <laughs> I'll show you some medical records. RuneScape is not a dating app, guys. That is not the purpose. No, I've seen uh, dating on the StarCraft 2 forums. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> yeah. on the Terran forums it would be a thing. All things Terran. That, that's that, the couple I don't want to talk to anymore. So how did you two meet? Well, we were both balanced whining on the Blizzard <laughs> forums. We both agreed Colossi were overpowered. <laughs> it's like, ooh, I think it's time to go. Yeah, it's a bit icky. Look, I found my wife on World of Warcraft. That is a story I've heard many times, actually. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's acceptable. That's actually a game where you have to talk to people and interact with them, right? Ooh. In StarCraft 2, we just say, GG, GL, HF. <laughs> it's actually surprising to comment. I've heard the story of people like meeting their spouse or whatever on World of Warcraft or any MMORPG many, many, many times. Do people say ASL anymore? I don't think so. Maybe, Maybe just that's AL. What we need to start opening StarCraft games. Just with. AL. <laughs> That's what we do at the Stark of Stark of a Starcraft match. That's brilliant. No GLHF. ASL we do mark? ASL now. <laughs> Eight sex location, right? That's an old yep, school yep, yep. thing, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, Loco. Me and my girlfriend got together with League of Legends. What? That's bold. That's crazy, man. Did she give <laughs> you like the great. blue buff or whatever? Like, how does that work? I don't know how that game works, but that's crazy. <laughs> that's a very toxic relationship for sure. Oh. Can you can you describe what giving her the blue buff it means? I have no idea, man. I don't play no. League of Legends. Okay, I just wanted I just wanted to see. Um there was a Dark Templar that tried running in it did but uh, observers are pretty good. Yep. So it's been seven minutes. There's there's like a whole game happening here, but there's not like a ton of development to where No, they're just like poking at each other a little bit, you know, like I oh, know you attack me. Ah, you attack me. They're doing a little bit of that, but ultimately, none of it is very committed. Yeah. Yeah, I guess if you both have to do, like, you both have to lane together, you know, that's kind of nice. That really creates a bond. Support players? Maybe, yeah. Ooh, hallucinated Void Ray? Yo. <laughs> Wait, she... Oh. Oh. Oh, something's going in. I think it's Disruptor? No. No, 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 no. It's okay. just two adepts. Yeah, that's gonna cause a little bit of chaos, for sure. A little bit of damage um, being done here. Legoland man still already had a lot of workers. We have another Dark Templar. First guy did not work out, second guy, however. A couple more over here, but no target firing. Not gonna achieve too much. Oh, army hotkey on the Dark Templar, but it's okay. Hmm. Not all her heroes wear capes, so, Rushy, but this guy. This guy this right guy here, does. he does, yeah. All right, we're gonna get double digits. Three. That's all the higher. Okay, four, five, six, That's seven. You could Ooh, go on okay. Togo television. Oh yeah? Yeah. Thanks. I was actually outside of my my accreditation there. I'm only paid to count to four, so <laughs> oh, we, get, we got to five, and it's like, oh yeah, I got a little scared. Counting on stream. Oh, I understand. Dangerous game I'm playing. 
Okay, interesting I'm just falling behind here. Legoland has yeah. a fourth base, has really, really a strong economy here. And interesting Nam is not doing a ton. He isn't really ahead on tech, isn't really ahead on upgrades. So what what is interesting I'm waiting for? I'm not entirely sure, but this is gonna be a big engagement. Giant blink forward here. There are two disruptors. This could be really good. Oh. The stalkers are just gonna get annihilated because they don't have blink. That was one of the fights of all time. What an oh, okay, that force field. G oh no, he no. didn't leave. He didn't oh. leave. He oh, he rushed. That's oh. All right, I'm GG. Okay, I've been there. I've been oh. there. I've done that. He was thirty oh. supply ahead. No. He he just left with two k oh. resources in the bank. <sighs> okay. That was painful, <laughs> Rushy. I am. Yeah, that, that was. Did he not have blink there at the end at all? Actually, I was not paying very close attention he, there, but that game seemed pretty forward. much. Yeah, he did have blink, right? He was just too aggressive with it. Oh my god, he just left. Yeah, he, he blinked forward. He just didn't have it available. Yuck. <sighs> oh no. Oh. That was In very fact, painful I, for the Legoland man. I, I kind of want to go into chat and just be like, Legoland man, don't don't watch the replay. Don't don't don't. don't well, we didn't rewind. talk about the game anyways until we, you know, Rushy started bringing up how you were winning. <laughs> Rushy spent about forty yeah. seconds talking about how you won and then you lost. Um, Caster curse. Caster curse in the worst way. No, but he was genuinely he would he had two point three k resources in the bank, like twenty five workers up on his opponent, even <laughs> after losing that army. I mean, that was pretty bad, don't get me wrong. But I think that was actually quite recoverable. Man, that's rough. Ooh. That yeah, man's never that's... blinking ever again. No. <laughs> yeah, I, if you need somebody to blame... I ruined it, I'm so sorry. Blame Rushy. Yeah, yeah, you can take Rushy's... Uh... Rushy is definitely... Yeah, sure. That works. <laughs> if Legoland Man is watching the VOD here, I heard Rushy is willing to take the blame. Oof. Yeah, I'll shoulder it. Thank you, Sushi and Mathanas, for the support. Yo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, Rushi, Rushi can call your parents. He can uh, give them the good news. He can spin <laughs> this positively. It's true. So they did an amazing job macroing. Yeah. He, he showed up and he put, did a great effort. We just want to work on his grit in the classroom. Not just giving up when times get tough. It's okay to work through it and struggle. Mm. I felt that. I'd win. Okay. <laughs> it's best if that was the first time message. I'd win. Like, all right. <laughs> we're actually doing hey, loads I mean of games today. Absolutely. We're switching series to series to series. Going pretty quick. Only three players now remain though, guys. We're going to get... The winner of our next best of three going up against Blue Knight, who's waiting in the grand finals. Yo. I need to step away, though. I need to use the bathroom. Sure. So, I'll be back. Yo. Thank you very much as well, Contra Blue, for the resub, and Sushi with another two gifted subs. I'm actually also going to take just a quick little break, but I'll give you guys... You know what? I'll give you a little bit of Terran music in the background. Everybody loves Terran music, right? There we go. Very nice. I'll be back in a sec. I'll give you guys Lenny. I mean, this is the peak streaming content that you guys are here for.
Oh. Is it is it my time? Is it stream hijack time? Hey chat. It's been a while. Do we do we stuff bomb this guy? I'll do the first five. You ready? Who for Lenny? If you're on YouTube, and you wanna you wanna help? Just click that member button. Make it happen. Do it. Go, go, go. <laughs> What's going on here? <sighs> Hello? You Hello? Left alone. You left me alone for too long. <laughs> I left you alone for too long. What in the world's happening? Did you give a full sellout, Rashi? What in the world? Do I have a tattoo on my arm? No, I don't. I have stitches that I'm trying to... So they removed the stitches out of my arm. And then the wound was like... Beep. Great times. So now it's basically just gonna get an ugly scar. Yeah. Uh, we have an insane amount of subs coming in, guys. <laughs> the wounds went beep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... Rushy promised those nudes for subs, Loco. What? You said you wouldn't tell, guys. What the heck? I can't believe this. Nah. You, Bunny you, you weren't gone long enough. I didn't have enough time. <laughs> but you do have... We have a lot Pretty of support sick. coming in. Holy crap. Bunny Warren oh. with five subs. Rushy with five subs. Wiseman with five subs. Muktavos with five subs. Big Dodo with five subs. Ricochet with five subs. Echo Soldier with five subs. Yo. Dang. Thanks, guys. That's insane. I never, like, I have actually never listened back to exactly what you say, Rushy. I have no clue. Rushy has now pulled this, this. I don't know what he says. I honestly don't know. It's bad, Loco. He's done this like five or six times at this point. And then I come back and suddenly we just get tons of subscriptions coming in. Rushy can get you banned for what he says, Loco. I should delete the VOD? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I don't believe that for a second. Josh, if we can show your games on stream without getting banned, anything I say. Hey! Way, way Got better. him. Nice one, Rushy. Good, good, good. Got him. Oh, and then he said something nice. Oh, Just kidding, no. Rushy. We love you. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, no, no, he said that too soon. He, the sure. stream hasn't caught up yet. My whole life <sighs> is just being five seconds faster than I should be. Big sad. Sag. Okay, I'm going to ask the players if they're ready. Yeah, I think they are. Loco, I would be more concerned about what Lenny said. Lenny? Oh, no. I did have to come back and shush him a little bit. It was... Yeah. Togo, I was ready. He was a little monk ass. What? <laughs> a little monk ass. Is that what the kids say? Yeah, is that... A no, monk that's ass. what I say. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's what you should say in class. Oh, it's a little monk Ooh. ass. No, nah, that's pretty sus. That's pretty sus. No, I don't think people say sus anymore. Yes, they do. They do? But sus is like... 100%. That's an Among Us thing. And Among Us was cool for like a half year in 2011. Okay, 2021 maybe. But like it's it's was been like 2020. That was that was the COVID game. Did you just say the C word, Rushy? Wow. What? We're not gonna we're not gonna pretend it didn't exist. Thank you very That's much, Sushi, for all the support and everybody else, man. Really cool. We had a lot of notifications there. Thank you guys. Thanks, chat. Thank you, Rushy. Whatever you said, I don't know. You're welcome. What did Rushy say? He was talking about uh, one of the Raven upgrades in StarCraft 2 that got removed. The Corvid reactor. Anyways, bottom left and corner. Our next best of three series. This particular match, it determines who moves on to the grand finals of the tournament. Bottom left and corner. It's Togo Star. Yo. What? In the top right, it's the opponent, the blue Protoss player. It's interesting now. He said Among Us? Yeah, yeah, he did say that. <laughs> I actually kind of felt Imposter. like playing Among Us at some point recently. It was really fun, man. 
I think Among Us was really fun until people really started to game it really hard. I remember distinctly we did this one Patreon arcade night. This was probably early 2020 or something, or uh, sorry, 2022. And I remember very distinctly that Nuke, who's listening in on this as well, he's in the chat right now, yeah. I remember very distinctly that Nuke just stood there doing no tasks at all. He's like, yeah, this is actually proven the best strategy. And then I thought about it, <laughs> and it is. You're literally better off doing no tasks at, yeah. Ah, that's that's when the game rapidly went downhill for me. Yeah. When it was all about lying and pretending. What is going on? Okay, we had an engineering bay block and a third base taken over here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we've been talking a lot about not the game. I mean, you're, you're welcome to talk about this uh, proxy factory if you want. Nah. Let's talk about a moment. Okay. Mm, among Us, uh, sus. I um, remember specifically I'm also backstabbing a Garing. It was really fun. It took me like two rounds, but I completely... I completely gaslit him into believing that I wasn't the imposter. It was really good. It was way more fun yeah, when everybody it. sucked. I have the same feeling with Overwatch. Like, I really enjoyed playing Overwatch in the beta when everybody was terrible. But as soon as the game became competitive, it was not very enjoyable for me anymore. Hmm. Okay, we can Ooh, talk about the game now. Is this gonna be this is gonna be proxy uh Hellion drop, surely. No. Cyclone. Cy what? No, I have to see exactly what he decides to do. Is he gonna do a switcheroo? No, he don't need a tech lab anymore for cyclones. No. Okay, tank. A tank <sighs> Who the hell Pro proxies a siege tank? Yeah, that's It's a famous mm. quote. From Total Biscuit. Oh, I was going to say, is that a Jeff quote? No, oh, that's a long time ago. Game. I think it was TV. Proxy siege tank drop? No, no, no. It's a liberator. Okay, we're doing siege weapons only today. Hmm. Oops, all siege. <laughs> Garing in the chat. He says, I'm kind of poor, paranoid about people in real life. And Loco cyber betraying me was something else. I told my girlfriend about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It was a good game. Okay, this is a strange build. This it's is very not weird, even yes. a drop. It's a liberator with a ta with two tanks. Why? What are we doing here? We're gonna I mean, send the if, boys if, around as well, and then five SCVs. Okay. So I guess this hits thirty seconds earlier than normal. I suppose. It's also a complete all-in, though. That's kind of the problem here, because there is yeah. no follow-up whatsoever. We're going to go for a missile turret here, okay, just in case, but... An interesting Amis has, has scouted that. So it's got a unit in the natural. He knows that Togastar is all the way in on that. But it's super late. And this third base mm. is super annoying here for Inter. Like, he has to split up his units. Now he finds out. Oh, yeah. How do you do wow, this? Drive, drive. Tanks forward. Tanks should go in that little nook right where the Liberator's at right now, and it just owns both ramps and can fire down onto the probes on the low ground. I, he needs to blink ASAP. Like, he is going to be in so much trouble here. But it, this this is a slow attack, though, from Togo. This is going to take about seven years. Oh, I mean, he's going to bully bully him around, though. But I, I think you're right. Every second that goes by, Blink gets closer and closer to being done. And once Intersanam has a Blink... I mean, the, the stalkers are just going to get really powerful, but now the tanks are in a really, really tough spot, right at the top of the ramp, going to pick up uh, a missile turret as well, just to cover all of his bases, but oh, he could I don't know. lose this, this base. Rough. Like, he doesn't necessarily need this base. I think that battery overcharge was way too eager. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do, though. Yeah, I think counterattacking is not a bad choice. So he's got a missile turret here because he's maybe a little afraid of like a bunch of DT showing up or just in general. Oh, yeah, we, we no, can't that, keep on that, taking shots like that. No. No, that was that was kind of rough. Oh, he's going to he's going to kill the proxy, but yep. for, for what? No, he just killed a <laughs> tank. He just got a siege tank over there, which is nice. Reinforcements are not showing up anymore. Togo mm, has not okay. really got anything at home. We're going to go and take the golden base over here or like the half gold base. <laughs> And that's after protecting his second base right now. So that's still alive. Where did those probes go? Did all the probes die? Oh, we lost uh, 13 yeah, probes? Yeah, I think he did. Ah. Blink, hello. Mm, th this is... This is rough. <laughs> oh, no. What a mess. 
Yeah, this think, is one of those builds needs... that would never work at the pro level. But like, you need to do so many things right here as pro to suit offended that it's so tricky. Yeah, it's 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 a micro game at this point. It's being able to deal with the frustration of of this happening over there, but also making sure that if you're going to try and get a surround and you pull probes, that you have to pull it at the exact correct time. You got to blink into the right spots. Yeah, this is this is rough. Uh, like even that, just blinking right underneath of the Liberator, you end up losing a Stalker that you don't need to lose for pretty much free. And now that's allowed Togo Star to get his tanks moved forward. Once he has high ground vision with the factory that's floating, oh, this starts he decides to get to dicey. Blink. But the Stalkers come in on the left-hand side as well. Still two tanks left to go. And there's just not that much left to really defend for interest in And if he loses the Cyber Core, that means no more Stalker production. This is starting to look better and better for the Terran. What a messy attack. There's only one pylon right now ready to power it as he decides to pull all the boys as well. Zealot's charging forward. There might just be enough right here though for our Protoss player who's clearing out all of those siege tanks on the left side of the map. There is ultimately still enough right now for our Protoss. I mean, that was a very messy engagement there. And I think Inter, if you were to play against this again, he would do about a dozen things differently. But he still managed that okay-ish, right? Like there's still no second base here for Togo that, well, what do we call it? Like the hybrid base over here at the bottom. Yeah, it is gonna mm. get a bit of mining. Plus, he actually kept that expansion, the first one that he made, also alive. Yeah. This is, and, and it's weird, right? Because Interestinam has three bases, but he's only got 19 workers. So Togo is able to keep up with them. But if he doesn't push across the map in the next minute or two, uh, any advantage that uh, the Terran player got in the last minute, just gonna be gone. I, yeah, I don't think that's very good for him anymore here. He's gonna finish up Stimpak and Combat Shields here eventually, but without Concussive oh, Shells, the Stalkers yeah. can just blink away. I think you just keep on making as many Stalkers as possible. You gotta be careful you don't make too many probes. But he should be all right. Oh, see, Neat I'm, I'm game, the opposite. Though. I think you just, I think you just hammer the probe button. You think so? I think so, because by the time, I mean, Interest Adam has to wait for, um, uh, Stimpak's going to finish no? up here. Con con concussive Shells is going to be a necessity as well. And I think you just kind of force Togo to come across the map. And once you do, <gasps> He never you warp made the Cybercore again. Oh, no. Oh, oh he no. didn't? No, he oh, never remade the Cybercore. I think he just tried warping in Stalkers and he couldn't. Well, I think, like, Zealots are okay here. I don't, I don't think Zealots are a terrible choice as long as the, the gateways are powered up. But yeah, okay, so this is now a, a very dangerous moment here. Interest in Om needs warping units. He's got to warp in Zealots. You can't just wait for Stalker. <laughs> that is the longest Stimpak I've seen in my life. Those guys started, they were just eager to use the Stimpak. All right, it's okay. It's been burning a hole in their pockets for a while. Ultimately, oh, we, this oh. Nexus is going to get killed, but he's a, he's a little confused because he hasn't seen that base down south. Yeah, we have a bunch of probes re recalled there, but he really needs to make army. Like, he really just needs to make army. As long as he cleans this out, I think it's okay. Oh, and now he's supply blocked. Oh, no. Oh, Inter. Yeah, this is, this is a comedy of errors. Turning quickly into a tragedy. Because he's got charge on top of it. Yeah, yeah the probes have to get pulled off stuff. the line now get additional warp ins the probes are just going to sacrifice themselves for almost nothing there's nothing to follow up Ooh, togo star hangs on that oh, just that was painful tips. right there for inter because it seemed like he pretty much cleaned all of that up he finally managed to break that one base contain right and then he threw it out of the window this reminds me of some of my own ladder games these are really <laughs> frustrating games like that was by no means the cleanest defense that Inter could have done, but he did a good enough job and then he ultimately cleaned it up. And that was essentially like the second, I guess I'll do whatever I have left over, attack right there from our Terran. So he went Stimpak and Combat Shields and it finished and he just kind of went for it. That was not really, like that was the last desperate effort, you know? Like all he needed to do was defend against it and forgetting the Cyber Core. Yeah, I think if he would have had a Cyber Core, he would have won. That is very painful right there. Now it's a best of three. So he's gonna have to do it. Uh, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna have to get it together. Do it again. What do you do? You think more stalkers fixes that? I think he just needed anything. Like he could have also warped in zealots. Like he had charge. He could have just done anything, but he just kind of didn't I, make anything for a while there. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. 
even just probes and zealots together would have done fine, I think. Uh, I would be really triggered right now. So I hope he can do a better job. Than I would be able to at this point, because that is, that is frustrating. <laughs> I mean, are we rooting for a TVP final or a TVT final? Best of five. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> mm, I guess, I guess Toga Star Blue Knight would just be a rematch, right? That's true, actually. Yeah, rematch of the the winners final. And those and those games were particularly quick. So, <sighs> all right. Well, Togo can't be too happy with how that game went either. There's no way he's gonna do that again. Proxying a siege tank like that. It worked out, but I don't think that that is going to happen again. Yeah. He got a little lucky. But ultimately, he did uh, yeah, perform well under pressure. Yeah, it's so tough to break those siege tank lines. Like, that's what I'm saying, you know? Like, when you watch Protoss players, like, for example, Hero and Max Specs, Micro, those Stalkers, they make them look so nimble, right? Like, they're all so elegant and just darting around and picking off a thing and perfect target firing and... Blinking away right after the perfect siege tank shot. Like, all of the things are so well managed. But then you give it a try yourself, and it is, you feel so clumsy. <laughs> they make it look so easy. Yeah. Even at the pro level, though, like, there's very obvious differences between, like, uh... <laughs> he attacked the SCV for a sec. There's very, <laughs> very obvious differences in stalker control. Yeah, exactly. Like, you want to blink forward into the siege tanks, but then you also kind of want to see which of the stalkers that siege tank is targeting and step that one forward so you mitigate some of that splash damage. It will pretty much always go after the closest by one, but you can manually reek target as Terran, so it's... Yeah, it's tough. Oh, look at that early Nexus. Holy. Nice and quick. Nexus before Cyber in a, in a TVP. Yeah. That's bold. Inter feeling pretty good about it, apparently. Yeah, pretty, pretty quick cyber core as well. I guess as long as he doesn't die, he'll be okay. He will proxy a Thor now? Oh my god, I have not seen a proxy Thor in a while. Well, I think Inter maybe proxy. wants to go in. Right about Ooh. 10 seconds from now. Oh, never mind. Togo! Is he gonna see? No. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> okay, yeah, so the, uh, the Reaper pops at about 202, right? So you want to like... What? He was actually still looking for it, even though he had a vision of it. That was a bit funky. Anyways, he wanted to go back in and then force that Reaper that was halfway across the map to come back home. Mr. Steel, you beef with the quote of the century. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. Isn't that, is that Mike Tyson? I think so, yeah. It's either that or Muhammad Ali. I think it's Mike. You can, you're on a first name basis? Yeah. Sick. Yeah, it's because we're Americans. <laughs> yeah, yeah, makes sense. That's why I call Arnold Arnold. Because, you know, we're Europeans. Actually, yeah, he yes, might be American. He's a great these country days. of Europe. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He's actually, I think he's American probably these days, but. That's why it's kind of embarrassing that you didn't know the, the countries like north. Or excuse me, the states north of North Macedonia. <laughs> how, how do you not know the states? I forgot in your own about country? the great state of Albania for a little bit. Okay, <laughs> leave me be. I can't believe this. Yeah, we have a west coast and a no coast. You have to go really <laughs> far east <laughs> to get to the coast on that side. To an entirely different continent. Mm -hmm. Okay. How much damage would a Widowmind deal this game? Let's see. They haven't been scouted. Nope. I'm gonna say... But every Prolos player knows there's Widowmind. That's true. Oh, there's three. I just increased my number. Four? Yep. Ten. Ten? Ten. But you said ten with two. That was like a minute and a half later than this. Mm, stand by my answer. Oh. Man. I'm gonna say four. I believe. I believe in Intercenum. He was managing his units pretty well in that previous game. This is something he's practiced a million times. I think he's gonna handle this perfectly. 
Thank you very much, Bunny, gifting us up to Captain. Mm. Yo! Okay, this is the unintentional delay on the Widow Mines. Bit of an early boost, but here we go. Here we go. I believe, I believe. Okay. Split two. Good. Okay. Bro, I don't want to say I told you so. Oh, there's one left. There's still one Come left, on. I know, Come I know, on. but he knows there's still no, one left. No, it's too far away! It's, it's again too far. Yeah, what is this? This is the second time. Uh, huh? I'm I'm telling you. Unbelievable you were. How are you right? I've seen this game before. Oh, wow. wait, it's life. <laughs> Never mind. Rigged, rigged. <laughs> we're actually casting from replays this entire time to make me sound smart. That's impressive. Yeah, I really have to push it. Okay, now here we go. Four gateways and a third nexus, but also a dream. This is what the top tier pro gamers win with all the time. Just a bunch of stalkers and four gateways. And blink, of course. All you need to do is micro. Just micro, bro. <laughs> Just micro. Ooh. Could have blinked. <laughs> Sorry. The longer that these days go, the more of a jerk I become. Wow. Yeah. Just we can still use the prism forehead. for high ground. Sorry? I said just blink forehead. Yeah, yeah, just play better. It was a scam all along, Loco can see the future. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Togo, 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 what are we doing? This Dude, absolute. <laughs> that was so dangerous. Like, he knew that the stalkers were out there. He's like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a little oh, bit of flying. <laughs> yeah. It's the weekend. I enjoy a bit of flying sometimes. Oh, perfect blink. There you go. Okay. I mean, if we can get some. Uh... If we get some charge lots into this mix, this is a, this is a dangerous, potent uh, attack. But uh, we're still a little ways off from getting charged, so it's just going to be lots of blink stalkers. Blink backwards? Blink backwards. Okay, now we got a little bit there. But, uh, yeah, I got I a bit over eager with the to... blinking, but I think he could have still oh, no. faulted for a bit longer. But Okay, he decides to back off. Loco is the IRL DM. Absolutely, yes. I'm the dungeon master. <laughs> into roll to four. Um, so he hasn't really been making probes on the back of this though, which makes this all a bit all inny. I like this more and more right here for Togo. It's <laughs> true, just win. <laughs> oh, some nice little stutter step here. We've got concussive shells as well, slowing those stalkers down. And I think as as time goes along, the Terran gets stronger and stronger, but. I mean, he needs a third base to get on site. We need to start fixing yeah. the economy situation. That's about the next step. Yeah, exactly. So his upgrades here for the NG Bay are also super duper late. But I guess Inter is only just now starting his as well. Yeah, he's playing this very safely. Building that ring of missile turrets, making sure that he's not going to get overwhelmed by a prism again. And now we're kind of past the Blink Stalker phase, right? Like, this is like the Bronze Age of the Protoss versus Terran matchup. Now that we've invented better tools or, or better materials, we got to move on to something a little bit more sturdy because you're just not going to win the game anymore with just pure Stalker here. Especially not if they're this poorly upgraded. So Colossi, it'll be one hero sentry. Two Colossus, let's go. Yeah, you know what's better than two Colossus? Three. Dang, dude. Dude, I'm good at counting. Oh. Again, up to four? Yeah, that's, my, well, that's, that's my the max, game. right? <laughs> <laughs> that's the number you could count to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How did these stalkers get here? I guess they just walked. Um, why are they still walking? Okay. Okay. That's fun. I wonder if at this rank you should basically always go double forge or double NG Bay. I understand that the pro level, it's not a good idea for the programmers to just always, but you like you always are flooding a little bit. 
Oh yeah. And oh. You're always gonna benefit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, we were talking about it a little bit earlier today with that first ZVZ of the day, where Krenler ended up going double Evo Chamber. I wonder if we should just always see double upgrades. Like, until probably, like, I don't know, Master League or so. Would not be surprised if it's just a good idea. All right, four Colossus. That's going to be a pretty good number. Uh, no extended thermal lands, right? Okay, no, no, oh, no, no, he's got it. Yeah, I was it just didn't say. look like it. Lasers, I choose you. Five Colossi, by the way. Five. That comes That's after actually four a good rushing. number. Yeah. Oh, I mean, are you sure? <laughs> careful, careful. Don't. I'm not. Please don't split your units. That could be a, could be a huge Terran army just standing there. You'd be dead. Okay, we're gonna be all right. Uh, I am not experiencing any lag on my end. If you guys are having any issues, please let me know. But we should be all right. How much damage does feedback do? Feedback depends on the amount of energy that the unit that they're targeting has. So I think it's 0.5 damage per point of energy removed. They reduced it once upon a time. Um, because it was just uh, a little too strong back then, I guess. I think it was specifically against Vipers, but... That is a lot of Marauders. It's a lot of Colossi, too. True. Yeah, it was one point per energy. And then they reduced it by 50%. 0.5? Yeah, they could like one shot a Viper, which was a bit awkward. Because Vipers actually have quite a bit of HP. <coughs> yeah, back in the day you could feed back battle cruisers too. <laughs> which is really weird. Battle cruisers were spellcasters. They changed that to a cooldown thing. Inter is really playing with fire here though. Like, yeah, I was gonna say this is without storm oh. so difficult to fight. Oh, we have the Vikings on the same control group as the bio. <laughs> That's helpful. Storm is gonna finish. Man, oh, he's posturing like he already has Storm. I think Togo is actually thinking that there is Storm already. Oh, uh, there are three. Three Storms on the right hand or left hand side. Yeah, but he's he's finishing it now. Oh, the, the, the research isn't done. Yeah. Oh, duh. Oh. 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 Oh! <laughs> close, close. Oh, if anything, you just gotta feel good about that. Like, all right, whatever. I lost my whole army, but I did land the two disruptor shots. He's overstimming really hard right now, though, but I don't think it really matters. He's got a ton of money in the bank, too. Widow Mines? Okay, not betraying the Terran this time around. I think that basically seals it. GG. Yep. It's gonna be a rematch on the top side. TVT, Star goes back to the top. For the grand finals. Everybody loves Terran versus Terran. T V T T. -V okay, no, sorry. We'll get that shot going some other time. Maybe in game five, you know, after we've seen some ep epic battle cruiser games or something like that. <laughs> I'm a little afraid we're gonna get Cyclone Wars, but we haven't actually seen that many of them today. That's true. Am I stopping the stream after the finals? Yes, I am. But no worries, we're gonna be doing a full series of full best of three. Or best of five even, rather. And then if we need it, and a best of one right there as well, because Blue Knight has been coming from the upper bracket. Who's this? This is Mr. Rushy. Rushy SC, if you're interested, head on over to twitch.tv slash Rushy SC. Give him a follow. Rushy lives a regular job, though. He has to go to an actual job during the week. So he doesn't stream as much at the moment, but... Every once in a while, and there's a rushy stream basically every day. Yeah, I've positioned myself in such a way on this screen right now, so I look taller than Rushy. But Rushy is actually uh, like a very short giraffe. He's very tall. <laughs> yeah. That's a way to put it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how frequently you guys go outside, but if you look at like, uh, you know, the lights on the side of the road, <laughs> does Rushy lay eggs? Oh my god. <laughs> we you weren't here for it yesterday, Rushy. We had a very long conversation about Balrogs and giraffes again. <laughs> and we, uh, 
We gaslit Bing, the uh, the the chat GPT thing from uh, from Microsoft, into uh, admitting that Gandalf was an animal. It got very it got very messy. It was a couple steps uh, from giraffes and eggs to Balrogs and and Gandalfs, but. Yeah, we found out that Gandalf does not lay eggs, for those of you wondering. Mm, got it. I feel like that's appropriate Tolkien lore. Gandalf does not lay eggs. I also found out that the AI gets a little, uh, a little angry. They got a bit salty there at the end. Like, the mm -hmm. more stupid questions I asked it, it was like... <sighs> like I already told you. I'm like, oh, jeez. <laughs> it got a little... <laughs> it got a little aggressive. As per my previous entry. <laughs> <laughs> Clark, the, the the AI has important things to do, like writing short papers for high school students. Exactly. And yeah. summarizing books for high school students. And treating on papers for high school students. Look, this is the world we live in, Rushi. It's very useful. As mentioned previously, yeah. Gandalf is not an animal loco, he's a demigod. Yeah, he also does not lay eggs. I asked it a great question, like how many giraffes would it take to kill a balrog i don't know exactly the word that it used anymore but it was a basically an infinite amount of balrogs or an infinite amount of giraffes yeah which i believe is not true there's no way at some point there is a lot innumerable is what it yeah that's the word that it used i don't believe that's correct there's no way Did anyways gpt make up a word what sorry did it make up a word? No, 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 no. Like a real word. Or an improbable amount? I'm not Ooh, sure. Ooh, improbable I'm good with. See, that's the teacher in me. Like, correct <laughs> vocabulary. Let's do it. No worries. Yeah, no, there was some passive aggressiveness in the co-pilot of Bing. It was impressive, really. <laughs> it was not happy with me questioning it several times. Innumerable is a word. Okay. Fine. Innumerable. Too many. Too many? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> that is definitely not a word, Rishi. Too many to be counted. Countless, oh, cool. innumerable, uncountable, myriad, innumerous, uncounted. Ooh. Uncounted? The Dutch word is untelbar. 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 <laughs> Innumerable. Okay. There you go, guys. This will be on Uncounted. the test, so I hope you guys were taking taking notes. Sounds like how a many Gandalfs does it take to, to kill a giraffe? Anymore. Or no, other way around. When is the test loco? It is coming when you least expect it. You've said that before. <laughs> how no? How wrinkly <laughs> is loco's brain? That's. One of the questions. I had an MRI scan recently, Rushy. I turns out I do have wrinkles. Low smooth? No, 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 no. Oh, low smooth is gone? It is so gone, sad. yeah. I have low several hot? wrinkles. It Let's is there. Go. Let's go. I did not request a picture. I should have, uh, yeah, I should have asked for a picture of my skull. Like, it's my skull. I should get a picture of it, no? <laughs> Seriously, why does my doctor get to have multiple photos of my skull? <laughs> It's not very nice. Sounds like Roshi doesn't like AI helping students. I, I don't like AI doing work for students. It's a tool. It's not the solution. I should ask him. Yeah. Did the giant forehead fit the scanner? Yes. Yes. Thank you for asking. Wait. Though. Thank you for the that's concern. That's smooth. Where'd that come from? Oh, steadfast. <laughs> that's pretty good. Dude, I almost got didn't roasted I, didn't by Didn't I the hear lady. there was a streamer that got that emote banned? Or it wasn't banned, but it was like removed by Twitch because Yeah, 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 that's why I like, love removing mine. Uh, but they actually opened up like 50 additional slots for uh, animated emotes recently. Like you can upload tons of them now. So anybody who's got a million channel points in my Twitch stream, any emote hmm. that will be added to the stream moving forward will be an animated one. Ooh, I have 267,000. Nice. I'd have more if the reckoning hadn't happened. The reckoning. What, what was the yeah, reckoning? Yeah, you won again? like 
Yeah, you won like five ladder games in a row, and you're like, I can't lose. Let's do a let's do a Twitch chat bet. So I went all in. <laughs> you believed? I did. I Aww. believed in you, and you let me down. I have that effect on people. <laughs> um, so I actually can hold up. I can upload on Twitch. How many more? So I can do 43 n standard emotes and 42 animated emotes now. And we only have seven animated wow. emotes. So we can add tons more. Like they opened up loads and loads of additional slots. Which is pretty amazing. So we have a couple that are already in the works right now. Uh, Bally really wants to have a low hype animation with basically me turning into a Super Saiyan. That's pretty good. Uh, there's a low pet one in the works as well for Memory, who also recently turned in a million channel points. Uh, with basically my cat getting pets. It was either me or my cat. I went with my cat. Memory lifted it up to me. Anyhow. Uh, did, by the way, was it Blue Knight who requested a break for 15 minutes about an hour ago? Um... Oh, okay, they're just deciding to map order right now. All right, all right. Thank you very much, Committed, for the seven months as well. Dude, low drink? That'd actually be a fun animated one. Yeah, we have low sip. What's going on, Mr. Rexdor? Low sip? Oh. Maybe I should rename that one to low drink. No, it'd be good to have both. You Look, can, and can you uh, add a waifu emote? No, no, no. We're not adding a waifu emote. But thank you for asking. Do Guys, do do. it's about do time. Do do. The grand finals. We're here. We made it. And and it's actually like on time. It's not half yeah. an hour after the stream's supposed to be done. That's a it's a first. Uh, so just to clarify. Um, Blue Knight wins if he wins the best of five. If Togo wins the best of five, we play one best of one. I believe that's correct, right, Nuke? Can you please confirm that? That is because... I believe that's correct. Yeah, that is because Blue Knight has not dropped a single series. And Togo is coming from the lower bracket. If Togo wins the best of five, we should do another best of seven. <laughs> These guys no. have also been playing for like six hours straight. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. I have not gotten the go ahead from Blue Knight yet. Always ready. Here we go. Let's go. Guys, it's time. Who wins this incredible pure silver? Listen to that silver. Oh, wow. So good. Silvery plastic colored trophy. If the winner wants it, I'll be shipping it to their home. It sounds like quality, doesn't it? It really does. <laughs> wow. It is incredible. Alrighty, both players highly ranked in Diamond League. Top right hand corner. We have the man who's been, well, building half his structures on the other side of the map in game one and then not building any on the other side of game two. We have Togo Star. And in the bottom left, his opponent, the light blue, blue knight. Yeah, that is amazing. He's been switching color every time. Yellow, purple. Now he's actually playing blue. Dude, it, this is the equivalent of the Dragon Ball episodes where Goku doesn't give his full power. Oof. But then when it when the world needs him, he comes and he that's, shows. What that's what blue knight does. That's what blue knight does. Is he Goku? He, he waits. He might, maybe he is. Yeah. I find it unlikely, but maybe, yeah. We don't know. If only, he starts shouting very out. soon, and we'll see him, like, murdering somebody in 20 minutes' time. In the previous game, on Hecate. <laughs> Ka <laughs> <Me> <laughs> Every Everything starts floating. A little bit of a high five right there in the middle of the map, by the way. That's lovely. Good way to start it. 
Yeah, if yeah, no, it's it's been like seven or so rounds of playing already, so I think he's about ready to turn Super Saiyan. But this is not dark blue yet, though. This is like this is like teal, cyan, whatever you want to call this, light blue. Sure, I wouldn't call it teal. Light blue, though. Turquoise. <laughs> it's no. definitely not turquoise. No, sea foam not. green. <laughs> Yeah, wait, we, we've drifted further and further from blue. Sky blue. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this could be sky blue. Not my sky. Nah, I was going to say, that's very blue. Maybe in like a nicer place with more sun, this could be the sky. <laughs> I, I have seen a sky. He is super saiyan? Time. Whoa, that's it. This is super saiyan. Yeah. Okay, that's actually, oh, yeah, well I'll support that. Well done. Alrighty. We got a cheeky little SCV waiting over here on the left side. Command center on the high ground for Blue Knight. Command center on the low ground for Togo. Blue Knight is going to check and see that it's not a Reaper, man. This SCV is accepting death. <laughs> yeah, it's sad. Don't laugh. Look I mean, at him. He's accepted it. Oh, he just got denied. Oh, <laughs> my God. You were so convinced he was going down, but here he is. He decided is. to sit still. He decided to play dead. That's smart. <laughs> That's the defense mechanism of many dumb animals. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I find that the worst me. defense mechanism ever, you know? When there's, like, an animal out there who's like, well, I guess my defensive build order, my defensive strategy is not to, like, I don't know, get a shell or spikes or counterattacks or whatever, but to just sit still. Yeah. Uh, Solid. It worked. To say the least. You should have run, though. Mm. And draw attention to himself? No thanks. <laughs> uh, it's like like one of those oh. walking sticks or leaves or whatever. <laughs> he just blends in with the environment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then all of a sudden it starts moving and everybody freaks out. Exactly, yeah. You this were, picture. You weren't there a moment ago. Somewhere on this photograph, there's an SCV. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see it? Somebody posted to Facebook. Guaranteed, nobody sees it. <laughs> hmm. It's a lot of gas that's taken right here for the Blue Knight. That's true. All four? Or is it three? Nope. No, it's all four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's he gonna do with all that gas? He's got some Vikings coming out. Vikings don't take gas. Um, he's building more tech labs. That takes a small amount of gas. I guess an additional tank or two is fine. But that, oh, that doesn't bode well for us, though, because that, that means somebody's looking to, like, hunker down. Oh, okay, maybe this feels a little bit better. We got at least some movement here. So Blue Knight did this in, in his previous games that we've casted where he just capitalizes on getting into a choke point and just starves out his enemy, and it looks like we're going to get the same here in game number one. Togro, you don't have a whole lot of stuff. Where is the stuff? Now, one thing that he does have is quick stim pack compared to Blue Knight. Blue Knight doesn't have that many units yet. Oh, this is about to get awkward already again. Togro loves boosting things, especially past stalkers. Now, there's no stalkers in this game, so we're going to just send them all the way to the right side of the map. Um, there's no gas taken yet here on the left side, so, like, Blue Knight is hoping that Togro is going to come out and play, but... He shouldn't. Like, Togo should just chill. Yeah, just defend at home. Yeah, and then this little hit squad is going to be, uh, I'd say, probably rather effective because Blue Knight's moved most everything across the map. So as long as Togo Star can just anchor down okay. back at home, um, he should be fine, but this is already kind of an ugly start. The tank's going to come forward. Yeah, go right back to the ramp, but this is going to be a decent amount of damage that's going to sit better than what Blue Knight's getting right now, but... This is just very messy and sloppy back and forth. Yeah. Oh, just dropping on the tank? You yeah. crazy? All of those units, yeah, he's gonna try his very best. Widow mine? Dealing a <laughs> bit of damage. Ugh. Unfortunate Togo, sequence Togo's... here, but hmm. I think I think Togo's fine right now. He hasn't yeah. lost that many workers. Only four. He's pulled the base up and back. He loses the positioning uh, to the tanks. Uh, yeah. Which is rough. Okay, good. He does back those workers up. He loses all those workers. All of this was for nothing. Uh, oh, oh, I don't know. Those tanks get further and further forward, and this gets a little bit trickier. 
Metavex come back home right now. Oh, sorry about that, Jimmy. We forgot about the fact that there were still a bunch of blue SC or blue marines rather sitting up north. Can we maybe make like a liberator? That would make life a lot easier right here for Togo, but he queues up two additional Vikings instead. Yeah, I guess he wants to get rid of the high ground. The free yeah. high ground, I guess. I don't hate it, but yeah, so, you're yeah, right. It's also One tricky because he doesn't know exactly what's coming up from the other side of the map, right? Huh. Oh, Medivac drop onto the Siege Tank. Siege Tanks, of course, have a minimum range. But we do get some repairs here, too. No Stimpak right there on those units. Medivac being hunted down. Blue Marines here. Okay, do end up killing that Viking. Ultimately, Blue Knight just has way more Siege Tanks, though. Yeah, he doesn't have high ground vision anymore, so that's a little tricky for him. The only way he can get it here easily is with a scan. But obviously, those last only for a little bit of time. Oh, Medivac coming around the site. Man, that Medivac may actually just be the key. Never mind. <laughs> This is this is getting rough, and we lost most of the workers here, so we're down to 24 workers for Togo Star. Blue Knights got a third base uh, almost completed. I think I think game number one is gonna go towards uh, the knight in blue. GG. Beautiful. Yeah, Togo yeah, loves pretty, loading Metavex with units. Like he loads units into Metavex all the time, and then he just sends them out, even though we don't really know what's going on. <laughs> it's just like, nope, you guys are pretty much dead to me. Just go. It's a one-way trip. <laughs> and they deal a lot of damage, too, but yeah. Who's from the upper bracket? Blue Knight. So Blue Knight is currently, as far as series go, undefeated in this tournament. Uh, meaning that if he wins the best of five, he will win the entire series. If Togo ends up winning the series, the best of five, we're doing one more best of one. Super Saiyan 1, yeah. Super Saiyan. Oh, look at that. Do you see what I see? What is it? In the in the color. Oh, apparently Ooh. this is the exact color? Summer Sky? Yeah, yeah. 100%. But apparently these are the tones and shades of Summer Sky. So it's still just loads of colors of blue. Mm. Yeah, there's like 50 shades of summer sky. Um, uh, clarifying note from Nuke. Oh. The, the best of five is the final best of five. If, un if they want to go continue. Ah, okay. Differently. Just so battle five apparently has got it wrong. All right. Apparently that website does not. Uh... Oh, Togo Star. Stick with absolute gentleman. Stick with the best of five. So. All right. So yeah, this is the final, the final series. None you know, of that complex stuff that I was talking about. Loco making up rules as I go. No, this is like we had a discussion about it last time around. We were running the tournament. Like, should we do an extra round at the end of it for the advantage of the player that comes from the upper bracket? I'm personally never a huge fan of it. I like it better when it's just a single series. Um, because the guys from the lower bracket already have to play an additional match, but there's always like there's always a lot of debate about these sorts of things. Yo, the best Alcyon? of one after best of five would just be a best of seven with a one-zero lead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That is true. But I also don't <laughs> like best of sevens that start with a one-zero lead. I also think that's kind of shaky. I think that looks weird, but yeah. It is effectively the same thing, though. Yep. Huh. Never thought of it that way. Okay. Next up, El Cyane. Top right-hand corner is Blue Knight. Oh, wait, we're doing... doing I'll do a quick one. Togo in the open. Uh, yeah, perfect. Okay. We're not going to do introductions every game, guys. We haven't done that a single time. I almost <laughs> autopiloted it there. We're not doing it anymore. I was going to say, I was like, oh, we can do it for the finals. I'm fine. Like, I'm flexible. Hey, he's even more blue now. I know. That's, that's what I originally pointed out. So where are we Look going from here? Like, there's going to be a game number three regardless. It's true. Did he, did he power up too soon? 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know? Like, this is his final form. There's no color more blue than blue. Hmm. We'll have to see. He might be peaking a little early. Oh, getting a bit of damage done right there on the opponent's SCV-2. Messing up his own scout timing. So what Drum. color would this gem be? Like if the previous one was sky blue, would this just be blue blue? Like has this got a name as well? Do we just call this blue? Ooh, um, so I would call this royal blue. Really? You have royalty in the US? You need to ask <laughs> yeah, someone from the UK. Yeah, it's the Kardashians. <laughs> yeah. Yes, queen. <laughs> yes, queen. No, navy that's, see, that's... blue. Mm. I think navy blue is a little darker than this. No, navy blue is much darker than that. I'm no expert when it comes to colors, no. Color is called denim. <sighs> it's a little bright for blue jeans. I always think denim is a l denim is like between this and navy blue, in my opinion. Eon blue, though. Like, I support that. Oh, this is Eon blue. Is that what it is? That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I my, support that. It's my favorite color of blue. My favorite shade. <laughs> yeah, denim is a material, isn't it? Although, yep. I guess it's just cotton. Yeah. It's what blue jeans are made out of. It's also the kind of pants that Mario wears. Denim, denim, denim. All right, I was just picturing his pants. I was like, wait, this is some next level Mario erotica going on right now, but not quite. Okay, fair. <laughs> I Like, this is a real problem, man. After watching the Artosa stream and seeing all those copy paste us, I could never think about Mario, Peach, and all of those other characters the same way as I once used to. Like, the innocence is just gone. <laughs> Rush is so fake for that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if two Ooh. brothers want to also be lovers, like why? Rushy. why we can talk about plumbers you? and rushies. And, 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 <laughs> we've got ourselves a proxy fusion core. Oh, battle cruisers, cattle bruisers. Um. Ah, the starport was just above it. I was gonna say, where in the world is that starport at? Okay. Let's see. Start it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I'm in full support of the shenanigans. Uh, but Blue Knight has been building Vikings. Yeah. Like, as a part of his natural build order. So, I guess, uh, you know, I say that. There's no starport on this side of the map. He went to rack. No, oh, he does not He does have a starport no. inside of the main base. But he, he, yeah, he just doesn't have a lot of money here to... He's trying to defend against the Hellions, right? So the Hellions are just... Oh, we're going to go mass PC as well? All right. He's getting the Yamato gun upgrade, so I don't think he... He'd be getting that yeah. if he only wanted to make a single there's one. The, yeah, there's the Vikings. So I feel like this... I mean, this feels dealable. I mean, you, you, get a you get one tank anchored on the high ground that protects against the Hellions on the low ground. And I think... I mean, I think you can also be comfortable just pulling the natural base away because there's no second base for Togo. So then you just invest all your money into uh, reactored Vikings. No! Yeah, no, I was going to say, he doesn't know. He no so idea. he has no idea about this. Second battle yeah. cruiser coming up. Yamato gun is done in about 30 seconds or so oh, from now. This BC is going to be by himself. It. Oh, that's rough. This is still a lot of anti-air, though. Yeah, I was going to say, like, this is still not necessarily that much of a disaster. You can kite kind of well with the Vikings. Hmm? Yeah, he's doing a yeah. decent job here. I feel so bad. In the meantime, the Hellions decided to drive in, but they didn't really achieve much. I think they must One have been tank. firing right there at the siege tank for a bit. Yeah, that feels right. Memory, I don't know what copy-paste that, that is, but I will never want to <laughs> see that again. No, I I read the first sentence of it and I went, I don't know what that is. What in the world? Oh no, we don't need to know the specifics about 
Pokemon <laughs> reproduction. <laughs> that is not something we will ever need to know. Is that, the good oh, old oh, so you, don't, meme. you do know the meme. I've never heard of it before, but this is the first time that I see it. And I think it's the last time I need to see it as well. <laughs> Ooh, interference matrix? Yep. It works against battle cruisers. Love that. I'm surprised Love with the that. sincere lack of cyclones we've seen here in these games overall. Like, I woke up this morning and I dreamed of cyclones because I thought that's what we were going to see. But we've seen like 10 cyclones in total in like 50 games. That's true. Yeah, even when we try to generate memes, they they just they just don't. We, we've got we've got a like a bold community here of pure StarCraft too. Yeah, we don't want to let anything else get in the way. Yeah. YouTube chat is saying Twitch chat sounds spicy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's not wrong. There's some strange <laughs> copy paste uh, circulating on Twitch. Most of them are about Mario, Luigi, Peach, <laughs> Wario's castle. No, it's Bowser's big castle. Plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> and everything uh. that rhymes with those words. <laughs> oh. Okay, so if this all attacks in one location, that, that could possibly be uh, spooky. <laughs> There's a lot, too, about big mushrooms. There is, yes. It's so oh bad, man. Why didn't you guys have to ruin Mario for me? I don't I don't <laughs> understand. Anyways, <laughs> the boys have been pulled. The battle cruisers have shown up. The battle cruisers do, of course, have their Yamatos ready to go. What are we going to target? Interference matrixes! Oh, yo, 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 oh. beautiful little. <laughs> that was actually That's well sick. done. Yeah. Is it enough? So now the Thor just has to live. Yeah, well. Oh. He gets pulled he away just up? barely in the nick of time. Yamato's are going to go off here eventually. Vikings are gone. Fourth battle cruiser is going to be joining in in just a moment. Apparently, you don't even need these dudes in like 80% of that engagement because they still just stay alive. Well, this is deceiving too. Blue Knight has almost double the supply count of Togo, but th there's still three battle cruisers in the air. Four. <laughs> Four. Fourth one just fucked there's out. The four oh. This guy's fresh that. out of the starport. Yeah, he should have never stopped making the Vikings in the first place, but he was like, ah, I guess Thor would be a nice idea. Ooh. This is one of those weird StarCraft interactions where, like, one battle cruiser did nothing, but four suddenly seems unstoppable unless you commit to mass Viking the entire game long. Oh, this is, this is awkward. This is an incredibly awkward position for Blue Knight to be in. Because he should win. He's done a ton of damage on the other side of the map. Do you just go for it? Do you just try to kill all the buildings? Like, I think that's his only chance here. Yeah, Terra structures fly, though. So, like, how in the world do you, like, win that here as the player in blue? Oh, I, he, does, he, I, he needs to try and produce as many Vikings as possible, but he's, he's flat broke right now. He decided to make a bunch of missile turrets for really no apparent reason, I guess, to try and slow this all down. That orbital. Okay, I don't That's, think we should oh, have you monitored it. Burn but... down the disrespect. Yep. Uh, goodbye. In the meantime, <laughs> there's a base in the top left already by Togo. And yeah, we can Yamato. Uh, sorry, we can interferences all we like, but these battle cruisers are basically unstoppable. Blue Knight is gonna run out of cash here to repair as well, which does take a little bit of money in SC2. He's only got 55 minerals. I think he's dead. The, I mean, you almost need to send the, you almost need to send the, uh, the uh, Vikings to go find that base yeah. because Blue Knight is going to be able to kill everything in the bottom left-hand corner, but now it needs something to go kill that. Otherwise, it's just done. I don't think Blue but Knight realizes really it. I think he's hoping that that was the only orbital command that he needed to kill, because this has been a super chaotic game, so he may have lost the fact that he already killed one, or it's just been super messy overall. Oh, this is... This has gone full weird. And not to mention that we have to get the proxy on the right-hand side of the map. So Blue Knight's got yep. buildings top left, top left corner, and the proxy on the right. But I don't think there's a way for Togo to actually get oh. into this because there is just enough to re to get some repairs going. I guess you can wait. He's gonna and... find them all. He's he's gonna find all the structures at least. But he's only got eight Marines, 
and they're all low in hit points. Ooh, ooh, come on! Is he okay. gonna see it? No, I don't the, think he's, the yeah, he sees gone. it right now, but like it's still never gonna happen. He has technical jump. Togo could just jump on top of this. Okay, he gets the raven too. He could just jump it, and he should be okay. There we go. Oh. <laughs> boost! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> oh no! He's got boost. He's got boost. Right now. There we go. Uh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Not gonna be able to outrun the Yamada though. Nope. I think Togo just cleared it up. Yep, GG. Yep, GG. Well played. Woo! Sick. Okay. We got ourselves a series. That Let's was go. pretty sick. He was very far behind his supply for like the entire <laughs> game there, but unit's good. Wow. Yeah, it's one of those moments where you're like, okay, there, he made two battle crews. There's just no way he's going to make a third, right? Okay, I made three. Like, how? what are the odds of him making a fourth? And then suddenly they just keep coming out. <laughs> <sighs> nah, you know what? Blue Knight, Blue Knight with the right attitude. He's like, we could just try and draw it or play for another 15 minutes. And he just was like, nah, let's just go. You know what? Fair enough. I respect that. Yeah, that's, did he kill well a mannered. single BC that whole game? Mm, no. no. I don't think so. Hmm. <laughs> There's, Because he had four in the end, and the game was barely long enough for him to build four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's very true. Blue Knight is switching to yellow. Oof. Oh, no. Is this where the slip happens? Yeah, I was going to say, we're going Loses back to where on we blue. started. I don't think he lost in yellow, though. I was going to say, like, he, he did win. He did get here with all the other colors. So maybe maybe we need to believe a little bit more. Yeah, he only made four battle cruises there because otherwise Rushy would... Uh, Rushy said earlier he can only count to four. So that's very considerate right there. Bye, Togo. What a guy. He's yellow. I don't know what color of yellow, guys, but I don't know if it matters. I would call this like sunflower yellow. <laughs> Do they have sunflowers or, oh, in Iowa? Wait, is this? Oh, yeah. Is this maize? <laughs> it's actually a... The color yeah, yellow at the bottom of maize. the screen is different than the color yellow of the text, though. Like, these are different that's shades fair. of yellow. Oh, that's considered maize? No, those are different. Okay, never mind. I'm out. This is corn yellow, loco? Rushy. If there's no, somebody maize. here who should be familiar with the... Bro, I've been talking about corn. Maize is corn. Oh, it is? Yeah, M-A-I-Z-E. Yeah, this is... This This could be maize. I'd, I'd call it sunflower yellow, though. It's dark golden rod? No. No, 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 no. That doesn't. Dark golden rod? No. It's dehydrated yellow? See? Mm. <laughs> See, at least with Togo, we can just settle on the fact that it's purple. Purple. It's just purple, man. <laughs> Josh you need to great. drink more water, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've learned. <laughs> Hydration check, everybody, for Josh. Ooh, I have a monster. Does that count? Mm. Okay. What are we going to do this game? Are we going to proxy any structures? Hmm. <laughs> uh, high ground command center. Yep. Just a little bit of safety right here coming out of the yellow blue night. So the cyclone build that's been making its rounds on the ladder is a one base where you essentially go for a low ground wall off and you make it look like you're expanding, but you're actually just making two factory cyclone. And we haven't seen that a single time today. Maybe now. No, there's already command center. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's true. Sorry, I didn't listen to everything you said. Wow. Sorry. Why are you ignoring me, Rushy? Well, sometimes you talk in a way that makes you sound really smart, and then mm. I realize I'm not that smart. Uh, so. <laughs> it's like and a I feel sad. A self-preservation type of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that makes a lot of sense. I I was watching so this true. Dutch news television thing yesterday. And it was talking about how the average man speaks about 5,000 words a day. 
I was like, man, I think I speak 5,000 words in half an hour. <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure we passed that, you know, 15 minutes into the stream today, but... That, that, that feels about right. But I, I mean, really you're wonder how many words average. I say a day. I have no idea. Don't worry, Rushy. It only sounds like he's smarter. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That makes me feel better. I use big words. Phew. Like innumerable. Like nuking. No. <laughs> In the coking. Oh, Rushy, man. You can't just what? say that. What is that? Is that not? Oh, that no. is not is an that appropriate your word? thing I to say, say in it? Dutch. No. Oh, okay. What, what does it mean? Can you tell me? It means uh, making love in the kitchen, in Dutch. Oh, why? Why is making love inappropriate? Like, Ooh. Love is great. Ooh, Let me actually flip in my the base fusion core. Yeah. Well, Let's it go. didn't really need to be proxied in the previous game, anyways. He didn't find out about it. He didn't check the opponent's main base, anyways. I think it'd be okay. <laughs> Third that, command center here true. for Togo. He might actually use the energy for a scan, the first energy. Oh. If he's a greedy man and he doesn't, really, he's in trouble. It would be really funny for Blue Knight to say, oh, you're going to use battle cruisers? I'm going to use battle cruisers. <laughs> Loco, I saw Beat him a video about game. that a while ago. All right, all right. He did not scan. So he doesn't know. Yeah, but no. No tech lab uh, yet for the for the starport because we're stuck trying to build Vikings. So, so hey. why? I would I would just give up on the Vikings and make the switch. Wait, wait, wait! wait. What do we get the fusion core for? So the fusion core has a bunch of upgrades, and it unlocks the battle cruiser. Now you do normally get it for advanced ballistics way down the line in TVT. We rushed it out. To make Vikings? There's no Viking upgrade in the fusion core. I mean, he could slip into Liberators, but... No, nah, this feels like he just He's got going supply mech. blocked. And He's going full in... mech. Yeah. I think he just got supply... No! What? What, what is he doing? He's confusing I'm the audience. Confused. He's going double armory, rushing oh, out of fusion core, only to go into bio? No, he needs now 300 he's gas. He lab. needs to. It's 400 minerals, 300 gas for a BC. Yeah, this was this was a strange development. Oh, no, he's supply blowing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. This is truly one of the greatest battle cruiser plays of all time. Yeah. Yeah. This is the level of brilliance I don't understand. I would say that the yellow color is not. It's not suiting him well. Yeah, they, they, he's falling apart here. We get past the, the blue colors and <laughs> life got hard. Yeah, yeah. We needed another shade of blue, man. Oh, no. This is what happens when players think while they're playing the game. Never think while playing StarCraft, guys. Only execute. <laughs> so it's true. actually so true. Plus two. Okay, now he's scanned the main base. He's like, well, am I about to... Okay, I'm not about to die. Good, I guess. <laughs> So this is a battle cruiser. I think you can probably show up with a battle cruiser at about 5:30 if you go for like a relatively normal timed one with an expansion and stuff. If you do a one base play, you can get it real. Like this is super duper late. We're going double starport Yamato gun, so we're just going mass battle cruiser. But can you even properly afford that? Like now you need 800, 800 minerals. We're gonna go for another CC. He's not gonna be able to afford producing anything here. And on top of that, I mean, he, he got Stimpak, so he's getting other upgrades as well. Oh, this is just all over the place. Double armory with double upgrades, too. He's getting air upgrades? This is very this is a very Zerg-like approach. Let me just get everything so I can be prepared for anything. Yeah. Okay, we're not actually... Okay, we're not doing any attacks anymore. The new strategy is to hang battlecruisers in the corner of the base <laughs> until we need them. <laughs> This is high diamond league, but we've gone all the way down to about gold, I think. Maybe that's why he's playing in yellow. Brown. Maybe this is gold and yellow. Ooh, I get it. I it get was it. there all this time, guys. Yeah, it was yeah. looking you right in the face. You didn't see? To be fair, will there ever be a moment in this game where Togo will suddenly expect 
half a dozen battle cruisers. There will be a moment. Oh, he's adding on two more factories. Um, there will be a moment where Togo is going to get royally confused. The artosis effect. I'm telling well, you. I'm gonna, he needs to I'm attack. Popularize it. Like, he needs to do something at some point. So now he's going to see unupgraded marines. No combat shields. That's weird. Although, I don't know if he picked up on that. Okay. Well, oh, golden rod. Very good. As, as soon as Togo attacks with a full army, that's when the BCs will have to be revealed. I don't think Blue Knight is going to show them anywhere before that point. No, and you just jump them, right? You just jump them into the main base? I guess. Or, or do you need them for this fight? I think this you need is them kinda... for defense and then counter, but like... Yeah, this is kind of scary. This How is many a scary amount he of... He's got eight. Nah, he's just gonna he's just gonna murder the battle cruisers. Yeah, because then at that point, I mean, you just gotta jump him and hope that hope that he goes back home to defend. Eh, three tanks here doesn't suck. I mean, that's a that's a pretty nice position. Uh, granted, the the base on the low ground is a little exposed, but it's not horrifyingly out of position. Maybe I just with two two. Where yeah. did they go? Oh, they jumped. They're they in jumped. the main base. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I think this is. This is the right call, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah. Blue Knight needs to try and pull Togo home, or at least make him panic. And Togo right should now, he's not doing boost. Nothing. Oh my god, he's gonna bring 16 Marines home? Well, those 60 Marines are. I don't know if you told them, man, but they're on a one way trip. I don't think they're gonna do very well. No. Oh, uh, but Togo does jump in on the third base. He's gonna get a lot of worker kills. The base, I think, should be able to rescue itself. Eight workers do go down, so it's an even trade right now. There's more of those battle cruisers. Those could be used defensively if he absolutely had to. Vikings. But Togo's kind of caught with indecision right now. He's got to choose to do something, even if it's not optimal. He's got to do it. Okay, so he has got more battle cruisers just about to pop. He's producing three of them at the, a time. Problem is, yeah, these guys are in a lot of trouble. He should just target as many Vikings as possible and just, yeah, sacrifice them, I suppose. He did kill quite a few of them. Okay, yep, there we go. Nicely done. Natural mm. expansion is still standing. How many BCs do we have? Two more? Okay, oh, they just dumped to watch the other side. Oh, that's brutal. There's not much left to defend. <laughs> now there are two, two. Oh. These are well upgraded battle cruisers against one more Marines. Yeah, this is this is difficult. This is oh. this is the moment where Togo didn't know what the best course of action was. So he chose to do nothing. And yeah. it's better to do something suboptimally all the way than wait for the best option and do nothing. Yeah, this is why we have skill checks, right? In pro games a lot where like they do a little attack and it's like, oh, why are we even doing this? Because nothing ever gets done with those particular engagements. But this is the reason. Like, If you have little fights happening all the time, these sort of builds get called out. Now, this is still not, like, necessarily game over, but there's three more battle cruisers to look back to that. No, this is... Togo is also insane. floating an insane amount of money. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Because I think Togo was on the verge of being able to push in to get game number two, but this worked out well. You were, you're absolutely right. Blue Knight was holding these as long as humanly possible, and then when he had to show them, he created as much chaos as he could. Two more showing up. Yeah. Three starports are building somewhere for Togo. Okay, Marines managed to get underneath the target firing down the low HP battle cruiser. Next one is the one up north at the top of the screen here. Okay, that one flies away. Oh. Cores are here. Payload. As they always say. Four is here. I'm here, click me. <laughs> How many BCs do we have yes. in total? Four? Okay, there's one more. Brutal. No, five now in total. I think we bring these back home, man. I don't lose your... No, don't lose a battle cruiser to them. Okay. Yeah, it's still a quarter of the way before that's done. Oh, there was another jump. Two more just showed up at the third base. He doesn't know about the base at the three o'clock, so he has no idea about that right side expansion. And there are three starboards there. They're gonna start pumping out a whole load of Vikings. If he knew about that, I think he'd be parking his battle cruisers that he just jumped straight over there. This, oh, that SCV almost revealed it. I don't know if he saw. 
Um, if Togo can make like two rounds of six Vikings each, like he can actually hold this. Mm, the Viking shows up. Yeah, but this is not unplayable. Supply to forty six. Yeah. Uh, I suppose there's three bases. There, there's a yeah. world. Yeah, there's a world where Togo can get back into this, but Blue Knight has to sit all the way back and really not play the game, and I don't think that that's going to happen. Yeah, he's been happily expending all over the place, making a load of Marines and Marauders at home too. Actually doing something that isn't Battle Cruisers. Now he's scanned, <laughs> by the way. He's seen. <laughs> Building armor. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Building armor rotted in plus two infantry armor? Hmm. Yeah, why? Why? 3-3 three, three, uh, for the battle cruisers on the way as well. That, that I mean, that's going to be almost difficult to even, like, try to deal with. And Blue Knight's pushing across the map. He knows that he's got a strike now before Togo gets any opportunity to get back into this game. Because surprisingly, Togo is all the way up to 80 supply. So he can't let that continue forward. Picking off the one tank would be huge. I don't think you need to worry about the, the engineering bay. Nope, no. it's just those Thors. Get the Thors, get the Vikings, get the GG. GG. That's the order. Very well done. Ay, 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 ay. That was the weirdest opener to get to Battle Cruisers that I've seen in a long while, but he got there eventually. Yeah. Look at what this building armor do. It gives a plus two armor to buildings. And additional space in bunkers. Oh yeah, that's right. I forget. Yeah, nobody ever uses that, but four to six, right? Yeah. You can put more marines and stuff inside of a bunker. Oh my god. I've got cat hair all over my shirt. Oh, Toby was here at the start of the stream today. I was going to say, what happened? Additional space for SCVs in command centers? Sick. I think you're right, yeah. Also something yeah, that, that we never really correct. see used. Okay, guys, we are coming up to the point where it might be our final match for the tournament. Mm-hmm. Cat hair on the clothes mean they love you? <sighs> My cats get a lot of love, dude. Okay, they're already ready. Perfect. These guys are quick. Yo. How could you have registered for this tournament? So whenever there's a tournament coming up, I usually announce it on my live stream as well as on Discord. So the easiest way to stay up to date with everything that I do is Discord. So if you want to join, it's discord.gg slash TV. You can join the server there and it's the easiest way to stay up to date with everything that I put out. Alrighty, match point right here for Blue Knight, who's playing yellow once again. I mean... I don't think Blue Knight ever plays Battle Cruiser openers because that was honestly a pretty terrible way to get to Battle Cruisers. <laughs> like, genuinely, for Diamond League standards, high Diamond, pretty much Masters, I mean. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was rough. But it worked. It did work. He, just, he delayed it long enough to create chaos. Exactly. Maybe that's the secret, Loco. Maybe we, we've spent so many years optimizing the game that the best way to upend people who are trying to prepare for you is to unoptimize it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm... Rather than playing it's, it's as good as possible, you try to play worse on purpose. I mean, that does happen at the pro level. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What is it? Drag That's him down to your level? Time. Yeah. Yeah, drag him down to your level, beat him with experience. There you go. Confuse your enemies. If you don't know what builds you're playing yourself, how can your opponent scout you? <laughs> this is my whole StarCraft career approach. <laughs> you just throw you stuff You would ask so many times, what were you trying to do in this game? I'm like, I don't know, build units? Win? <laughs> Suddenly there's a Nidus Worm going up inside of the opponent's main base. Rushy's rolling out one bailing at a time. You're like, what, Rushy? What is this? You're like, yeah, just work over us. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's how I do it. Yeah, it works great for me. What's wrong? See, yeah, I've seen the these Metafex and Prisms flying around, so I figured, uh, Overlord's Nidus. 
that's funny. Yeah, that's what Sun Tzu said. Absolutely. Drag him down to your level. No, they, usually the front of that is never argue with an idiot. They'll drag you down <laughs> to their level and beat you with experience. Sun Tzu on fighting dirty. Let's see. Is there something here? Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. Ooh, there you go. Deep. Yeah. Last two players, what rank are they? Uh, both of these players are mid to high diamond. Yes, sir. This is the final of the tournament. We're doing a best of five here. So if Blue Knight ends up winning this match. Ooh, Rushy. You see Ooh, what I'm seeing? Oh, is it time? I think it might be time. Cyclones, Cyclones. go. Brrr, brrr. Never interrupt an enemy while they're making a mistake. So true. So true. Brrr. Yeah, this tournament was limited for bronze to diamond league. I think the next one, we're going to take it down a notch. Maybe like bronze to gold league. We may that have to make be, the series a little fun. shorter. Like maybe not do best of threes, but I don't know. Ooh. Can I cast that one with you too? Absolutely, Rushi. I'm very glad you decided to cast this with me today. Thank you. Of for course. Us. Dude, I always enjoy hanging out with you. This is the build. One of the highlights of my of my week, my month, my year. Yeah. <laughs> the decade, my life. <laughs> ah, the boys! Yep. Where are they going? They're going on an adventure. Do four cyclones with the boys? Are, 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 we, are, we, are we serious right now? Yes. Is this serious StarCraft This too? is the build. Although the, the barracks should have been on the other side of the map already. Like it's late. Yeah, you messed it up. No. Uh, he also does not want to engage before the boys are here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Someone's you wait until cyclone five and six and then you go. All right. Well, he's gonna he'll get the free repair before going in. But yep, God, he needs to jump some this of the though. damage from the tank. Yeah, okay. Able to get no, forward. he still he still wins. Oh, this is this has got to oh. be infuriating. I don't if you're know. Blue Knight. This is very sloppily executed, though. Surely you pull some to repair, right? You have to. Well, he does not have any money, so he <laughs> he needs to drop a oh, new or yeah, something. I but I, I, I guess he does. He doesn't have enough stuff here. Like there's a siege tank now. Oh, there's up. a tank! Can he get the tank? Yeah, he can. No! A second, a second makes the difference here. Stimpak's gonna aye. get taken down. Blue Knight. We he is five. called. It's Togo who evens up the score, and we're going to game five. Now imagine that build, but then with slightly wow. cleaner execution, because that could have. Normally you have like a scan right as you hit there. You normally you have like a barracks floating right behind it. You engage that a little bit more deliberately, you know, rather than just aim moving. Because he was kind of locked onto a supply depot there for a little bit. Like it was not, it was not quite ideal. So the scout that you have usually is the fact that your opponent is on one base. But it's not easy to find out, especially if it's like a low ground wall off. So one more to go. Oh, I see what you did there. No, 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 no. Well, I mean, if if he loses, then he'll really be a blue knight. Amazing. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, Wayman, <laughs> for the resubscription. We are in our final game for today. Who will be winning this pure plastic trophy? Pure plastic? <laughs> pure silvery colored plastic. <laughs> Blue Knight, apparently, not entirely sure. He's saying go, go, though. A little bit of chatter. That's how you got your master's badge? Oh, that's how you got your master's badge? Cyclone rushing every game? That's amazing. All right, guys. A best of five series. All the way Going. to game five. Yeah, to game number five. I think we should do introductions for this one. Yeah, let's do it, man. Top left and corner. Our final game for today. Playing with the purple Terran SCVs, we have Togo. 
And in the bottom right, the yellow Terran. This is Blue Knight. Okay. We've had Cyclones. We've had Battle Cruisers. We've had a nice little macro game as well at some point, but we've already forgotten about that. At this point, I'm just kind of feeling that they're wrestling in the mud, you know? Like, they're no longer playing this, like, gentlemen. They're no longer playing this clean at this point. Yeah, we're playing it dirty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. This is... Uh, I mean, if the previous pattern follows suit here, Blue Knight should be the one making Cyclones because we got the Battlecruiser cheese and then Blue Knight said, I can do it better. <laughs> yeah. And now we've had the Cyclone cheese. Do we get Blue Knight? I mean, it, that's risky on game five. Is that a risk that Blue Knight wants to take? I can do it better. What happens when both players go mess Cyclone? Oh, no. <laughs> that's where things get really confusing for everybody involved. Oh, there was a part of me that was like, uh, were we going to block the gas? Yeah, 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 we oh, are. He's... He did it. Yeah? Hello? Blue Knight? <laughs> and now neither of them want to move because they don't want to open it up for the other. Okay, Blue Knight should take it. Tick, 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 tick. Yeah, it was like... No, okay, he's actually given up on it. He wants to go one gas expo, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that... Oh, what? Oh, oh that... No, he's okay. just going to put it on the low ground. That makes Already sense. a little bit of indecision. Togo does not have... His second gas taken yet he decides to go into a factory right away i mean honestly uh, if that was like one of his first times doing that particular opener i don't know what the exact timing of the second gas is with that build so he may already not be going for it but now nah, he's going for something a little different i guess but like there was still a lot of room for improvement are we doing a cheeky little proxy oh. starboard here i does he go does he just go back to battle cruisers <laughs> Good old one faithful base. battle cruisers, yeah. Yeah, for real. Gas, I think gas that is be. what the build is. Yeah, yeah, I figured. You need that super quick factory, right? Okay, but but he's just started. Okay, no, I think it might be. It's either that or or we're gonna finally get proxied. Um, either that or we're gonna get proxied uh, Hellions. But we're making a tech lab. Why? Yep. Oh, this, it's all over the place. <laughs> I think we're just doing a little bit of a uh, aggressive opener here by Togo. Not not battle cruisers. Unlikely to oh! be battle cruisers, but just uh, some early game pressure. Bottom left hand corner, we got a ninja base. Because I was like, there's a, there's a dude. Command I don't see the, the purple on the tab. Like, where is it? Some maps. I'm actually very confused about the uh, the purple color a little bit. Am I crazy? Maybe I need to up the brightness of my monitor a little. I'm not sure. But like, when the mini map has like a, a purple square on a blue background. It's kind of tough to see, no? Yeah, it's it's not easy. I was looking for it everywhere. I'm like, where is this base at? But okay. yeah, it's in the bottom left. Yeah, sometimes people ask like, hey, why is it always the same colors in tournaments? Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it can be a little tricky. So, Blue Knight right now, ooh. This is that moment where your heart sinks a little bit. You're like, oh no, could it be that Cyclone thing again? Okay, well, your SCV just got gunned at by about a dozen dudes. Does that mean that it's... No, that's not going to be a cyclone opener. But what in the world is it? Well, we've got some cloaked mm. proxy benches with a gold base bad. over all the way in the bottom left. Yeah. I think at this point, you're, you're trying to get Blue Knight to blink. Uh, oh, he's going to go check the... He's going to go check the... Um, the gold. The tower. No, he doesn't... Wait, he's just going to go bottom left? That's crazy. That's yep. a crazy scout. So wow. he's seen the lack of base, and he's also, like, he's scouting right now for proxies. Now, it's funny because <laughs> he checked both locations of the map, but he did not quite see the proxy here. Wow. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's an insane scout. I mean, good yep. for Blue Knight. That gives him a little bit of information, but it doesn't give him the whole Ooh. story. <laughs> he's going to build a bunker. <laughs> this is about to get really awkward, though, because those plug benches are ready to go. Second benchy should be out. Ah, it's a little... What happened to that second Benshee? I asked that same question earlier. Cheeky little bunker in the bottom left, though. SCVs here in purple are in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, th this is a, a defining moment here. Do we have a scan? Is, does Blue Knight have any scans available? Uh, he does have a one inside of the main base for now. One. Here come the club no Benshees. no engineering bay. 
So it's so it's only one scan. One scan's what he's got right now. Okay, base in the bottom left has been pushed back. We're gonna need to see some micro on these benches though. He does oh, he just dropped a mule. He just dropped a mule. Oh no. He just dropped a mule as the bench he's already flew in. I think he must have anyways. Oh god. Oh he just, he just picks up the workers. He knows that it's safe in the medevac, but still we're gonna get double digit worker kills for for I, Togo. I think he could have had a lot more than he's currently had. Yeah, he's gonna, uh, he's gonna just sacrifice this. There's finally a scan coming in. Uh, <laughs> not in love with this control on the benchies, but... He was hoping to drop the marines and get them, but he had workers in there. <laughs> oh, Command center no in the bottom left, though, flying around right now. Where are you going, buddy? I don't know if he's gonna be able to get that. There's enough units nah. coming down here to defend. But it does bully him off, so now it's two base against one in this current moment. Okay. I think, yeah, Togo's just got to keep focusing. He can't afford to, to wait any longer. Oh, no. Stimpak's about to oh, finish no. up. Blue Knight is loading up everything. He wants to shut down that, that starboard, I think. Oh, no, he's going he's gonna to pull a Togo. Oh, God. Yeah, he's moving a Togo. You're not wrong. Oh, my God. They're just no. barely outside of the vision range of each other the entire time. Those four Marines are back to working on that command center. Togo's going to go home? Bro, there's nothing. Oh, no. Yeah, there's one tank. One tank between him and Victor. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you nothing. <laughs> okay, command center gets saved. But here's the medevac drop inside of the main base. And this is going to oh. be very difficult to break. Um, we're going to be flying another command center to the corner. This one is going to make its way to the natural. Everything else, Togo has decided needs to stim to watch the other side. Are we still only on one siege tank? We are. Yep. Oh, this is, this is dicey. There is the bunker in the bottom left. We need to keep that in mind. If this becomes a base race, there's a bunker bottom left. <laughs> uh, the proxy bunker. Nobody expects it. We need building armor for the extra slots. Interference matrix? We have it. Oh, he missed it. He missed the interference matrix. Okay. He did research it, but that cost him a ton, a ton, a ton of extra marines there. Oh, he just now starts the the tank production but three tanks over in the main base i mean togo's never going to be able to shut that down even if he brings over his entire army so we are now in full-on base race mode and i think at this point blue knight just needs oh. to pick up one of his buildings and start flying oh i don't like the siege up here yeah oh. i was gonna say that's not a terrible situation blue knight getting this around right here on all of these units oh. Oh. yeah the scvs they sacrifice wow. themselves for the greater good and ultimately there's nothing wow. remaining right now for Togo. I lost a friend BC of this drop. What? GG's. <laughs> <laughs> I, I lost a friend BC to this drop. Truer words have never oh, been spoken. Blue Knight. Geez. Sun Tzu. Yeah, Wait, Sun Tzu is just one of his quotes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Very memorable. Oh, BC is because? Yeah. Oh, what BC he said is, is... Wait, I still I lost get a it. friend because of this drop. Ah, there we go. That makes a whole lot more sense than Battle Cruise. Right? Oh. Yeah. Wow. Oh, congratulations, though. Blue Knight, he is the one who wins the sixth edition of the viewer tournaments. Very, very cool. Congratulations. Round of clap us, please. Twitch chat, you get to join in as well. Very nice, very nice. Impressive work. <laughs> we need to add exclamation point blue knight to the chat. Yo. Command at blue knight. Winner of the sixth Loco TV tournament. She has number six? Yeah, this is the sixth one, man. That's crazy. I'll be uh, reaching out to you if you want to have the trophy and some merch as well from the store. Yeah, thank you all very much so for participating. 32 people. We didn't get to cast everybody, but I kind of feel like we've covered like 50% of the total participants. Am I crazy? We covered a lot. That's yeah, sure. we, we, we did cast loads of different games. That was a very fun series, especially since it was a TVT finals. That was about as good as it was going to be. Right. A ton of fun. Absolutely. Thank you as well, Rashi, for joining me. Of course.
Thank you, uh, Drone Rush and Nuke as well for running most of the stuff here in the background. The reason why everything has been so smooth is because we're not busy doing that. Like, I know mm -hmm. Rushy can do it, but I'm not good at that sort of thing at all. <laughs> I, I miss I invitations know. to lobbies that are made already, which is not <laughs> ideal. Anyways, I'll go ahead and send you a message in-game, Blue Knight. If you could maybe let me know what your Discord idea is, that would be incredibly helpful. I just sent you a friend request. So if you could accept that, that would be great. And then we can figure out where I can send it. I think that's pretty much it, right? I think so. Anything else we need to discuss? Nah. nah I'm think I'm feeling pretty good. Thanks for inviting me to be a part of this again. I always enjoy it. Are you going to be streaming, Rushy? I think I might for a little bit. I got nothing else going on today. So I might right. hop on and play, play a few games. If you're going to fire it up, um, I will go ahead and send a raid on that. But uh, yo... I think that probably means you will have to shut down the camera, right? That is true. So I will make sure to wave goodbye. And if you guys want to, I'll play some StarCraft. I'll do some ladders. If you guys want to watch some more games, you can come check me out. Twitch.tv slash RushySC. Link in the YouTube description as well for those of you interested. Thank you again, Rushy. So true. Talk yeah, thanks, soon, dude. Boy. <laughs> All righty. Fantastic time. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. I will try to do more of these as well in the future. It's been a bit of a break between the fifth and the sixth iteration. Maybe the next one is going to be, uh, I don't know, in another RTS game. Who knows? It's been fantastic, guys. Thank you very much for hanging out. Thank you all very much for the support and just being awesome as per usual. A lot of very nice messages in both Twitch chat as well as in YouTube, which is really great. Glad you guys enjoyed it. Have a great rest of your weekend. Don't forget to smile. And I hope to see you once again very soon for another one. Take care, everybody.